podcast is intended for mature audiences. The views and opinions expressed are those of the panelists and do not reflect in any way those of the podcast partners, sponsors, or affiliates. Enjoy. Hi, this is Michael Buffer, and you're listening to the voice of the people. Let's get ready for Boxing Voice. Every day I'm hustling, 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 hustling. Every day I'm hustling, every day I'm hustling, every day I'm hustling, every day I'm hustling. I'm done with fucking losing. I'm done with trying to learn the sweet science. It's war, it's just straight war. I took my L and I bounced back. Another Sunday morning edition. It's the morning afterthoughts after the big fight. We all get together right here on TBV, one big happy family, and discuss what it is we saw and what we think should take place, what's next, what we're upset about, what are we celebrating. We're certainly not celebrating any bets made on Deontay Wilder as he shits the bed horribly i mean uh the amount of millions of dollars that were lost last night assuming that wilder would do what he normally does uh we're flushed down the toilet man many of us look like fools last night picking deontay wilder aka the bronze bomber we haven't seen the bronze bomber in a minute many believe it was the ayahuasca trip many believe it was fury that just took all the boxing life out of Deontay Wilder. He just did not look the same. He really looked like a cheap version of Shakur Stevenson versus Edwin De Los Santos. It was probably one of the saddest things I've seen to watch a man that commanded so much attention and that instilled so much fear in opponents to watch him fight as if he was fearful of his opponent, was almost torture. Um, I couldn't believe what I saw last night. But uh, I'd love to say, you know, credit, thank you, and big shout-out to His Excellency Turkey Alashik for putting this card together. I hope that he continues to do things like this. I hope that the February fight card with... Usyk and Wilder, excuse me, Usyk and Tyson Fury for Undisputed is just as stacked as this. There is a March date for Anthony Joshua, who did get the win over Odo Valin, so he moves forward with the super fight that we were supposed to get, which is Deontay Wilder. Deontay doesn't move forward because he didn't get the win. Now, 
credit to Anthony Joshua that's throwing him a bone and saying he'd still fight him even though he suffered a horrible loss. I don't know who wants to see that. The way that Wilder fought, I don't know that they want to see him again. I don't know that he wants to fight again. He was talking about jumping on the PJ and going back to see his family and spending holiday. Like, there was no regret in the loss. It was more about, I'm in a happy place and I'm about to go fly back to that happy place. You know, I've been raising my children. So, you know, we've said it here on this show. The man's domesticated. It's over. We need to let it go. Uh, he'll never be the same. Uh, you know, all the wild directs would call in, would be in the chat. No one beats Deontay Wilder but Tyson Fury. Tyson had a 50-pound weight advantage. Joe Parker was the smaller man, and he went in there and took his win. No one gave him nothing Saturday night. He took his win. <laughs> He upset the apple card, and he probably made a hell of a lot of money betting on himself to go to distance because who the fuck seen that? I mean, Lord, I know that we're going to get some Monday morning quarterbacks to call in and say, well, Ness, I picked it. I bet on Joseph Parker. No one called in to say they was picking Parker before this shit. Maybe two people. Two. Um, shout out to Joe Parker. Doing his thing, never giving up. Didn't get wrapped up in the size. Didn't get wrapped up in the myths that is Deontay Wilder. And brought it straight to Wilder, man. Um, it wasn't the most exciting fight. This was a boxing match. These guys were in there boxing. Wilder, on the other hand, I don't know what he was doing. It just looked like he was retreating. Again, he looked like a bigger version, cheaper version of Shakur Stevenson fighting Edwin De Los Santos. Uh, again, it was sad, man. We, we, we tune into Deontay Wilder to see knockouts. We know what he brings. You know, he tells you that we know what he brings. He tells you that the heavyweight division is lackluster without him. We can, we can, we can continue. We, we will live without Deontay Wilder in the heavyweight division. If he's going to be doing what he did Saturday night, we just don't need him there. You know, I have no clue what that was. People are calling for Malik Scott's head. They want him fired. They want him gone. Uh, JD's needs to be fired and gone. Wilder has the same people around him, and we've seen absolutely no changes. I mean, the fact that we've seen Wilder in a championship fight Saturday night, and he looked like a complete novice on newborn legs it was insane his footwork was atrocious his defense was even worse he still went there trying to do 52 blocks leaning back pulling straight back every mistake you can think of every mistake and he was rusty because there was times that this fight would have been over had he landed those counters that he kept missing but inactivity is the killer of all men. And PBC fighters need to wake the fuck up. Now, look, we got those uh, gangbangers that are going to call. Well, the zone fighters are fighting once a year. Dimitri Bivol looked like everything he was supposed to look like. He ain't look like he missed a beat. He ain't look like he had a year layoff. So don't even bring up that. You know, Wilder just lacks skill. I hate to say it. You know, I've been in love with his power for so long, but this is the last time I picked Deontay Wilder, probably the last time I watched Deontay Wilder because that fight was straight trash. Straight trash. That shit looked like a novice amateur boxing match because Joe Parker wasn't looking the most skilled because he had to reach. He had to sell out to hit Wilder because Wilder was on skates the whole fucking night. My man was backpedaling the... It's like if Wilder was looking in the mirror fighting himself. He was fighting the bronze bomber. Deontay Wilder was fighting the bronze bomber, and he was afraid, and he just kept running around the ring. He kept running around the ring from the bronze bomber. I'm like, what the fuck is going on? Do you not realize the dude in front of you is smaller? Like, they didn't even teach him how to deliver the right hand. Homie got the best right hand on the planet. That's, that's the catchphrase, right? That's how they sell him. Baddest man on the planet, best right hand on the planet. Motherfucker don't know how to throw an uppercut with the right hand. 
He don't know how to throw an overhand right with the right hand. His, his bread and butter is straight right hand. That's it. He can't loop it around the guard. He can't hit you with a body shot. Nothing. Jake Paul came out there Friday, threw two body shots with the right hand, off the jab. Then switched it up, uppercut, knocked this man out. Bro, like Wilder's letting brand new fighters come in here and look more skilled than them. Like, I, I challenge you to tell me that Jake isn't showing more skill than Wilder. I dare you say that. I dare you say that because it's so comparable. Jake got the same right-hand power, putting motherfuckers to sleep, and looks technically better. Deontay needs to do the same thing, man. Go move to Puerto Rico, get you a pack of trainers, and get your shit together, man. That shit look horrible, bro. That shit, that shit made Americans look atrocious. Bad performance, bro. Like, you can't be the boogeyman running for 12 rounds. Like, you the, you the heavyweight version of Shakur today. That shit is bananas to me. And then on the other hand, AJ comes out there, ice grill, no games, starches Waleen. People like, oh, this the, is this the upset of the night, and AJ fucking with another southpaw. We about to get an upset. He going to fuck up the bag. Wilder fucked up the bag. The fight was signed. He was supposed to get his ass in the ring and announce the shit. Destroyed everybody's hopes and dreams. Just shitted on all of us. Been waiting for this motherfucking fight for fucking seven years. All you had to do was be the dude that other motherfuckers beat already. You ain't fighting Odo Valin. They had, they had a tough fight with Fury. And out here beating motherfuckers. You fighting Joe Parker, who coming off of Simon Keen. Yo. And Simon Keen technically looked better than Wilder versus Parker, man. This shit is sad. Sad day in the boxing community. A fallen soldier, man. It's over. It's over. It's time to retire. At 38, you cannot teach your old dog new tricks. It's over. We got the George Foremans. We got the motherfucking Bernard Hopkins. Wilder's not them. He not. I'm sorry. How many trainers we need? How many training camps? You telling me in two, three years with this motherfucker, you ain't learned shit. Malik Scott turned Malik, Malik Scott turned Wilder into Malik Scott. A, 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 a fidgety, jiggery, moving around, dancing motherfucker that don't throw punches. We always said that about Malik Scott. Like, damn, this big ass motherfucker, all this skill, all these tattoos, ain't letting the right hand go. He done turned Wilder into Malik. Scott, motherfuckers running around there looking like a mummy, throwing zero punches. Bro, it looked so bad, though, from a technical standpoint. Like, how many illegal shots? They shouldn't even let him fight. His license should be revoked. They should take his license for all them illegal MMA shots. Motherfucker got some sort of brain damage. His signals is crossed, and he thought he was fighting MMA. We know he'd been practicing MMA, so he thought he was fighting MMA. He hit Joe Parker with hammer fists. He hit Joe Parker with the inside of the glove, with the top of the glove. He was playing, rap, what is it, whack-a-mole. My man did every illegal shot in the book. Put Joe Parker in the headlock, start hitting him in the head, turned his back. I mean, Wilder looked like a complete motherfucking novice. Revoke. His license, bruh. Last night was an indictment that the man has zero skill. Power he got. Heart he got. Skill, whatever little bit of skill he had, because he used to set up that right hand perfectly. Whatever little bit of skill he had, that shit deteriorated and, 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 and it disappeared. It disappeared. Yesterday we watched a complete novice skate around the ring for 12 rounds, pulling back, straight back, leaning, hammer fisting, slap punching. This dude need to join the slap cut league. That's what he was doing. All his punches were slaps or all his punches was hammer fists. He barely threw a straight right hand, bro. 
This shit is embarrassing. Like, nobody calling here defending this man. You can't be in the sport all these years and you don't know how to turn over your fist. What in the fuck was them girl punches he was doing? That was a, a teenage elementary girl fight. Every time Wilder got on the inside, <laughs> fucking inside smack shots. What the fuck was that? The trainer should be embarrassed and they license should be revoked. No grown ass man at 40 should be throwing punches like a fucking girl. None. Y'all know it, I know it. Parker was not supposed to win. The goddamn world is upset. You know how much money motherfuckers lost betting on a knockout? You know how much money motherfuckers lost? Nobody expected Joe Parker to fucking last 12. You in here on ice skates, looking like Bambi on the ice. Joe Parker knocking you in the head. Shit don't make no sense. I thought after a few right hands, he was going to wake up and be like, fuck it. Let me do my thing. This dude's getting overly confident. That shit never came. With every right hand, he stole more and more of Deontay's confidence, and Deontay started roller skating backwards. I thought I was watching a movie with T.I. I thought I seen Deontay on skates and shit. I, I swore they was playing house fucking block party music the way he was running around the ring and shit. This shit, I'm telling you, I don't know what's worse. Honestly, I don't know what's worse. The fact that Wilder looked like a complete goddamn novice or Violin ain't do a motherfucking thing. You know, he's another one. Motherfuckers had upset written all over his ass. He went out there and did absolutely nothing. I mean, nothing. I don't even know what. Did he land a punch? I don't know who's worse. Who gets the motherfucking, the, 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 the straight F on the report card? Was it Wilder or was it Valen? Because at least Wilder threw some girl punches. At least he was out here slapping. He thought he was in the, in the new Dana White League. You know Dana invited him. He must have thought he was in that shit with all them goddamn slaps. That got to be lack of pad work. <coughs> or yes men in the camp. How the fuck you slapping like a girl and you got eight trainers and nobody's told you yet? Like, yo, Deontay, you slapping with them punches. Yo, Deontay, that's a hammer fist, bro. We can't do that shit in this sport. Hey, yo, hey, yo, Deontay, chill, chill, chill. That's illegal, champ. You can't do that. Why are you hitting him on the top of the head like that? Like, this ain't whack-a-mole. What fucking kind of trainers he got? Like, these dudes is terrible, man. When, when is somebody going to tell the truth, though? I, I don't get it. That shit was horrible. Don't come in here talking about Big Baby. At least that motherfucker tried. You feel me? At least he tried. At least he let his hands go. At least he punched Dubois. At least he punched Dubois. He saw, you know what I'm saying? Like, at least Big Baby did what he said he was coming to do. Did he get the win? No, but he was dead. Bro, he was coming forward. He wasn't running away. Man, that shit, man, listen. The day of reckoning was the day, it was the day that we all realized Deontay Wilder wasn't what we thought he was. The day of reckoning was what, we, 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 I mean, Lord have fucking mercy, bro. I, 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 I can't. That shit, it just didn't make sense to me. You know, he really looked bad. He really let us down. We, we expected so much more. AJ went out there. We question AJ's heart. We question, do AJ, do AJ want to fight? Can AJ do this? Can AJ do that? And the truth is, it's Wilder. It's Wilder that needs to get his shit together. Because look, AJ did his part. He's sitting there waiting to fight. And Wilder shit the bad for us. We've been waiting for this fight for so long. And AJ went out there and did violin so easy. He had an easier time than Joe Parker had with Wilder. And Wilder wasn't doing shit but moving, you know? But again, 
Neither was Valine. I mean, what the fuck was he doing? Seriously. I have no clue what Valine was doing. That was, it was just sad, you know? He was another one. Certainly didn't look worse than Wilder. There's no way you gonna pull the wool over my eyes. Wilder, he, he, he shit the bed to the max. Cause at least Valine was in there with a former unified champ. At least Valine was in there with a two-time champ. At least Valine was in there with someone who we know could punch. That's not Joe Parker. Joe Parker can't punch. Nobody ain't never talking about Joe Parker by knockout. You understand? So while Wilder was running from him, nobody going to know till he do an interview with Ellie Setback. That's the only way we going to know. But it's shameful. Truth be told. You know, <laughs> AJ lived up to his part of the story. He lived up to his deal. And now we ain't getting the fucking fight, man. So sad. So sad. Crazy, man. But we are rocking out on YouTube. We're still on the backup channel. We're also on Twitter spaces if you want to call in. Feel free. Then um, let me go ahead and put the link for Discord and Twitter in the live chat. Um, once again, credit to Daniel Dubois. Uh, he cannot be questioned ever again. The man went through fire. He went through fire to get that win. And uh, man... Yeah, I don't think that we should ever question his heart again. You know, Dubois. And, and, and Dubois, you know, all that time they used to say, oh, Dubois can possibly be Wilder. Uh, yeah, I think we got to start believing that now. You know what I mean? I think that uh, we seen the type of dog Dubois got, the type of right hands he's landing. Um yeah, I think we, we certainly have to start believing that uh, Dubois can get a win over Deontay Wilder. But I don't think Wilder comes back. I think it's over. Truth be told, I believe he is done. Whether he believes he is or his team tells him that he is. But I think it's done. I mean, there's no sense for him to get knocked out and laid on his face. In order to get the, you know, in order to get the point that it's over. Like, I think last night was was all that he needed to see. And uh, hopefully that's the case. Hopefully they not trying to put him back in there. Because there is rumors, right? Like, shout out to Anthony Joshua. That even after Wilder looked like straight dog shit, he willing to give him the fight. You know, he's like, look, if the fans still want it, I'm still willing to do it. Even though it was Wilder, who shit the bed? Even though it was Wilder, even though he's the reason that this fight, if it doesn't happen, won't be happening, is because of him, you know? But here we go. AJ, the one who was scared, the one who had mental issues. It's so crazy how wrong we had it all these fucking years. Talked all that shit about AJ, and, and, the, and the dude that... <laughs> That ends up fucking up the fight is Deontay Wilder. I mean, we were so close. It really does hurt. We were so close to it, man. We 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 really almost had that fight. Crazy, man. But uh, Parker outclasses Wilder, shocking the world, ruining the plans of AJ Wilder. His Excellency shaking his head, not knowing what he gonna do now because. Really, there is no, there is no other fight. Like it's not like you gonna slide Hergovich, and I'm gonna be happy. That's not Wilder AJ. You know, it's not like you gonna give me. <sighs> Look, and Jarrell, yo, yesterday, 
Anthony Joshua lost two super fights. Two super fights. Yesterday, Anthony Joshua lost two super fights. Deontay Wilder shit the fucking bed and, and, and destroyed the biggest payday that AJ ever had. And then Big Baby got his ass beat too. Nobody cares about Dubois and AJ. And nobody cares about fucking Hergovich and AJ. Like, yeah, we going to watch Hergovich and AJ. It's a good ass fight. But it's nowhere near on the level of Deontay Wilder and AJ. So, you know, last night while AJ got the win and looked like the better heavyweight between the two, he and Wilder, it was just as a, a horrible night for him as it was for Deontay Wilder and for us as boxing fans because we lost two great fights. Like, we lost those now. You know, uh, obviously Big Baby has to rebuild. Can he? Because he technically didn't look the greatest either. He was getting hit with every fucking thing that Dubois had. It made absolutely no sense. His game plan was to take shots with his face, but at least he was punching. That's the difference between he and Deontay Wilder, that at least Big Baby was throwing punches, landing shots, and actually hitting his mans while Wilder was just, bro, I don't even know what he was doing, bro. I don't even know what he was doing. Nobody knows what he was doing. Nobody knows, bro. Like, if you seen, did y'all see uh, Antonio Tarver? <sighs> Antonio Tarver can't believe what he saw either. I'm going to play all these clips. I'm going to play Antonio. I'm going to play uh, Wilder, you know. But, man, you know. I used to like what I saw Malik Scott doing with Wilder, but that shit was only good for Instagram. That shit was not the real deal. Like what we seen on they on they social media was only that. It was only it was only good for socials. That shit did not translate in the ring. But look at this post. Boy, they got Wilder losing every round, man. They got Wilder losing every round. It just don't look like he's trying to do nothing offensively, man. I mean, what is he in there doing? What is he trying to fucking do? He's just moving round and round. He ain't going to do shit if Parker don't force the issue. That man leaning back, that man look sloppier than a bowl of yaki soup, man. I swear to God. This shit is embarrassing, bro. I, I hate to be coming hard down on these guys like this. But they won't fucking listen to me, bro. This shit ain't, this shit is sad, bro. What's up, head? They got, oh, oh, they got your boy down. Every round, they say. Wilder, man. He just backing up, bro. Come on, man, step forward. Go to the man. He just moving around. How does he expect to win a fight like this? Step to the guy. Come on, man. Keep snapping it. You just have no. And then he just leans back to the ropes every time Parker comes to him. Come on, man. It don't look good, bro. And he still might land the shot. He still might land. But I. Oh, what the hell happened there? What in the fudge? Hold on one sec. I said it ain't how he looks. It ain't if he wins. It's how he wins. Keep pulling straight back. He has no confidence in his offense. No confidence. He ain't lying, bro. Wilder was. I mean, I want to hear somebody tell him to go at this guy. Stop backing up. Go at Parker, bro. Keep that front hand in front. 
until you touch him and then drop the right hand. I, I just don't understand what's his offensive game plan. None. He had no offensive game plan. I guess the game plan actually That was, was a good counting. shot. And it's hard to give a, round, a guy a round when he's not executing any off, initiating any offense. It's hard to give a guy a round. You can't give him a round. But I said it, man. I said these fights would be challenging and it would be dangerous. And it might come down to one of these guys needing a knockout. But Wilder need to go to Parker right now. Stop backing up. I wouldn't even have him circling. He's going to have to draw the line in the mat. Draw the line in the mat. He never did that. Refuse to back up. Never did and that. punch with this guy, man. Get this damn guy out of there, bro. Never did that. Wilder don't have the skill, man. Like, every time he go tried forward, to counter, man. Go the, the, forward. the technique... The technique was he just leaning not back, there. he won't go forward. Come on, bro. Ah, you heard the dude in the background. He ain't doing none of that shit he been working on. Like, you hear people in the background? He'll be better off fighting like he used to fight. Like he used to fight. God damn, just throw caution to the wind. <laughs> damn, they, they telling him, fuck it, fight like Come he on, used to Wilder. fight. Come on, Wilder. Come on, Wilder. You can't do this shit round after round after round now. This how everybody Come felt. Come on, bro. He's not throwing fight. no punches. Everybody was disgusted. Stick with that. Go forward with that. I, I don't understand it. I ain't going to talk to you. I ain't put y'all through that whole thing, man. It is what it is. The man wasn't there to fight. It was sad, but y'all got to keep that same energy. Y'all gave Shakur shit. You got to get his man shit. This dude got more power than Shakur, and he did that weird shit. What's up, baby? Hey, man, we we came up short tonight. You know, I I don't know what happened, to be honest. You know, I my timing was off, and I didn't throw my punches. I, I didn't let my hands go like I supposed to. Sometimes it get like that, you know what I mean? But, you know, you live to see another fight. You live to see another moment. That's all that matter. Still full of happiness. I'm still full of joy. I'm still full of smiles. It's all right if I let anyone down. You know, but we'll be back, though. That's the good thing about it, you know. And, uh, man, I can't wait to get on this PJ to go back to my babies. I'm going to see her. Today is one of my, my daughter's birthday. Daddy love you so much, baby. I'll be home soon, though. But I thank you so much for the love and support that I've got in Riyadh and all my families, all my my fans around the world. I thank you. I appreciate you so much. This is not the end. Um, we'll be back. Love, peace, God bless. Yo, uh, you know, truth is, his legacy is in question after Saturday night. You know, uh, AJ became a two-time heavyweight. Antonio Tarver, who's criticized and became two-time. You know, um, Wilder was criticized that he only got that belt because he was put in a position that he never unified, that his handlers never wanted him to unify, that, you know, they didn't want him in any real fights. He always obviously had us believe that Everyone else was ducking him. Fast forward, what is his legacy? What is his legacy? He lost to Fury in his first fight that was a step up. I mean, credit, we'll give him the Stavern fight as a step up. That was the first fight that was a step up. But, uh, you know, he lost in the Fury fight, arguably won the first, debatable. Gets the rematch, loses to Fury. Gets the third rematch, loses to Fury. That's it. You know, since Fury, you beat Hellenius. Then you lose to another former world champ. Like, if Wilder... If he if he if he retires right now, there's gonna be people questioning his legacy. 
there's going to be quest they're going to be you know he'll get some sort of I don't even want to say the f word but like they will label him I don't think that he can retire when your biggest win is Bermain Stavern I mean that's the first current champ he beat the only current champ he beat when he fought former world champ Tyson Fury he lost when he fought former world champ Joseph Parker he lost like he only beat Stavern his legacy will be questioned he might need to look in the mirror a long time like if he gets in the hall of fame it's gonna be based off the power category it won't be for anything else so they need to think about what they're gonna do like is he done or is he gonna really give it another run because his le his legacy is in question you know there was arguments for years here about is he better than aj is aj better than him and people, when AJ would knock over top 10 heavyweight after top 10 heavyweight, we made excuses. Bro, my man couldn't get a top 10 heavyweight out of there. This is crazy. I hate to be that guy, but his legacy will be in question. All that Hall of Fame talk might have went out the window, you know, Fight fans had been saying for years that when he steps up, he'd get exposed. And I mean, he 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 only beat Hellenius. I don't know. I don't know. Again, he could get in there for power. We would have to like check is Ernie Shavers in there because of like some category for power, but I don't know. You know? It's like you had this. You had this myth of getting into the Hall of Fame because of the 10 title defenses, but it's like, yo, the minute you defended versus a real former champ, you lost. You ain't been able to get your belt back. At least AJ got it back. AJ's on track to be three-time heavyweight. I don't know, man. Statue shit. Calls, we taking them. We taking him. AJ is 3-0 in 2023. First of all, we can see the difference. People talk shit about Eddie. Oh, he got a, he got a rematch clause for AJ. Eddie and AJ love each other. Eddie protecting AJ. I see that AJ has a Hall of Fame career, and now we have to question whether Deontay Wilder will even be in the Hall of Fame. I see that Eddie has lined up AJ with top 10 heavyweight that when you go through his resume today, there ain't shit you can say. That Parker went on his resume looking like a motherfucking shiny gold nugget. People called in yesterday to say that Wilder had the toughest fight on the card. Like you forgot AJ beat Joseph Parker already. It's crazy, man. Wilder and his team need to seriously uh, come back and, and, and think about it and um, make another run. They got to make another run. He got to go for, for two time. <laughs> it's going to be hard to get in the Hall of Fame without being two time. If you're going to reach like, Deon, uh, like, like, like a CYP will, Cause ain't no ain't no boxing writer gonna vote for Deontay Wilder because he beat Sergey Lyakovich. So don't be CYP call in here and tell us somehow that Sergey Lyakovich was a world champ. Cause I don't know about all that. Don't nobody really care. You know what I'm saying? Um, Wilder needs to make another run for it. And if you're a Wilder fan, you can't ask for retirement. His legacy will be in question. If you're a Wilder fan, you want to see him do his George Foreman. You want to see him do his, his uh, you know, Bernard Hopkins. 
you can't want him seriously to retire off of three losses. Like his last four fights, three were losses. That's not what you want for him as a fight fan. I don't want that for him. I want him to leave on a better note, you know? Maybe him and Big Baby is a better style matchup, but I thought Joseph Parker was there to be hit. It ain't like Joseph Parker was Mike fucking Tyson with the head movement. It, it, we got we to gotta see what's wrong with his ticker because he started the fight with the back foot. And we thought that was a new style. So we ran with it in the Hellenius fight because it only ended in one round. And we was like, oh, shit, he on a back foot countering motherfuckers now, adding wrinkles to the game. We didn't know the back foot came from being fearful. We didn't know the back foot came from not wanting to engage. We thought he was adding wrinkles to his game. So is he really going to engage with the front forward Jarrell Miller? I don't know. I don't know. Like, everybody thought he should KO Joseph Parker. Now, can you really KO a 330-pound man? Because you had all types of issues with Tyson Fury. His legacy is in question, bro. Um, he got to come back. He can't walk away. Nganu ain't even want to fight him. Nganu tweeted and said, good win, AJ. Hashtag Nganu AJ. It's over. Like, dudes already are, like, walking away from that. It's crazy, bro. Um, Jao Patai looked great. Uh, if we can't get the better B fight, it's sounding like uh, Turkey Alashik is trying to make Opata and... Bivol? So Bivol will be moving from light heavyweight to challenge him? I guess. Uh, I don't know. I might be picking up a tie in that fight. He is uh, explosive, and I get Bivol is, is nice. He showed all that yesterday versus Lyndon Arthur, his in and out movement, his footwork, everything. But Obata seemed to be a dog, and he's the naturally bigger man. That's a legacy fight for Bivol, but... I don't know that it's worth the risk. Like, who the fuck knows Jayo Patai for this man to move up 25 pounds and challenge a puncher uh, to win a lineal belt at that? Like, you just about to win the, 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 the ring belt. I don't even know that that's a smart move for Opata, but that looks to be on the table for him. For AJ, we don't know what's next now that Wilder shit the bed. Um, is His Excellency going to forgive Wilder and just force the fight? even though he's coming off a loss, it would be a sad moment. It could also be great, you know, if somehow Wilder gets this blessing, right? It would be a blessing to make all this money and fight AJ. Uh, so if Wilder gets this blessing, I know that the chances of an upset, the probability after watching Saturday night have dropped to zero, but if he can upset off of this horrendous four-fight streak where he's only won one fight in four of his last, this will be his fifth, and if somehow he upsets AJ, that could change everything for him. That could be the win he needs to solidify Hall of Fame status because AJ is of that elk. He's got the resume. He's got the accolades. Um, but again, what is the probability after watching Saturday night that Wilder goes in there and upsets AJ? Like, the right hand we thought he could throw. He wasn't even throwing it straight no more. Like, yo, Malik Scott officially took away Wilder's one, two. He had the illest. He would step with the jab and step with the whole body, back foot, right hand coming. We didn't even see that. We seen him jump in there like he was about to and then just freeze up. We need that right hand. He needs... Ah, oh, man, I don't even know. Emmanuel Stewart was the right hand man, you know what I mean? He needs someone that's going to yell at him. He needs someone that's going to bring it out of him. They got to bring that beast back out of him, you know? Um... 
the way Emmanuel used to do in the corner. Knock this motherfucker out. Like, he needs that. He on some soft shit. And that's, I don't mean that disrespectfully. He's in love. He's in a happy place. He writing R&B music. He's filthy rich. He got everything he want. He on them silk sheets. He need a Mickey from Rocky. Get up, you son of a bitch. Like, he needs somebody to bring it out of him. Homie was in there on some UFC shit. That shit was scandalous. The commission in Saudi should find him. Everything he did in that fight was illegal. And none of y'all gonna talk about it because he's your favorite fighter and you wanna lie. He did so much illegal shit, didn't even get a warning, let alone a, pun a point deduction. He did so much illegal shit. He went beyond hitting and holding. My man put Joe Park in the headlock and hit him like this. Like, what the fuck type street fighting shit was that? The boxing commission is disrespectful, man. Um, the favoritism is out of control. There was way too much illegal shit that he did not to have one point deducted. Crazy. Philip Ergovich got the knockout like we called. Frank Sanchez got the knockout like we called. Even though Sanchez, for a little bit, had us nervous. But I think Frank Sanchez beats Wilder at this point. That version, Saturday night, he might knock out Wilder because that version had trouble with Junior Fa first couple of rounds. Because he was using a jab. Wilder wasn't even using a jab. So Frank Sanchez, he's on the card. That's the only reason I'm even, I'm even saying that. Because we, you know, we don't know if Turkey Alashik is going to push for losers, right? Because I would love Miller versus Oslin Beck Makhmadorov. But if we want to give Wilder a bone, maybe that's the better fight for Wilder. Maybe he could beat Oslin Beck, Mark Madudov. Uh, you know, he looked like he don't got the stamina. You know, maybe if whatever trainer Wilder gets could be like, yo, go to the body, you know, shoot your right to the body, teach him how to do a right to the body. Maybe they could get this guy out of there. But we got to remember that uh, Kaya Bell started that, that body work with left hooks to the body. We never really seen Wilder throw a good left hook, let alone to the body without his feet coming off the floor. So there's a lot of fundamentals would have to be worked there. But that's a decent fight. Oslin Beck, Makhmadov uh, uh, versus Wilder is good. Or Makhmadov versus Miller. That's great. That's great. Um, if Wilder's done, McMahon versus Miller, I like. Uh, Philip Hergovich versus Anthony Joshua sounds to be like something that could be happening if that IBF title becomes vacant. So that's a good fight. Um, if Joshua isn't fighting and is going to do what I think Eddie said yesterday, which is he could probably just wait for the winner of Usyk Fury, then Hergovich should fight Dubois. That's a good fight. Um, or Hergovich Sanchez, excuse me, Sanchez Dubois. I like that. Even though it looks like Dubois could outbox, uh, Excuse me, even though it looks like Sanchez may can outbox Dubois, maybe the better fight is Hergovich Sanchez. I feel like Hergovich is a little more experienced. He's also a southpaw. Maybe that's a little more of a competitive fight, Hergovich Sanchez. But either way, if you want to give Hergovich Dubois, Frank Sanchez and Ajit Cabot Bell is a great fight. Uh, Kaya Bell, I want to see him again. I underestimated him. I thought 
because his biggest win came over Derek Chisora like six, seven years ago, I didn't know that he can do what he did. Man, he might get the most impressive performance of the night. He really does deserve that. He, that was his coming out party. Like, we will remember him because of that performance. Oslin Beck now gets the exposed label. I see people using that word a lot now. He was exposed. You know, but that's what happens Sunday morning. You know, while the fans, they start calling for uh, Malik to get fired. You seen Antonio Tarver. He blaming the trainer. He wants him fired. You seen Antonio Tarver's comments. That dude, Sugar PR, that's another trainer. He said it was the wrong trainer. Everybody blames the trainer. I had a trainer... Hitting me last night saying, I can't believe this. Wilder could be so much better. Why can't no one teach him? So we, we, we might have to start wondering, is it the teachers? Is it the teachers? Um, and what's the total punch stats? Because at one point that shit had like 60 punches. And I'm like, Lord... Actually, less than 60. It was like 40-something. Wilder had like six, and Joseph had the rest. And I'm like, Jesus Christ, these dudes are going to land less punches than Shakur and De Los Santos, which would be crazy. So I think somebody sent me the punch stats. I want to check that because, Lord, no, that's the Joshua ones. Let me see. This Wilder. How many punches landed? Total punches landed, 39 for Wilder. Okay. Thank God for Parker. Thank God for Parker. Because Parker did better than Shakur. Shakur landed like 64. Parker landed 89%. I mean, 89. Wilder did worse than Santos. He only landed 39. And he only landed 13 jabs, bro. Malik Scott officially took away Wilder's best weapon. It's crazy. 13 jabs. Sad. Sad. So that's not that bad, right? Like bad fights are like 103 punches. So again, credit to motherfucking Joe Parker that almost threw, almost landed 100 punches and made it not boring for us because it, it could have got boring the way Wilder was fighting on that back foot just Skating around town, boy, that shit was crazy. I bet you no one expected that. You know, everybody woke up today regretting that they didn't even look at Joseph Parker by decision. Like, we didn't even look at that as a betting option. It's Deontay Wilder, man. People believe he's going to put you to sleep. But this is why I say his legacy is in question because... He will now forever be known as Fury ruined him. He's never been as good as when he fought, after he fought Fury. That's like, that's the timeline, guys. I'm sorry I'm stuck on it. It's just that I, I can't believe it looked that bad, and I can't believe that now his legacy is in question. You know, people question how good he was for so long. And they finally put him on a heavyweight card with other heavyweights, and truth be told, let me look at the card again. But he was the second worst looking fighter on the card. Mark Diamori looked worse. And then Wilder. Ellis Zorro at least looked technically okay versus Opatai. You know, like those were the two worst looking fighters on the card. Mark Diamori and Wilder, they look physically the worst in terms of technics, technical skills, you know, punch placement, punch accuracy, footwork. But phone lines are open. I'm going to go ahead and open it up for anybody that wants to voice their opinion. We got Twitter spaces and Discord ready to rock and roll.
Remember to rate us five stars on iTunes. Subscribe to youtube.com slash the boxing voice for the latest and greatest interviews with your favorite fighters. Go ahead and hit that thumbs up, ladies and gentlemen. It is free. It, it, it's a great way to support this channel. This is our backup channel, so people don't even know that we're rocking out here, that we are talking boxing multiple times a day, Monday through Friday, twice a day. Weekends, we're doing live fight chat. Sundays, we're coming right back for the recap. So subscribe right here to the youtube.com forward slash Nestor Gibbs. Click the notification bell so you get notified every time we do go live. I got Lake County, $2. PBC inactivity strikes again. Wilder trying to box. Yeah, that was sad. I don't know why. Like, I get that they was trying to add more tools to the tool basket, but... But, um... I never expected you're going to take the animal instinct out of him, the killer instinct out of him, bro. Uh, Mike likes TV, $5. Wilder only has a God-gifted right hand of a rocket. Once Parker nullified it, Wilder didn't know how to adjust. Merry Christmas, community, and blessings. Blessings to you, champ. Hope you and your family have a happy holidays. And you are absolutely right. That is one of the things that I like about Bill Haney, right? He doesn't get the credit that he deserves, but... Every time he fights an opponent, he always takes away what that opponent has. His game plan always helps Devin take away whatever that is the best weapon of that opponent. So whether that be a left hook or a right hand, they nullify that. They take it away. They fight that is, is the phrase that Bill likes to say. He says, we fight the right hand or we fight the left hand. You know what I'm saying? So that's what Joe Parker did in a sense. Took away Wilder's best weapon, and uh, after that, he just, he didn't look like the Wilder we know. He looked just Wilder. Swift, 718, $2. We always knew Wilder wasn't an elite level. See, this is why he needs to come back and get a real good win, if not a run of wins like AJ. Like, AJ just beat a top 10 heavyweight in... Uh, Jermaine Franklin. Ain't nobody really like it, but he did it. Then he beat common opponent with Wilder and Hellenius. And now he beats the better opposition of the three in, 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 in Southpaw Otto Valene. Like Wilder need to run like that. He need to get a couple wins. Hopefully PBC and their, their Amazon deal with their 14 dates could help him. Uh, all you fucking cheerleaders and gangbangers, you better hope. He need three fights like AJ got. Lake County, $2. Wilder got a money grab. It's apparent. Didn't try. Yeah, that's the saddest part. We got Khabib the GOAT. Three, $2. Two pounder and 49 cents. I guess that's how you say it. I don't know. He says, Wilder should rematch Parker, AJ fight, and Ganu next. Yeah. Um, I don't know that Parker wants to give him a rematch. Like, that shit was 12 nothing. 12 nothing. Uh, Tyrone the Great, $5. Ellie interviewed Irish boxers on a plane. They said Haney, the face of boxing, and Crawford, pound for pound king. I know he was punching in the air. Show kid in Connecticut, what it do? He said, uh, $5. Hey, my name is Shay. I'm from New Rochelle, and I don't understand why you're so mad. Like, what are you so mad about? Loudly crying face. Uh, I think that's the mad rapper, right? I think that's the mad rapper, like, intro. Or, like, a Biggie Smalls. It's like a skit on an old 90s album. Um, and I guess he's saying, I'm too aggressive with my anger, but, bro, I lost money. And, and, and I don't bet big. So I imagine the people that bet big, you know, the millions of people that believed in Wilder's alleged power, believed in the... You only need, you got to be perfect for 12. I just need a second. You know what I'm saying? Like, bro, that's some bullshit, man. I got straight drop, $5. Tank Davis is a prophet. He called out Wilder for fighting like a Tom girl years ago, and the boxing, boxing world crucified him. He did, and we did, and he was right. You ain't lying. Wilder fought exactly like a girl last night. Anybody that challenges that is a lie. 
And I can't wait for the internet to make a highlight video of all the illegal shots and all the feminine shots that he do. Shit look crazy. Abdul, $2. Take pins and rods out, Wilder's hand. He's nobody. I guess. Tyrone the Great, $5. You could hear Bill Haney yelling, let it go, in the background during the telecast to Wilder. Damn. Marketing guru, $2. He only fought for the 50 mil. He ain't want to win. If they paid him 50 mil for that, goddamn. That's crazy. Abdul right back at us with another two. He says, change the battery in the smoke detector. Damn. I still haven't heard it, seriously. So you might be lying or hearing things. And I'm still trying to hear it. Like if I got if my battery needed to be changed, I, we should have heard it by now. But anyway, moving on. Guess you were wrong, champ. LV Slugger, $2. Ernie Shavers was never champ. Stop the cap. 100 emoji. Uh, I don't know what you mean. I said he probably gets in the Hall of Fame like Ernie Shavers for power, right? You know what I'm saying? But that was back then. Like, is he going to fit now? That's what you don't get. You Wilder fans have to understand, you need to get voted in. And you will be voted in amongst your peers. So is Wilder going to get in when they try to vote in AJ or Fury? It depends who, when he retires, once his three years is up and he's eligible, and who's being inducted in that class. Is he going to be ahead of his class to automatically get, be inducted or will he be a second ballot and a third ballot instead of a first ballot? Don't be mad. Don't be mad. Listen, how many champs wild to be? Stavern. How many champs wild to be? Stavern. How many former champs he lost to? Two. I mean, like, it's motherfucking black and white, bro. Like, y'all hit wilding. He had his opportunity last night. Wilder and his fans need to just shut the fuck up at this point. Uh, the myth is exposed, bro. Like, that whole perfect for 12 rounds, Joseph wasn't even being perfect. RRT Boxing with Mr. A, $5. Do you think AJ versus Wilder will be the worst? Well, excuse me. Do you think AJ versus Wilder will be worse for Wilder than it was for Spence. Why are you not spelling four and instead, instead you're putting F-I-R? But, uh, no, I don't know that AJ has that killer instinct of Bud, so I don't see AJ inflicting punishment on Wilder like Bud did on Earl. I, I, I just don't. Start with the two-pounder. Just found this channel. Should promote it more. Champ, this is actually our backup channel. The real channel is right here on the TV screen. So, you know, we'll be on that channel next week. We've been flagged on our main channel. So we're, we've been here for about a week, going on a week. Khalib, Khabib, excuse me, the GOAT. Another 250-pounder or Euros or I don't know what that is. Wilder stole money from Turkey. Should never be back. Or bring his ass back for an a, a even tougher fight. You know what I'm saying? Throw him in there with Dubois. Throw him in there with Dubois so he get the, you know, Dubois could, could, could put some hands on him. See where he's at. He can't retire off that, bro. Like, you lost three out of your last four. It's like, there's no way you could retire like that. That shit would be crazy. Baby Joker, what up? Good morning. Buenos dias. Yo, talk about the Grinch who stole Christmas, bro. This man literally went out there and ran out with the bag. The present for us was supposed to be Wilder AJ next year, right? Say yeah. again? Yeah, man. He, he went out there to get the money. He didn't want to fight. He didn't want to get bruised up. You know? He said his daughter was having a birthday. 
He's going to go back with the camel and half a pyramid for her. Uh, that was horrible, bro. Uh, talk about not having skills. I've always thought it was bad. I just been on the back call and had a lot of people sway my opinion. Talking about you don't know what you're watching. Statue shit. It's this and that. So I was like, all right, let me see. But now he's, I don't think he's ever been good. I didn't pick him to be in Fury the first time because I thought he was, I don't know, bro. There's no skills there besides throwing some wild shit. And now the, now the, you mentioned earlier about bad performances. Talk about bad performances, bro. I think the heavyweight division for me is like super lackluster. Some of these guys look mediocre to, I don't know, like the, uh, what's his name? The Osnambek Makhmadov? Yep. Oh, that's another horrible guy. Yeah, but I bet you you can't tell me who wins, him or Wilder. <laughs> I don't even want to see that. You lying. I swear, bro. You know, Come I don't, don't want to see that. Give Austin me, Beck will me, make that fight. He will make that fight. Give me Wilder, Big Bang. One of these old man guys to retire. And I feel like Big Bang's going to fucking knock one. Mm. Big Bang and Wilder, that's a dangerous fight. They're not putting Wilder in that fight. Good man, Reese. You heard me? Fucking, no, I didn't hear you. You cut off, bro. I said they're not get. They're not after that performance. You think they're gonna put Wilder in a fight with fucking uh, Big Bang Zan? Southpaw, big puncher like that. Bro, they're both in the forties, aren't they? For sure, for sure. Zang is forty, yeah. so so Wilder would be fresher. DK. Yeah, but I mean, dude, it's not like Wilder's gonna get any better. He's just older. Might as well just put him in there. And Bro, he well, got to get Mike Sayonara. Tyson to train him. You seen what Mike Tyson did with Nganu? <laughs> Yo, Nganu looked better than fucking Wilder. Hell yeah. More skills. That's fucking crazy, bro. And uh, on the Bivol topic, you said Opatai versus Bivol? You may feel like yeah. he, ain't, he ain't doing that. This dude only likes beating up on small guys. Talking about moving down to fight the, the, the 68-pounders. No, uh, Bivol was supposed to be moving up, but that was the bell, my friend. Latron, what it do? While we wait for him to connect, don't forget to hit that thumbs up. Check, check. Latron in the building. Yes or no? You gonna have to jump out, jump back in, my friend. Spider Rico. JB, talk to me. Yo, Ness, you hear me? I hear you. Yo, hey, before we get started, man, can you give a crow for the community? Because, you know, a lot of people ain't gonna stand on this shit, man. So can you just give a crow for the whole community? For all the niggas that pick Wilder. Just Absolutely. go ahead and throw that out there. CYP, this, right, this is for you, champ. CYP, C dub, L V. We can go down the list. It's a lot of it's a not a lot of Wilder Rets out there and everything. So just wanna go ahead and give them that Christmas crow. Um, yeah, man, Wilder was a disappointment, man. You know, sh shout out to you, man, for giving me credit, man. I'm probably one of those two people that have been telling you Wilder was what I always thought he was, and it showed up, man. It showed up on the biggest stage, man. Wilder, for, from what was reported, he didn't get 50 million. I think I saw reports of like 10 or 12 million, and I don't think Amazon Prime is fucking with him, man, especially how he's saying that Al still owes him 18 from the Hellenius fight. Damn. So, I mean, 18. <laughs> Yeah, some shit like that. You don't remember that shit, man? When he was I know he said he was getting payments, but I don't remember him saying it was eighteen yeah, million they owed him. Some shit like that, man, or some money from that eighteen million. On. Yeah, some money from that eighteen million or whatever, man. But he was getting paid in installments, ain't like that. So I don't think no prime niggas are gonna fuck with him, man. So he better hope Eddie finds a way to bring him back. Um, if he was to fight Jelly Jane, it would be another autopsy. 
like they said before, man, from that Fury <laughs> side. <laughs> so you terrible, bro. So man, let's we just gonna keep it real, man. Like, bro, and even Nagano, man. I'm like how you said Nagano was hashtagging him, Joshua and Nagano, but also you saw the other post where Nagano was saying, "Wow, well, Deontay Wilder's food." That's a damn shame, man. Really, for I didn't Wilder. see that. Yeah, man. He had he had a tongue out with he had a post with a tongue out and some and a fork and a knife. Like, bro, if you do a shit like that, if an all one fighter thinking you fool, man, you might need to really consider retirement, my nigga. Cause that's a damn shame, man. Cause Nagano probably would take them punches to the face or the punches that Wilder's scared to throw to his to the face. Um, I really thought Wilder was gonna be more impressive. I mean, Gamori, he was he was shit fighter like we thought he was. Then we saw the Junior Five performance. I was like, they can't be a performance worse than Junior Five from the fighters that we recognize. And then Wilder did what he did. Man, I'm I'm disappointed a little bit, but it is what it is, man. It is what it is. Shout out to AJ, man, for representing like I thought he would. Um, shout out to AJ for even throwing Wilder a bone. But Wilder don't deserve that shit, man. And Junior Park, I mean, and Joseph Parker, he definitely does need to give him a rematch. Because you'll remember back in the day when after AJ beat uh, Joseph Parker, he was like, oh, my God, I'm the baddest man in the land. This just shows you right here how the UK, those UK fighters ain't shit. Man, Joseph Parker needs to be deemed that title for the day, man. Baddest man in the land for actually taking that title from Wilder and stripping it permanently from him. Shout out to Joseph Parker for that 12-0 performance. And let's do a quick fight recap. Joseph Parker almost stopped in round three. Joseph Parker was beating the shit out of him round five. Joseph Parker almost stopped him around eight. Joseph Parker was beating the shit out of him round nine, 10, 11, 12. So for y'all guys that ain't watched the fight, that's a quick overview of everything that occurred in the fight. It's a damn shame. Man, statue shit, he will not be a Hall of Famer. He will not be recognized as a Hall of Famer outside of Tuscaloosa, Alabama, and maybe for other people in the South. But it is what it is, man. You know, he had a good run, good 10 title defenses against motherfuckers that were not elite. And um, shout out for the UK, because everybody thought the UK fighters were soft for so many years, and they showed they bought that action. Shout out to you, Ness, man. Keep the content going, man. I'm out, man. All right, champ. Appreciate you. Uh, Thank you for calling in. If you want to call in, you know we got Discord and Twitter spaces available. We going out to Ant. What up? What up? What up? Chilling, hey, chilling. What up with you? Yeah, you know, another day, another dollar out here in the streets. You feel me? Hey, I, I feel like y'all just, y'all being a little too harsh on Wilder, man. He ain't been in there. You know what I'm saying? He may be a little bit domesticated, but I don't know. Let's let's give him some, a, a little bit of grace, you know? Um, I feel like that's not the best that we, we've ever seen him, right? I think we can all agree that that's nowhere near the guy that we know and that we love. So, yeah, you know? I mean, but you want grace when his fans have been telling us for years that he is a king and that he is the best. And nobody's that he... unbeatable. No, nope, nobody's unbeatable. Yeah, Francis but, just showed you that. Yeah, but but he just but no, Francis didn't. He didn't show us that. He showed us that that, that Fury beat him. So, you know what I'm saying? It's just totally nah. different, bro. Like, nah, uh, again, this guy nah, had he... the, 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 the myth of being a killer, and he went in there and got killed. I mean, he is a killer. He's knocked out, like, 40-something dudes, you know? We're but that was the that. issue, my brother. That was the issue. They were saying you knocked out 40 nobodies. The minute you step up to, to Fury... Listen. You get fucked up. I don't care if the minute you, you the minute you come back that's to a, a former a world champ in Joseph Parker, you get fucked up. Like that's what you're not getting. I'm, is Joseph Parker? I knew what time it was, so you it's not like I bit. felt like. Huh? You broke up a bit. Oh, I, I said, is Joseph Parker a bum? He's not a bum. He does, he no, deserve... Joseph Parker is a truth teller. People mm-hmm. said Wilder never fought anybody, so the minute he fights a former world champ, he loses. Uh, I don't think that's fair. I don't think that's fair. Nobody All right, well, the last, time, the last time he fought a former world champ, he lost. 
Yeah, but nobody wanted to fight Ortiz. He's not, a, that dude he's a, not a former world champ, and Andy Ruiz yeah. beat him. Yeah, yeah okay. Uh, yeah, old version of Ortiz. But I'm talking about prime. I mean, I mean, an old, old version of Joe Parker just beat Wilder. Like, remember the prime Parker? That's he's the one that prime. AJ beat. He's in his prime no, right now. No, no, when he, he when he had a when Parker. he had a world title, when he beat undefeated Andy Ruiz, when he was the WBO yeah. champ, when he was sponsored by Burger King, that's when he was in his prime. Knock it the fuck I off. I, I feel he better now. I really do. I, I like technically, you know, you he's ain't very, lying. Very they going they going to say he better now. Guess why? Cuz he just got the biggest win of his just, career. Because he just beat Wilder, exactly. and that's a big deal. Give him his credit. He showed up. He I don't getting, think it was like Wilder. He getting just, all his credit. The problem with that is just that people are right. They were right, right? Like they said, the minute they the minute they stopped protecting him with PBC, like this would happen. But it's not. Your and time. there you go, I bro. I mean, it, I didn't, the the, I didn't the, the like proof is in the protection program. You know what I'm saying? I didn't oh. feel like it was protection. Okay, well, I feel like he's so, as good as I so thought he was. So what, he's as good as I think what name, he is. What, what big name heavyweights did he fight when he was with PBC? It's not about the big names. Exactly. I didn't say he was the greatest boxer exactly. in the world. So then, said, so then when we say he was protected, you can't contest it. You got to contest it and give us who you thought he beat that made him not be protected. But that was the bell. Uh, Borough City E, what up? Can't say the man wasn't protected without giving me a name of the, the great heavyweight did he beat on the PBC side. You know what I'm saying? Like, what it's looking like is they kept him away from top heavyweights because they knew that this would happen. So they kept him away to only make the big paydays. I got Nike Hendricks. What up? Shouts out Ness. Shouts out Danny. Shouts out the boxing voice. Man, that last caller, man, get out of here with that shit. Like, like people said, like you said, Ness, Wilder disappointed us. Hey, don't try to do bullshit. Oh, well, he. He, he knocked out this person, like y'all said. He get in there with a former champ, somebody who's credible. He looked average. I mean, it's no surprise. That's why he's a bronze medalist. He got a certain amount of skill. I think he was knocking folks out in the uh, Olympics. Like, he wasn't even outboxing them. He probably got one or two matches he won that he outboxed them. Like, come on, man. I mean, it is what it is. Wilder, he, he's a great. He defended that WBC title for so long. He knocked out so many. He got a good knockout ratio. Like, I mean, he a great. He a Hall of Fame. It is what it is. He need to retire. Like, Bro, you can't be a great <laughs> when, you, when you only beat one current champ and you 0 for 2 versus former champs. But not it's his defense of his belt. But we ain't even the talking double, about belts no more. Like you had a belt, you, you took it from that's Stern. What, nah, that's what I'm saying. He he already stained in the sport. I mean, his time is done for now. He's he's older. I mean, it's over with now. His time is done for. He defended his WBC belt how many times? Next, what like thirteen? Ten, brother, ten. Okay, ten. That I mean, that, that's good as hell. And versus he Udo, do you remember anybody he he defended it versus? Yeah, I remember a couple. I know I got uh, you got Ortiz, you got Stavern, you got uh, it, it, it's a couple in there. I mean, I can't name them off the top. You Ortiz know, never. Hey. Ortiz never became world champ. Stavern never went back to be world champ. Helenius never was a world champ. Dominic Brazil's never going to be a world champ. He defended against Helenius. He defended against Dominic. I, I mean, defend his belt. Because they could have took his belt, plain and simple, Ness. I mean, he's done for. 
It is what it is. He did what he did in the sport. He did good. He did great in the sport. But now he's done for. It's the young and up and coming. I mean, Joseph Parker ain't young, but his skill set was just better. So, hey. It is what it is with Wilder, man. They they gonna keep they put some more cab driver. But hey, before I go, Bivol is that motherfucker. I know Ness, I was watching the live like when you was like he was boring. But, but he not a knockout artist, man. So that's just the way he fight. He he he, he ruined that he card, man. Fight. Nobody nobody was happy that fight came on and slowed Bivol down the pace. Everybody was upset. I hope Alashik realizes that he lost people during that fight and that people got upset at Bivol's performance. And look, Bivol did everything he could do. It's not his fault. He physically cannot get a guy out of there. But, I, I, I mean, I just want y'all to be fair. If Devin ever hits a dude with that many shots and don't get him out of there, let's, let's, let's crucify him because Devin gets less combination punches off on an opponent and gets crucified. Bivol hit this dude with seven punches. A seven-punch combination could not get him out of there, could not get the referee to jump in. I even questioned the ref. I ain't going to lie. I ain't going to change my energy. I questioned the ref. He did have the WBA and the IBO patch, but that IBO patch was bigger than a motherfucker. He would not stop that fight. There was certainly a moment... In that fight, where uh, he could have jumped in and saved Linton Arthur, and he didn't. Um, yeah, I don't know, man. I don't know. Again, maybe if he moves up to fight Opataya, people will be interested. Maybe if he fights David Benavidez, people will be interested. Um, maybe if he fights. That's it? I don't really know who else. Oh, better beef. But other than that, I don't know who cares about what Bivol's out here doing. King I mean in Essex. Yo, yo. Yo, yo. What's good? It was good. Yo, Ness. I think, um, number one, I want to shout out my man, James Benitez. James Benitez has stood 10 toes down, insisting on, uh, you know, with his position on Wilder. So salute to Benitez. And I just want to, I just want to babble a bit. Some of you young punks ain't going to like this, but see the difference with Anthony Joshua. And I want to talk boxing because I'm not calling here to defend no man. It's, it's funny. Sometimes people call it to defend one man. We should be de defending the sport. And, and the problem with Wilder is all of the things that he's done wrong with his fight game. Now, I, time and time again, I, I get disappointed in fighters. I don't get drunk off power. You have to be able to do something different. Okay, sometimes we see a fighter shift their tactical shit. We've seen Wilder do nothing except blame the suit, blame the water. The only thing I'm proud of him this time, he didn't blame nobody. But it's still ridiculous how he could raise his hand. I don't know if he was still high off the ayahuasca or he didn't have his fucking semen Twinkies. I don't know what he got going on. But salute to Anthony Joshua because for all the public ridicule he's faced, people clown him for the sports psychologist. They clown him for coming over to America. All this shit. When you wear your heart on your sleeve and you go through adversities in public, you stand to come out stronger. When you're fucking delusional, you end up lost. So if I was Wilder and if I was Malik Scott, give the man a call and say, yo, man, if we don't take this Ngannou fight, I might as well stop fucking robbing you and going on home. That's my call. You know, you was absolutely right. I didn't even fucking touch on that. You reminded me about that. The audacity of this motherfucker to raise his hand and fake. You know what? That's what he did best that night. He showed us that he do got his acting skills from being on the whole wags in Atlanta and all that weird shit he been doing. He showed us, for real, for real, that his acting skills is good because he was out here perpetrating like he thought he won. He had his hand up like he won. When they announced who really won, 
my man gave a look of shock as to like, really? Y'all gave it to him type shit? And I'm like, no, the fuck you didn't. How dare you? Like, how dare you fake like you thought you did enough to win? This wasn't a track meet, man. You wasn't on the fucking, oh, God, Lord. Counterpunch, Brandon, this should be so sad, bro. Brandon in Cincinnati, you there? We got LV Slugger that says, Ernie Shaver's not a Hall of Famer. Hashtag, Nest Narrative. Even better, if he not a Hall of Famer champ, you in trouble then. You in trouble because they, 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 they consistently compare Wilder to Shavers. You fucked then. You better hope somebody get him in there. Rod of the Storm, $5. Wilder isn't a Hall of Famer. Fighting Ortiz, Helene, and Scott, and the rest of the PBC tomato cans. Parker exposed Wilder and his trashed resume. And this is what I'm saying. Like, y'all like, oh, Ness, how can you say his legacies in question? It's like, bruh, his whole career, they've been questioning that he ain't fighting the best and that who he's fighting that he fought cans. And now... He steps up and he keep losing. Like, what the fuck you mean? This isn't quite like they they gonna make some sort of documentaries on him, like, you know what I mean? You know how it go. I don't wanna say harsh things when y'all know how it go out here. Like y'all watch TV. Yo, TDV, what's poppin'? Good morning, Ness. What up? Hardest working hardest working man in the YouTube box community. Hey, I'ma uh run through the whole card. Uh, get my breakdown of each fight. That's why I set the counter punch. Uh, let's get to cooking. Frank Sanchez looked good. Uh, he fought like I thought he would fight. I actually had this fight going to decision because his last fight he got clipped pretty good. So I knew he would probably be a little more defensively savvy and hesitant. Um, and not as offensively offensive minded as he's been the last few fights. He does get uh caught up with the hand speed a lot as of late and. Because of that, he got clipped last fight, but he was on his defensive game this fight. Picked his shots well, and eventually the knockout came. Frank Sanchez is the real deal. I like the Andy Ruiz fight. I like the Aji Kayabel fight. Similar statures. Both got good hand speed. Both got good combinations. I think that'll be a good fight. Frank Sanchez is the real deal. Uh, Philip Hergrovic did what he was supposed to do against a guy on that level. Don't play with your food. Get him the fuck up out of there. Philip Grove is a big, strong heavyweight with a lot of potential when his mind is right. Uh, I want to see him back. Uh, Ajakaya Bell, performance of the night, in my opinion. Um, we were all sold on Arslan Beck. I always knew Arslan Beck's technique was dog shit, but he was just so strong and just just the strength and the power. I thought he would... Uh, be able to get a guy like Kaja Bell, who's not very big, out of there, but Kaja Bell surprised us all and, and, and beat him up, man. Beat up. The, that was like David and Goliath. He really did a number on uh, Makhmadov and made him quit. Beat the shit out of him. So for me, that was the upset and performance of the night. Like I said, I would mind seeing him against a Frank Sanchez type of fighter. I like that fight. Or, you know, Jared Anderson over here in America, but if he brings his game like that every time, he's a bad uh, motor scooter, to quote the great Bill Haney. Um, Daniel Dubois, I, he did what I thought he was going to do. Jarrell Miller was a loud-talking, trash-talking, you know, scrub who wanted to talk his way into a payday. And I was never sold on him. I always thought Dubois was the better technically skilled fighter. I always thought Dubois had more power than Jer Jarrell Miller. Um, better jab, just better everything. Like I said, I never was sold on Jarrell Miller. 330-pound fat tub of goo coming forward. Pity pat shots. Uh, without that juice, that 60 to 80 punch output went down to like 10 punches around. And the boy beat the shit out of him. One, uh, second half of that fight, once uh, the fatigue kicked in for Jarrell Miller and them punches was just arm punches, he started taking a beating. Uh, he does have a chin, though, because, man, he was taking some clean shots to the face. So shout out to Daniel Dubois. That's how you shut up a shit talker, man. That's how you shut up a shit talker. Stopping him. Uh, yeah, I don't know what's next for Jarrell Miller. I don't really give a fuck. Jao Pattaya is what we thought he was. He's a pound-for-pound pound talent. Um, I don't see anybody at Cruiserweight beating him. You may if, he like keep, if he what could keep... If he could... 
if he if he could keep that speed and explosiveness and, and skill and technique and punching power up into the heavyweight division, he can do uh, what Usyk did or probably even be better than Usyk. Because like I said, that guy he does very little wrong in the ring, in my opinion. Uh, Dmitry Bivol, he looked good to me. He looked good to me. Um, it's only so much you can do against a guy that ain't you know trying really. I mean, he was beating the shit out of Lyndon Arthur. But he's not a puncher, you know? It's not like he wasn't trying. He was more offensive. He was coming forward and letting his hands go more in this fight than I've seen him in a while. So I don't have a problem with the Dimitri Bivol fight. Only difference is, you know, with the car going the way it was, everybody was getting guys out of there, knocking guys out. Just for that to go, what, 12, that was a little disheartening. But I, I thought the Dimitri Bivol fought well. He was very aggressive coming forward, landing big shots. He fucked Lyndon Arthur up, so... Yeah, I got Dimitri Bivol beating better beef if they ever fight. If he moves up to cruiserweight and fights Jay Opatia, he will get stopped, though. Cut that out. Uh, Deontay Wilder looked like dog shit. We want to talk about the um, the his excellency being mad at a performance in a, in a fight. That's the disappointing one. You know, he didn't do anything, man. He didn't do absolutely anything. He, Like I said, his balance always looks weird and off. Uh, he wasn't setting up the right hand. He was just looking to wing it. He wasn't throwing the one-two. He was fighting on the back foot. He wasn't coming for. He looked like garbage. Um, <laughs> and I think we've seen the end of Wilder. Um, for one, the mystique is gone. When you got a puncher like Wilder and the mystique is gone of him being this menacing, mean, intimidating fighter, you know that once that mystique is gone, it's pretty much over. And with what he's going to want to garner and what he's want to get paid, he's not going to get that in Saudi with that performance. They're probably done with him. And he's not going to get the payday he he think he deserves in America because, uh, like I said, he's not going to be able to be the t- – nobody's going to get a return on investment on Wilder at this point. With that type of performance, third loss, it's, so he should probably just go – he's probably going to be forced to hang it up because he's not going to take a couple million dollars to fight and restart and start over and get his uh, career back on path. So, yes, um, overachiever, got a lot accomplished in the sport. But uh, Hall of Fame, I don't know. Yeah, he had 10 title defenses, but Bermain Stavarin being one of your better title defenses, come on, champ, that ain't that ain't going to really cut it. Anthony Joshua, that was the best Anthony Joshua's looked in a long time. Coming forward, he was sure of himself, he was confident. He was committing to his punches, letting them bitches fly. He walked Otto Wallen down and beat him up. We haven't seen him. He we seen spot. Let me uh, if I if I go over again, let me uh, I'll pay you again. That's but yeah, AJ, AJ looked sure of himself this fight. Offensively coming forward, committing the punches, sitting down on him. Um. Yeah, you know, vari- variations of his punches, changing levels. Pull counters and shit. He's falling in love with that pull counter too. But yeah, man, AJ looked like if if AJ fights like this, Fury can't beat him. Fury can't beat him. If AJ fights like this, and and I knew Wallen would be if I knew I said it before this fight. If AJ can somehow garner that old AJ of coming forward, being the strong physical fighter. Wallen is tailor-made for him because he's crafty, but he's not a puncher, so you ain't got to worry about him hurting AJ. But if AJ is going to be hesitant trying to box with the boxer and box with the crafty fighter, Wallen will probably give him some issues. But no, man, he turned back the hands of time and was the AJ of old and beat the shit out of that dude and debunked all the narratives. Like, we fell for all the goofy narratives, man. The AJ's the one with the fucked up psyche. AJ's the one with the fucked up mental. Not the guy that blamed the costume and water and his trainer and egg weights and all. He's not the guy with the fucked up mental. It's the guy that didn't make no excuses. That's how. That's the goofy shit that uh, boxing fans did. We we questioned the wrong guy's heart and will and determination. So yeah, I think AJ's back. I think AJ beats Fury. If I think he has Fury has to win. If Fury wins, we get AJ Fury. If Usyk wins, I don't know if we gonna get a Usyk versus AJ three. I can possibly see AJ having his 2024. If Usyk wins as Zilly Zhang Bang and Philip Pergrovic, and if he beats those two, he could probably just you know sell off into the sunset, man. Cause like I said, man. Um, AJ AJ's accomplished a lot in this sport. He's got the 
best, in my opinion, the best heavyweight resume. I mean, 15, 16 fights in, he was champ. 19 fights in, he was unified. But AJ is the guy that had a manufactured career. I mean, look at your favorite heavyweight. Who was he fighting in his 18th, 19th fight? It wasn't Vladimir Klitschko. So we got to just start going with this. Just fuck these narratives, man. You, these narratives people try to paint. We were wrong, man. We we see who really has the heart. I mean, Wilder looked like Jamil Charlo in there. That's bottom line. If you want to say it was the age, you can say it was the age. I say it was simply he was never that good. When these guys leave the comfort of PBC Island, um, this is what happens every time. When somebody from outside PBC Island comes into PBC Island, they whoop ass, i.e. Canelo, i.e. Bud. And when they leave PBC Island, they get their ass kicked, i.e. Fulton, i.e. Wilder. So, yeah, um, I don't think Wilder was ever good. I've stood on that for years. If the right hand don't land, he has no plan B. But, yeah, man, um, AJ, I, like I said, if, if, if Usyk wins, I see him fighting Zang and Zang and uh, Hargrovic next. That's my call there, brother. But I'm going to let you get some other callers. I'm going to see you that five, my man. Peace. Drew the man. Listen, I wanted to screen share this. This is Andy Lee, who is now being called trainer of the year because of his win over Wilder with Joe Parker. Let me make sure this is uh, scaled right. And uh, Dan Rayfield says, Wilder never landed a truly solid right hand. Hashtag Wilder Parker. Hashtag Boxing Day of Reckoning. Blah, blah, blah. Andy Lee comes back to the trainer of Joe Parker and says, Dan, he didn't throw it because... He couldn't throw it. Whenever he tried, Joseph threw his or shaped to throw his, and that kept Wilder hesitant. Fire. Fight fire with fire. And, uh, you know, that's kind of what Fury did, man. He, 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 he bullied the bully, right? So it's like Brandon just said in his last call. The, 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 the mystique is over. They're not afraid of you no more. So, like, you got to get better than you was because they not staying back afraid of his right hand anymore uh james benitez two dollar super chat he says would wilder versus jaya opataya be a good fight that's probably a lot to ask of opataya i'm not saying he can't beat wilder i'm saying it's gonna be hard because he's so short i gotta i guess i gotta look up his actual height to know how short he is right I don't know. He seems short to me, but uh, let me check. I'm, I'm Googling it now just to be clear. They got him listed as 28-year-old, 201-62. Wilder is 6'7". How big is Joe Parker? How big is Parker? Let me see what Parker is. <laughs> Parker 6'4". So maybe Opataya could do it. Maybe he won't mind getting in there. I don't know. That's a lot to ask, but uh, cause he's he seems lean, so that's a lot to ask of Obataya. But uh, hey man, if you want to you want to make a name for yourself, that's de definitely a a way of doing it. Uh, next super chat is from Mike Jones, two dollars. He says Ness ain't been the same since Wilder disowned you. Laugh out loud. Uh, or unlike you that you're clearly still, you know, latching on to just fanaticism or my eyes was open, bro. It's like I picked the first fight. I'm legit on record with a with a betting slip picking a draw. I legit got paid on the first fight for the draw. The second fight I picked Wilder. Learned my lesson. Picked Fury in the third. You know, there's... Real boxing fans and fake boxing fans. Fake boxing fans, they still believe Earl has a shot. They think he was weight drained. Real boxing fans, we know he can't win. Fake boxing fans, they, they think Wilder has a shot. Real boxing fans, we know he can't fight. Like, y'all just mad. Like, you have to understand that in life, in life, you are entitled to change your opinion you're entitled to be made a believer so fury made me a believer he forced me not to be in that wilder 
days, you know? A lot of people were in that wilder days due to the power. We get caught up in the power. That's why Tank has so many fans. But anyway, Latron trying you again. Yo, can you hear me? Yes, sir. Yo, hey, t first of all, Ness, uh, I'm new to the channel, man. I just uh, I found y'all a couple weeks ago. Uh, Appreciate I like it, what y'all doing. <clears throat> I like what y'all doing, giving fans a chance to speak their opinions and everything like that. Uh, question: I sent you a message, man, because I'm trying to figure out how to, you know, get get your get you your bread for this call. Oh, uh, so you, if you wanted like an extra call, you could just do a five dollar cash app. The, the, the cash apps are on screen. Um, I'll text it in Discord there to you, and I'll personal message it to you. But, yeah, you could do a cash app for $5 or you, and just put the word CP and try to fit, you know, Lat Latron or wherever you at. Yo, I'm on Discord, so this way it's easier to find you and you can cut the line because that's to cut the line or to get extra time. Yeah, got you, got you. But, yeah, man, yesterday was a good car, man, on um, – Junior Fall, I think they say he had like a two two year layoff. I thought, you know, uh Frank Sanchez would have got him out there a little bit faster. I like what Jay Obataya did. And I'm just a casual boxing fan. I'm I'm fairly new to the heavyweight game. Okay. Um, I didn't like what I seen from Deontay Wilder. Like for me, he showed me that he just a one trick pony. Mm -hmm. And that ain't no good. Like you you supposed to be the biggest name or one of the biggest names in the heavyweight division and you ran all night people gave my boy Shakur hell hell against what he did for against De La Santos like they gave him hell and then you got guys coming on here defending Deontay Wilder or give him another shot give him another shot but dude's 38 he just ain't show shit. Like, he ain't did nothing all night. Like, he just ran. He was on the back foot, backpedaling, skating around the ring. He didn't even try to impose his will. Even in the last round, like, you down on the cards, 11 nothing. Get in there and dog it out. You know, do something. Throw a jab, something. My old lady, she don't know nothing about boxing, but when he started throwing on hammer fist, she was like, can he do that? I was like, no, nah, I don't know what the fuck he doing. <laughs> <laughs> he had dude in the headlock throwing hammer fist, man. That was kind of funny. But yeah, man, uh, yesterday was a good car, man. Let me ask you a question on this. Uh, with the car like we saw yesterday in Saudi, how you think a car like that with the bigger names would go in the 35 division or the 40 division in that oh. same in Saudi? I could only, same type of car. I could only hope that His Excellency Turkey Al Sheikh, you know not only follows us but listens to the show and hopefully he realizes that the heavyweight division ain't it i get it it's the casual division you may feel like it's your time but it's not your time and it brings out the casuals but that ain't where the action at he got to get tank to come to 40 and do everything offer offer tank and shakur money to move up then you got T.O. Ryan, Devin, Matias. You know, I mean, 140 is where it's at. Even 47 is done. Earl is done. Crawford is done. Jerron is alone. Virgil moved up. 35 is the division. Turkey Al Sheik, invest your money in the 40. Not really 35 because the big names is at 40. Ryan, T.O., Devin, Matias. Only big name down there is really Tank. Um, Shakur, he lost some luster, but we want him in that mix. Throw him in that mix. They need to do the next one at 140. Fuck the heavyweights. They ain't doing what they supposed to be doing. No disrespect to any one heavyweight, but it just ain't popping. It ain't, it ain't. They ain't moving the needle, bruh. Tank moving the needle, Tio moving the needle, Devin moving the needle. You know, we want to see Matias. We want to see Tio. You know, Ryan moves the needle. Like, I don't know, man. That's just my hope. 
is that you hey, right yes. that they hey, will go out. One more thing before I let you get to somebody else. Go I've for been it. listening to you all week, man, for a couple of weeks since I found you, and I see that you uh you and Big Baby, y'all y'all cool. I heard you say that y'all cool. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. I like the Big Baby and Mock Mock Madal fight. I think Big Baby could be a good boxer if he work on his footwork and his condition. He need conditioning, bro. I don't know that he's uh, listen. I I I I'm his friend, but I'm a real friend. I don't know that he's capable of having good condition. It's like I said, I've said it live on this show. I remember being in the gym, and I'm supposed to be recording him hitting the heavy bag, and he hotting behind the heavy bag. Like As I turn, he turns. And I'm like, bro, I'm trying to get a straight shot. You trying to not let me see the intensity in which you hit in the bag. But last night proved to me that I don't know that it's conditioning because he never stopped. You know, he, he, he threw punches nonstop. But he gave up his defense because of his lack of condition. And his, his hands didn't remain in defensive standpoint ever. I don't know that anybody yeah, could keep him focused. He, he, he's been down to Florida. He's been to New York. He's been everywhere. Like, who could keep him focused enough to really lose weight? And is he going to want to? We're talking about 330. You know how many miles you got to run to at least get to 300? And, and but, stay but at 300? Let the weight... Let that big weight be, and I'm gonna send you some bread too, Ness. I'm gonna send you some bread, but let that let that weight be an advantage, like because I've seen a few Tyson Fury fights. Like I said, I'm just a casual. Nah, for and sure. Tyson if, Fury lay on motherfuckers, and that's what I, bro. If you would have watched my show last night during the fight, that's what I said. I said, damn, lean on, lean on him. Yeah, he wasn't leaning him. on him, Dubois. He wasn't using his weight the way Fury does, but he also wasn't letting his hands go the way Fury does. Like he had the weight, but he couldn't. He couldn't work with the weight. Even his trainer was asking for more. He's like, yo, you're not doing enough on the inside. So it is a conditioning thing. The issue is, is the motherfucker going to give you what you need? You know what I'm saying? Like, hopefully this money doesn't make him train less. And instead, it's motivation. Like, I finally got a big payday. I've been fighting club shows and in weird countries. All my, I finally got a big payday. Now let's go in, hopefully. But it's late too, ain't he? Like thirty four. Uh, I don't even know how old he is. I ain't never followed him, man. Oh. Tell you the truth, like I said, I'm new to the heavyweight thing, man. I I try to stick to the the smaller classes like Bud Crawford and Shakur. I'm a big Devin Haney fan. I love Devin he Haney. Like I've been telling bro. people, he uh, Devin Haney will obliterate Tank. Uh. That's just my opinion. Mm. And uh, I look at it, man, like, even though I'm just a casual, I don't, I'm I'm not here for the excitement of the knockout. That don't excite me. I like the art of boxing itself. Like, Dev, like what Devin Haney did against Regis Progray. Like, he just outboxed him. What Bud did against Earl, he outboxed him. Uh, what Shakur did against Yoshino, he outboxed him. Jamel Heron, he outboxed him. It's it's an art to it. I heard Tarver say on his podcast on Instagram, you know, swimming don't get wet, hit and don't get hit. And it's like Devin Haney, Shakur Stevenson, they mastered that. And I can only say with time, they're only going to get better at it because they're young. And the more they work on their craft, the better it's going to be. Everybody don't want to see this big knockout. Forget all that. Put, and I was actually happy when the audio went out last night because I heard I think it was on the on the Sean Porter podcast. Uh, somebody said, uh, "Mute the TV and don't listen at the commentary and just watch the fight." Yeah, it'll open your eyes to it because a lot of times them commentators be calling punches and it don't even be landing. So when the audio went out last night, I was like, "Okay, let me let me focus on this AJ and what Balin fight." And AJ actually. Like, I've never seen a fight with AJ, but what he did last night was awesome. I thought it was outstanding. And after seeing that, a fight with Parker, with Wilder, if you Wilder had like won, it would have been one-sided, I think. But, but that's my call. Time. Salute to the Boxing Voice. Shout out Ness, Danny. I appreciate y'all for giving the fans a voice, man. Thanks. Appreciate you, man. Thank you for finding us. Uh, remember, we are on the backup channel. Uh, should be... Hopefully, tomorrow, maybe? 
we get the channel back, and if not, next Monday. Uh, because it's, it's, it's really not clear. I don't know if it was a two-week suspension or a one-week suspension, so hopefully we get it back tomorrow, if not next Monday. But the main channel, obviously The Vox and Voice, T-H-A-B-O-X-I-N-G-V-O-I-C-E. Um, for those that want to cut the line, you need to send a $5 super chat and just put CP for the name of the person. If you know I don't know you, if this is your first time, then put CP for whoever you are and where you are so that I can find you. I don't want you, you know what I mean, sending uh, money to cut the line and then, you know, waiting a bunch of time because I don't know who you are. But we got Brandon. What's up? Hello? Can you hear me? Yes. Hey, Ness, what's going on? How are you? How'd you like the fights uh, yesterday? Loved it, man. I, I, I can't complain whenever we get <laughs> nine hours of boxing. Yeah, I mean, I could tell you were having a good time. I was watching your stream. I wasn't even, I watched it after the fact, but for the most part, man, this was a, such an enjoyable experience. A lot of great fights. A lot of great fighters um, did their thing last night, and... Uh, they just they just showed out, they, um, including Dante Wilder, man. I mean, okay, he's gonna get a lot of criticism because he lost 12, 12 to zero. But hey, man, he's he's Dante Wilder at the end of the day, and I would I would welcome another fight from him. I would welcome another fight from him, even if he lost his previous one. Many, you know, prolific fighters have lost some fights, so it's to be expected. But I want to see him in the ring again, just because he. I'm not sure. I, I, I disagree with the judges that it was like a 12-0 shutout. I disagree with that it was a 12-0 shutout. I feel like it was more of like possibly a 7-5, 8-4 type of, type of match, not 12-0. Because Dante did do, stump, did, do some defensive maneuvers. Oh, you was, giving him credit. you was giving him credit for backpedaling. Yeah, like, so a lot of the time when, I mean, well, that's sort of like dodging dodging the punches yeah. because he was he was moving side to side forward backwards and that's a uh, defensive pot posture and defensive maneuver mm -hmm. that enabled him to sort of escape the the punches of parker but again he didn't do that for the majority of the rounds but 12 was a little bit much in terms of like how they scored it i feel like the judges scored it sort of biasly. Mm. But I do want to see Dante Wilder again. He should not retire. That would be absurd just from one loss. Um, three. three. And uh, three. Th he has three losses. Okay, then maybe maybe he should retire. I'm not sure, but I still like him as a fighter regardless. And I, I respect the fact that he posted that video after the fight and he sort of explained like, yeah, I had bad, I had a bad fight. I wasn't at my best. Maybe the next time he'll come back stronger and not do that again. All right, champ. It is not your time. Yes, Wilder has been knocked out twice in his last four fights and lost three of his last four fights. Uh, Way Trey, what up? Yo. Yo. Man, Deontay had oh my god! I was I was at the mall watching. I'm walking in the mall watching him get his ass beat, and I'm I, I, I'm like, duh, I, man, I, man, this ain't the same Deontay. I think he I think he got a facade going on with them knockouts he always had. Cause how you can knock somebody out all the time, and you go against uh, a legit competition, and you still look like you ain't change up nothing, like. His, his footwork is still trash. Like, come on, man. I know everybody lost their money yesterday because ain't nobody picked no damn Joseph Parker. <coughs> you ain't lying. <laughs> fucked up my, he fucked up every part. Bro, you know what it is that, <laughs> to call every fight right? I had a five-team parlay call every fight right, and all I needed was Wilder by knockout. And man. he did that. Man, he, man I... I, I just think he maybe maybe he got like some PTSD from that Tyson Fury shit, so he ain't he ain't alert and 
No, he certainly do. And... He certainly do because if you think about it, in the Hellenius fight, he started the same way, circling, going back off the back foot. But he got the knockout so quick that we like, oh shit, he a counter puncher now. But then in this yeah, fight, man. he came out and he started back foot and never stopped. He never stopped going backwards. But he ain't got good footwork to even do that. I don't know who taught him that. He needs to go to the trainer. Man, he need to do something. Some hurdles, some some knees, some up burpees, something. He need to do something. Oh, you still want working, you bro. still want him to fight? I still want him to fight because I feel like he need a different trainer. He needs somebody. He need a footwork strengthening and conditioning coach to like really get but him bro, on his. I mean, you had Jay Diaz, then you had Mark Breland, then you got Malik Scott. Like, I know AJ changed a lot of trainers too, but like. Is it the trainer or is it the fighter? Yeah, it's the fighter for sure if he ain't going to listen to the trainer. But if you're going to backpedal like a damn lightweight, then you should have some maneuver with it. You can't just think your right hand going to land all the time. That's what's wrong with him. He always depend on that little lucky-ass punch. The niggas is on that. Niggas know y'all. You fight now. You did knock 40 people out the same way. You, nah, man. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, when people notice how you fight like Regis, like, re everybody know Regis is a lazy, hands always down fighter. People see, like, okay, he coming with this punch, he coming with this punch, he gonna move back, slide, swipe, and try to counter punch. That's not how that works when, when you got a lot of fights. The more fights you have, the more flaws they see. So he just gotta get, he gotta get like a, he gotta get somebody that, that, that know about footwork, super, super footwork. And he, shit, he need to use his mind and stop the thing is, if he get back in his bag where he be like, all right, man, I can you knock this nigga like out. If he can what knock a nigga time? out how he used to, then it'll be, you know, it'll be Deontay Wilder again. Like Anthony Joshua did real Chance. good. To, in my I love you, B. That's the bell, though. But, yo, what about Derrick James? Derrick is no longer with a AJ. Ben Davidson had AJ looking good. You know, so it's too late. Ben can't get out the country, so he can't train Wilder. Derek James is a good basic trainer that, and I don't mean that in any disrespect. I mean, he teaches the fundamentals, the basics, the footwork. He teaches the jab. And we need Wilder to get back to that jab. We do need him to be a little bit patient, but don't move as much. So, I don't know. What y'all think about Derek James? If you don't want Wilder to retire... Who should join the team? I got ribs, five pounder. Can we give credit to Ben Davidson? No way AJ looked that good under Derrick James, even though Derrick been coaching AJ for his last two fights. You know, AJ looked good and aggressive, and you're right. Ben does deserve credit because he gets a bad rap. I thought Ben was the type of trainer that only likes to slow fighters down. Slow them down. Tell them to be patient. Not go for the kill. That's what he did in the Fury fight. He's done that with Taylor. So I thought that was his mentality to train people boxing first. Not Killer Instinct. But AJ came out there with a chip on his shoulder trying to prove something to the world. You know, uh, shout out to AJ, man. You know, that's two fighters this year that I've underestimated, right? I underestimated T.O., and look at what he did with Teller. And then calling out Matias, sending him a contract. Matias turning it down. I'm like, damn. T.O. changed my whole perception of him. Because he was looking crazy out here with the Devin Haney shit. You know, going from $4 million to $10 million to $20 million, That shit was looking bananas to me. But then he redeemed himself with his last few actions. Uh, AJ has done the same. It's like Brandon said, we, 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 we believed in the wrong dude, bro, and we doubted the wrong dude. Mike Jones, $5. AJ had three stay busy fights in a year. Wilder's fight was a year and a half ago. Activity matters. Uh, teams matter. You know, you guys need to stop saying that and start saying that AJ has a real team that really cares and has a winning mentality, and Wilder has a losing team that doesn't care about his well-being or him getting a win because if they did they would keep him active because if activity really is the issue why wouldn't their biggest attraction on pbc 
the man that makes the most money on PBC outside of Tank, why wouldn't he get what he needs? AJ is the man for Eddie. AJ is the man for uh, Matchroom. And they give AJ what the fuck he needs to continue to be the man. Blame PBC. Dimitri Alexander, $5. Ness, you seen Espinosa complaining about the card? I sure did. I sure did. But I'm not even going to say nothing, bro. You know, um, it's jealousy. Why else are you looking for fault? Why else are you telling people on Twitter? No, you know, I'm just saying they would have done better. For Americans, uh, I know they didn't care about the American market, but it would have done better if they would have did this or did that, if, if it wasn't competing against this or in that. My brother, how many fights have you put on that been competing against the weirdest people in the world? You know what I'm saying? Like, you've been putting cards that, 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 that compete against everything, and you haven't been doing better. Like, why are you even getting involved, bro? Like, you know what I mean? You don't got a horse in the race. It's not your fight. It's not your card. You know, like, I get it. Maybe he feels some sort of, uh, I don't know what the word I'm looking for, but maybe he feels some sort of uh, connection to this card because of Deontay Wilder and Wilder being on his network so much, and maybe he wanted a better job done, quote-unquote, for the American viewing audience. But, bruh, fuck the viewing audience. What about the card? Yeah, you know what I mean? When the last time PBC put something on this competitive? I mean, Wilder got beat, for God's sakes. The matchmaking on this card was insane. You know what I'm saying? Like, but whatever, it's jealousy. You know, they wish they could have put something on like this, so that's why they got to take shots. It makes no other sense. Why else would you be complaining like what is there to complain outside of the shit performance that Wilder put on there's nothing to complain about this card let's be real the card to me was great and I can't wait I hope they make it a yearly thing or I hope that it just is a common thing and you know we see the same thing on February on the undercard of Usyk Fury and we see the same thing on March when AJ comes back on a date that he was supposed to fight Wilder but Wilder shit the bed Renaissance dad ten dollars <laughs> Wilder looked just like Jared Heard his first fight back after J-Rock put him down. Again, that's your team's fault. You know, maybe your team should stop being high and mighty and let you go get some off television fights. Maybe your team should stop being high and mighty and let you go get a zone fight. Maybe your team should worry about you Instead of worrying about the overall company, the well-being of the company, and sacrificing you for the well-being of the company. Because you not fighting in two years only served the company as leverage. But it ain't serve you in the skill department. It ain't serve you in the activity department. It ain't make you any better. So maybe... Dude's teams need to be better. We give them so much credit for having the teams they got, but yet it's their teams keeping them out the ring. Why didn't Earl fight in so long? Why didn't Wilder fight in so long? Why didn't Fulton fight in so long? The list goes on and on and on and on. I mean, it's, it's time to stop making excuses. It's time to start realizing that the reality is PBC is flawed. Because they have too many fighters, so they can't give out activity. Jay's fight party, cutting the line, what it do? Yo, what up, Nash? Yep. Yeah, man, I agree 100% with what you're saying, though. But with Wilder, yeah, with Wilder like, everybody get, like, at that point, after they get knocked out, we watch Wilder. He's 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 gunshot now. Like you feel me? When when May Wilder Wilder is because he'll let that right hand go regardless. He gonna let that right hand go from the rip. Like he ain't wasn't scared to throw it. Like he was scared to throw it last night. And then when he did start throwing it, Joseph Parker already had the timing up on it. Like he was already ready for it. So it was like 
he ducked that right hand so many times last night. It was like yesterday. It was like crazy. So it's like wild that we fight. It's like this. These fighters that's not fighting, they not active while they're 38 years old. Like him not to be active is horrible for a 38 year old. You feel me? So it's like, like what you gonna do? You got to stay active. After he knocked out Hellenius, he should have been right back in the ring fighting whoever. Like, it don't matter who he fighting, but he should have been right back in the ring uh, still working. So while he looked like he's, like he said, his timing was off, it looked like it. You know what I'm saying? His footwork still trash. Like, so it's like, only thing that's going to help with that is time in the ring. You know what I mean? So, Wilder, I don't know what to do with him, but I know AJ, he looked uh, amazing. That's probably the sharpest I've seen AJ in a long time. Like, just as far as his counter punching was like on point, like sharp, quick, and solid. So it was like AJ, he looking good though. AJ looking good. Uh, Big Baby and Dubois, I'm like this. I was wrong about Dubois. Like I was, I was 100 percent wrong. Like I thought he was soft. Like uh, he showed in that fight that he wasn't soft. He 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 stood up to that pressure that uh, Big Baby was putting on him all night from round one to. The round 10, like, and I was wrong about that. So, yeah, Dubois, salute to him. Like, he he showed me a lot. And I know me and you was, like, one of the few that was saying Big Baby, like, on some real talk. Yeah, man, I you know you know I wanted to see my boy win, man, because it would open. Look, if he would have won Wilder lost, he got the AJ fight. If he would have won... Yeah. AJ lost, he would have got the Wilder fight. I'm sad for him, man. I'm sad for him, man. Uh, but at least man. he fought in a manner that I think the the the, the Sheik, Turkey Allah Sheik, would want him back. I don't think he fought in a manner where they don't want him back. I think he made that fight fun, and they're going to want to see him again, I hope. Yeah, I was. I, I enjoyed the fight. Like That fight was probably the best fight on the card for sure, hands down. I right. enjoyed it a lot. I would I would love to see Big Baby back in there. And he good for the heavyweight division because he can sell a fight. You know what I mean? He's talking. So who you want to see Wilder back versus or should he retire? But it's not your time. Um, to be honest with you, like, uh man, like it, it, I don't know, man. I, I I think he should hang it up, to be honest with Damn. you. Like I, I wouldn't be upset with Wilder if he hung it up. Uh because he's not going to improve, like, skill-wise, like, in footwork and stuff like that. And it's what it is. And he's gunshot now. He's afraid to get hit now. Like, okay. he's afraid. So it's like... Champ, that was the bell. Uh, but damn, they want him. They want, he wants the retirement. Um, I'm wondering because, like, Nganu is old and he was able to learn. Uh, you know, maybe it's just they need a, 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 a trainer that can connect with him. You know, uh, Malik Scott had that connection from a from a friendship standpoint, but that's what I'm saying. He might need a Mickey, and I know that's a fictional character, but he might need a, a, a Mickey. He need a Emmanuel Stewart. Somebody that's going to yell, tell you the fucking truth. Like, you need a fucking knockout. Knock this motherfucker out. You know what I mean? Get up, you son of a bitch. This shit ain't over. Like... That's the type of trainer it looked like he need from the outside looking in. He too domesticated. That ayahuasca got him on some lovey-dovey shit, and we need him back on, you know, warrior mentality. Aziz, $2. To be honest, Wilder has not fought anybody except Fury. Well, I mean, Joe Parker's definitely a fight, and Stavern is a former world champ, you know? Um... He's had decent opponents around, you know, outside of that. But the knock was elite. The knock was champions. The knock was never unified. You know, top 10, uh, consistent top 10 heavyweight. So that's why, I mean, I don't know. The legacy would be in question if he retires. Lake County, $2, PBC, punishing boxers' careers with inactivity. That's the new slogan he says that PBC stands for. Um, let's see who is next. Remember, Twitter Spaces and Discord is available. We going out to Jay Will in Ohio. 
Yo, 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 what's up? What up? What up? Yo, man. Um, man, I it, that was a dope card, man. I'm going to just start with that, man. That card was dope. Um, especially uh, just for, you know, to be at the end of the year and all that, man. It's a good way to end the year for boxing. Um, I, I'm going to just stay on the hot topic with Wilder. Um, yo, it, it's... I think a lot of people are having a lot of revisionist history, man. Um, how things played out yesterday, now everybody want to have this revisionist history about what actually took place in the past. Like, we got, we had the guys wrong. That's the narrative I heard, not only you, but like three to four other callers say. We had the narrative wrong. We did. Josh, Josh was really the mentally strong one, but Iwata was the mentally weak one, and so on and so I forth, mean, man. Like, yo, I mean, dog. One dude never made an excuse for his loss and got it back in the ring, became two time right, champ. Right. I mean, uh, okay, it ain't okay. a narrative. It's 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 playing out before your eyes. All right. And, and one guy, one guy, every time he faced adversity in the ring, he got up and kept getting knocked down and, and never stopped. One guy, when he faced adversity against Andy Ruiz, everybody said he quit in the ring. Okay. Uh, one guy, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. One guy back in the past asked the other guy for the fight and came with a $50 million offer. And both, you know, Eddie Hearn and uh, Finkel was on your show discussing that shit yeah, and all that. Champ, so champ, hold, champ. But hold on, hold on. Let, let me finish. Let me go. Let me go. Yeah, let, but let why, me can't we, why can't we, like, talk? Like, you're going to make me lose hella points. Like, if you're going to bring up one thing, one thing, you keep, you know, adding more to it. Like, let me fight some of that. Because you're talking about $50 million, all that is cool. We all were there with you as Wilder fans. We all believed he wanted to fight. That shit still don't got nothing to do with he can't fight. He wouldn't win. Oh, I'll say, I'm about to get there. I'm about to get there. And I can't dispute that because I've always so, been a critic. So why of, do it matter then? Why do it matter about 50 million? And because we talk, because we talk, because the reason why it matters is but, the but, narrative but, that's being pushed is one dude is saying, or oh, y'all saying that one dude was always mentally weaker than the other dude. Yeah, and, it's just and like that's both, it. And that's I'm it. We're not this. talking what about I'm offers, saying today, though. We're uh -huh. not talking about offers. We're just talking about we had it wrong about calling AJ weak. We got to be able, as American boxing fans, we got to admit that. We thought he was soft, man. Let's not but, let's not uh, do that. We thought he was soft. We thought Wilder was the tough one. And and and, and so, look. So, so, so let me wrap it up. To me, both fighters got holes in, in, in their mentality. So, for instance, the Wilder gets detached from reality when he has to face uncomfortable shit. And therefore, he goes into his own little world, like he raised his hand at the end of the fight, or him changing from Breland to, to, to Malik Scott, and he does shit like Bro, that. Bro, him raising Anthony his got, hand is just, is just further indication of his delusion. It right, just matches. Delusional. It just matches all the excuses he made. He in denial of losing. And, and, my, and my whole thing with Anthony Joshua, his mentality where he's weak at is when he has to face adversity in the ring. He quit against Andy Ruiz. He never really pressed the issue against um, the dude he just lost twice to, um, Usyk. Usyk. Like, he fought, he fought soft against Usyk, but and champ, that was a mentality champ, champ, thing. But champ, champ, here goes my, my counter to that. Regis never proved he was soft, and he just couldn't get to Devin. You talk about AJ should have did he this. He tried to get to he tried. He, he tried to but get he to Devin. But he couldn't. But he couldn't. And that's the same thing that happened to AJ, brother. Mm -hmm. Usyk is AJ. Devin, if not a better Devin in, in, in some people's lives because he's been able to undispute, move up the heavyweight, and be unified. So technically, Usyk is proven to be a better boxer than Devin Haney. At the end of the day, man, Regis sold out to try to get to Devin, got hurt a couple of times selling out. AJ never sold out because he was scared to lose. He's so, always been scared to lose because he had that. He had a lot of pressure on him with Eddie Hearn getting all getting those big pace every fight and having the so whole machine So what's your narrative though? Get to the point. Your narrative is what that we're still wrong and AJ both, is still soft. No, that both no both both heavyweights Wilder and Anthony Joshua got holes in their mental. You know what I'm saying? And we but can't one, have a vision in But like, one, but oh, one I, guy, uh, C, uh, J, uh, I'm about to call yeah, you C. I'm about to call you C. Dub. J. Will. One guy has proven to us that in his mental, what lapses, he's slowly correcting things. 
I he's will give slowly you that. correcting I will give you that. things. I will give you that. I'll so, definitely give so you that. So we can't that leave take. him in the same category as Wilder. Wilder has not shown improvement. Wilder has not shown that he's not going to be delusional. Wilder has not stopped making excuses. I, that's outside the ring. But the next time we see AJ face real adversity in the ring, will he tuck his tail like he did? He like, just fought a southpaw Williams. to end the adversity talk. He he fighting his demons. You look. He could have not fought a southpaw and been ready, getting ready for an author, a orthodox fighter because he's signed to fight the baddest man on the planet. And instead, he's fighting his demons. Like man, they think I ain't good versus southpaw. I'm a I'm a fucking I'm a show them. I'm a master that. What are we talking about? Again, you know exactly what I'm talking about, Ness. When that man faced adversity in the ring, when he gets hit uh, with some shit that he doesn't like, he you stops talking coming about revisionist and he quits. history, but but so, all you so talking about is old he, stuff. So did he did he or did not quit in the ring before? Yes you, or no? You uh, yes, if that's what you want to how you okay. want to label it, but I seen a referee stop the fight. And at, man, you know everybody said he quit. Everybody you know that. ain't the referee who stopped the fight though, right? Bruh, okay, bruh. okay, okay. <laughs> so you wasn't you wasn't one of the people that said he quit. And didn't I say in the beginning of this show that we as boxing fans are entitled to change our mind, just like just like Brandon. The reason you called in is because Brandon changed his mind. He realized, brother, I was wrong. Wilder's not the baddest man on the planet. It's Wild, AJ. Wilder's, Wilder's, Wilder's been delusional. That's your call. And you know I gave you. And Anthony Johnson's been weak minded. That's your call. You know I gave you hella time. And we as boxing fans, it's okay to tell the truth. We thought Wilder was the baddest man on the planet. AJ is. Look at his resume. He fighting every heavyweight. Like the dude that got an upset. Right? If you don't think Parker's win was an upset, Adjit Cabibel's win was an upset. And Adjit Cabibel was a spawn partner. Like, AJ has been spawned best heavyweights for years. For years. And he's been fighting the top 10 heavyweights for years. For years. Do, do we need a reminder? Should we show you the resume? Is that what you need to see to understand? Like what we talk about? Like we thought Wilder was there because he couldn't get the fights. They gave him the fight. He fought a dude the world thought he was better than. Like, I can't believe we still trying to take shots at, hey, well, 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 AJ's mentally just as weak. Bruh, get that man his credit for living up to his half of the fucking arrangement. We ain't got the AJ Wilder fight because of your favorite fighter. Your favorite fighter shit the motherfucking bed. Fuck is you out here talking about AJ for? Y'all so weird. Jesus Christ. Well, AJ just as weak, bruh. We can't just we can't just take it out on Wilder. AJ just AJ shown it in the AJ ain't show nothing but skill last night. AJ ain't show nothing but killer instinct last night. Only one motherfucker was on his roller skates. He was out there skating with with Floyd Mayweather. You know Mayweather loved being in the ring. That's what he was doing. I thought I was watching T.R. One or oh, Bow Wow, one of them goddamn roller skate movies. Fuck out of here. It's your bullshit trying to. Oh, revisionist history. We can't forget what AJ did when he fought Ruiz seven years ago. Motherfucker, you want to bring up Ruiz? Won't you bring up the last four fights to Wilder? The ass kicking Fury gave him. We ain't got to go seven years ago for Wilder. Fucking weird, man. Y'all terrible. Caesar, what up? Calling here to shit on AJ when he got the win. Talk trends, if you don't want to be timed out for 24 fucking hours, you better stop motherfucking spamming the same shit. What's up, Will? Did you hear me? Yes. Hey, just wanted to give my little opinion on what I saw last night. Um, I don't think Deontay Wilder needs to retire. I think there's still plenty of fights out there that he can have. The, I guess it'd be more if he's willing to... Because I think boxers need to understand it doesn't matter how high you get in the division or how big of a name you become. Your name is as valuable as what you bring in for viewers, right? So, I mean, Wilder can have another fight, but I don't think he should be expecting no 
I don't know what they got paid. You know, if, if they can if they can decide to fight and make maybe make a meal on the undercard or something. I think that's what we're missing. Like if you lose, you ain't pay-per-view no more. You can be on the undercard of a big pay-per-view. But I seen Wilder fight and that's the same Wilder I've basically seen. Not meaning like the backpedaling or whatever, but he he's just never been we've always known what he is. He's a he's a one-hitter knockout artist and if he can't do that then I mean, wasn't he losing against Ortiz whenever he knocked him out? Like, Ortiz was going to win, and then he ended up getting that knockout at the very end. I think uh, Joseph Parker and Andy Ruiz, when I watched that fight a year, a while back, how long has that been? Like, three, four years? Or maybe not that long. But uh, whenever they fought, that was a real fight. Those two those two are probably the best in the division right now, besides Usyk. Usyk, Usyk is number one. I don't think anybody can beat Usyk right now. Uh I am surprised with Joshua. I've never seen that style of Joshua. He actually looked confident out there. He used to look like a deer in headlights. He looked he looked scared out there after Ruiz knocked him out. But um it kind of sets it kind of sets Ruiz up. I would like to see a Ruiz versus Parker. I like to see that rematch. Let let Ruiz get his get back and if Parker wins then he can he can go for that big fight against AJ. Um but what I do like about this this uh undercard is or this this card in general, I would like to see more more cards in general where where they're all fighting in the same division. Like we saw nothing but heavyweights, so we're able to kind of gauge the heavyweight division, make fights right after the you know the card is over, and and kind of be like, oh, this would be a good matchup. I feel like if we had like a one thirty five pound card or a one sixty eight card, if they started doing more of that, then I think it'd be I think it'd be beneficial to the fighters because they'd be able to, you know, size people up right then and there. But good fight, good fights overall, 40 bucks. Anybody would pay 40 bucks if they keep it this way. But that's my call. All right, all right. Yeah, you know, speaking of good car, right, we we, we just had somebody in the, in, the, in the chat like 30 minutes ago. I had to time out. Uh, dude just... Consistently saying, I bet you the card only did 100,000 pay per views. Like, bruh, you in the wrong channel, man. I know it don't say the boxing voice because we got the violation, but you in the wrong place, man. We ain't here for that. Motherfuckers enjoyed this card. We cared about the fights. We were happy. Fuck your 100,000 pay per view buys and all that weird shit. Don't nobody give a flying fuck. Y'all keep getting caught up in that. Like, that only needs to be talked about when we can't get the fight. We got a fantastic car top to bottom outside of that bivvle slowdown, you know. That shit slowed everything down. But outside of that, that car was fire. Uh, so we don't, we don't give a fuck about the numbers. We give a fuck about the satisfied customers, the motherfuckers that watched it. However you watched it, we were satisfied. So kick rocks. Any people that may be inspired by that gentleman, you will be timed out too. Like, I, I'm trying to look at shit that helps the rest of this day be good. I'm not trying to look at weirdos talking about numbers when we had like 13 good fights. Fuck out of here. Free Smoke, what up? Dude's priorities fucked up. You want to talk about numbers when we had great fights. The fuck? Free smoke going once, two times. LV. Ooh. Yo, my bad. My bad. You Next good. On you me. good. Yo. You good. Yeah, I just got a quick car today, man. Uh, I appreciated the whole car for sure, top to bottom. And I think Water let us down, man. Uh, Water did not look good, bro. <laughs> and AJ, he impressed me. I'm happy for AJ. I know he was going through troubles. Like in and out the ring, outside the ring that was affecting him in the ring. So I think he did a good job yesterday, like shaking those cobwebs off for sure. Champ, you there? You got a call or you you done? No, you hear me? Yeah, I hear you now. I felt like you oh. just paused for a minute. Oh my bad, my bad. But yeah, that's all I got though, man. Um, Wilder, I don't think he need to retire, but I think he need to reassess what he's doing, man. I think he need to stop just looking for that right hand. I think he got a lot of ability still, but I think it's all in his head, to be honest. Word. 
That's all I got, though. Man. Hopefully somebody could bring him to that, you know, to that greatness, man. He, You know, I would like to see somebody give Antonio Tarver a chance. He talked crazy after every bad performance. He talked crazy like he's the magic man for real when it comes to training. Uh, I'm not saying I want to see Wilder with him. I just want to see him get his shot at training someone and showing us that he could be an elite level trainer. LV Slugger, you there? Yep. Barrel City E. Yeah, man. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna lie. Y'all pissing me off this morning. Y'all got me over here shit, man. If I run over, I got the fire. Like, bruh, I, 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 I play the fucking tape if y'all didn't hear me. I told y'all Deontay was gonna be down on in this fight. And he was gonna need a, a fucking knockout to win. I also told y'all this nigga Wallene was fooled for AJ. He was always fooled for AJ because he was tailor-made for AJ. The nigga got slow foot, slow hands, and he don't got no head movement. AJ was 10 times more athletic than Wallene. That fight, not the, not the bash AJ, because he did his motherfucking thing. But at the same time, y'all can't, come, y'all can't come on here like AJ just proved us he was the mentally most stronger fighter against Wallene. Against Wallene. I mean, he, he saw Deontay get knocked the fuck out badly and still keep going, still keep coming forward. This man quit. This man flat out quit. Andrew Ruiz, and, and I'll call my cousin right now on three way. When my cousin came over, I said, bro, we about to real witness history today. I said, I said, bro, this fucking Andrew Ruiz coming in red hot. He's been active and he got real fast hands for a fat boy. I said, watch you beat AJ ass tonight. And sure shit, he knocked AJ the fuck out. I, I ain't never thought Deontay Wilder was a Hall of Famer or uh, 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 some generational fighter. I just thought the nigga was hella entertaining. You could have tell the nigga was highly ignorant, and I don't mean that to disrespect him, but he not the, he not the sharpest pencil in the in the goddamn um in the pack. And the man and the man had destructive power in that right hand. And the fact of the matter is, if we got that fight earlier. And we had got that fight early in his career. I mean, I don't know for sure, but I feel like he would have knocked Parker out because Parker was there to be hit with the right hand all night. But Deontay couldn't let it go. Because I ain't going to give him an excuse because you, you signed the deal, that's your ass. And the same thing I did with Earl. If you sign that contract, that's your ass with me. You know what I mean? You feel like you're ready, then you're ready. So you don't get the excuse of not being ready. But we're not going to sit right here and act like inactivity and, and, and killing these niggas at PBC. That's you know, that's, you they, that's they promoter for. That ain't our problem. It is, and it is, and it is, and it ain't your problem. And, and and another thing, another thing, like just be realistic. You think you think motherfucking surgeons go on a two year hiatus, only do surgery for 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 ten minutes, five minutes, and then they do it, then they wait two years and then try it again? No, it don't work like that. You gotta keep <laughs> practicing your craft, no matter how good you is. LeBron keep practicing. Kobe kept practicing. All these top rapers. Tom Brady, the most winning quarterback in NFL history, he keep practicing. You got to keep doing what you do to be great. It's the simple fact at all. Like, and we're not about to sit right here and act like we didn't already know AJ had the better uh, the better resume. We knew AJ was, was a, a Hall of Fame, but we knew AJ had the better fundamentals. We do all this shit years ago, and people still said, we, we feel like Deontay will knock his ass out. That 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 uh that uh Anthony Joshua that got the knockout over Hellenius, DRT was knocking that nigga the fuck out because he was too hesitant to let his hands go. But Wallin, he wasn't out scared of what. Oh, don't tell me. So so you really telling hey, yo, me after hey, that hey, Hellenius hey, yo, the knockout? Wilder, the Wilder that fought Fury in the third fight beats everybody too, but that shit is fucking fake math. Listen, my only thing I'm saying is, only thing I'm saying is, like, I ain't mad. They light Deontay up. But it's like now all of a sudden he fallen from a pedestal he should have never been on in the first place. But he the was. Man, but man. he was. There was a lot of delusional fans living in his delusion, and this woke everybody up, hopefully. 
And exactly that's what it was, delusion, man. But that's still, like I said, two things could be true, man. You're not sitting here telling me this. Look me there. Look that camera dead in the motherfucking eye. And tell me when Deontay had just knocked the fuck out of Louis Ortiz, you wouldn't have taken him over AJ right then and there. When AJ, before AJ took that goddamn Andrew Ruiz loss. Bruh, I say it all the time. These fights need to get fought. Like, yeah, we look at a fight and we think you could beat another fight, but they still got to get fought. Look at the Caballero fight. We never thought that shit was going to happen, man. Motherfucker was a plus 2,200, man. I feel embarrassed of myself. Knock it that's off, true. man. That's we, true. We we but, but see, that, that's my point. The fight's got to get fought. Yep. And then you just say, you just talk about the fight itself. But let's not act like Deontay just took this major drop off in history. But I homie, never thought he was a Hall of Famer. Homie, I mean, we keep putting him up against other dudes, and he just looks Bro, so you gonna tell me he looked good in the Fury fights or he looked like he was lost in the Fury fights? No, nah, he looked lost. He looked All lost right. cause he met the superior boxer. All right, but so, he was so still coming. But well, listen, though, he was still Parker? coming forward. But did he, he was still he was eating Parker stiff fight? jabs, stiff right crosses, and that man still was coming forward trying to land that right hand. Like he had the heart. The heart, right. ain't I nobody, feel like heart should ain't nobody be a take, conversation. Ain't nobody taking away his heart, man. Like, that's what y'all, y'all want to confuse but, everything. But, but we talking about his mental. We talking about, I hear people calling in talking about Brad, yeah, Anthony was you, always the mentally tougher fighter. Did you not see him fucking looking like Deontay Wilder Shakur Stevenson? He did. He did. I, like I said, I ain't gonna defend that performer. He threw less. Saying, he threw uh, less you know, punches. Like, now we acting like Joshua is like mentally a tough guy, bruh, and, and I'm just saying it. I feel like we still got to see him check into bruh, the deep that's water, the bell again. and then we'll see what Anthony made up. That's the bell again. What you doing? Go ahead. Go ahead. I'm gonna see you ten. Go ahead. I'm gonna see you ten. So let me Man, tell you. I let me tell feel you. Like, I Listen. Feel, he threw less punches than Shakur and right. Delo Santos. He threw less punches, landed less punches than Shakur and Delo Santos. He a fucking heavyweight, bro. Yeah, that was embarrassing. That was flat out embarrassing. That I ain't gonna sit right here and defend it. That's why you don't hear me saying nothing. But I'm just talking like now we just. You still trying now to just kind of yeah, gas you still, Anthony Joshua nah. though. Like I, I, I can't get behind him. He got to show me more than Marlene, bro. You got to show me more. Than, go rematch Andrew Ruiz and this time engage with him. Bruh. Don't pity pat with jabs on the outside. Let me ask and, you something. And, and engage with him. Was, Let me was see Waleen, him engage. Was Waleen more than Hellenius? Was Waleen more than? I mean, if you want to say so, because he split Tyson Fury eye open. I mean, you could say Helene, Helene is and well, he's on the same level to me. It ain't about it ain't about what he split. Do you think Waleen was a better fighter than Helene is? Simple. Honestly, I don't know. I had to see him fight because part of me believe Helene is might could get Waleen. You out of fucking control. Well, I'm done with you. You don't think Take your Helene has got better footwork than Waleen. Tell me I'm lying. Enjoy your call, man. Oh my So you so you think you think Helenius don't got a shot with Waleen? Nah. No. Nope. Oh, nope. I think I I think I think he'll put hands on Wal I mean I don't know if hey. I don't think I can say I think he'll put hands on him, but I think it'd be a better fight than what you think it is. I think that should go down to the last few rounds. Listen, you got I one person Helene. is one person in the chat say you right that that they, they on the same level. I, I don't think so. They on the same level, man. So so you think you think um Wallin would have beat Kobnowski? Absolutely. Oh my god. Well we well, we see shit differently right now, man. All I'm saying is let's let's slow down before we let the AJ hype train roll down the motherfucking track. How, how let's see him get up in it. We just how the dude we just won saw is a hype, but the dude that lost it got heart. You funny out here. No, 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 no. I didn't say I said he got I felt like he had, he still got more heart than AJ. He just lost the fight from in there. I feel like he didn't let his hands go enough, but when he did try, he did try. AJ was to a point where he didn't even want to engage at one time, man. That man was flat out scared to let his hands go. 
I think Deontay, he was missing that right hand all night, but he let it go a few times. But the only thing he added the wrinkle to his game is that fucking lateral movement. This is the same Deontay I've been watching for years. Losing rounds, taking his time, trying to blind you with the jab. Then he tried to explore with that he right had, hand. He landed the only 13 thing said, jabs, champ. He only landed 13 jabs. Yeah, yeah, I mean, but he never really threw the jab. Some people he threw the jab hard, but every other fight, it was just a blinder. It wasn't really a, a, a power jab to score to hurt you. It was a blinding jab, like how he did with Lawrence Ortiz the second time. That's the he just foul, blinded Chad. him, blinded him, boom, right hand. That's the and he foul. kept trying that, but it wasn't working. You good or you going again? No, man, I'm Gucci, man. I'm about, I'm about to send the team, though, man. I'm about hey, to send the team. Hey, listen, uh, Jonathan Sims said he got your tab, so since you good, you ain't got to send nothing. He going to handle it. Jonathan, that's two. We going out the fats on the counter. Salute. Salute to Jonathan Sims. God bless, as always. Hashtag God bless. Salute to him for always donating counter punches for callers in the community. Fats, Baltimore, what up? Yo. We hear you. Yo, it's it's over. It's over. Wilder, one of my favorite fighters, too, but it's over. Three three L's out of your last four fights, that's it. It's a wrap. I mean, you know, like, he 38, and, and he had a good career for a late starter. You know what I mean? He won a bronze medal and, you know, 11 title de successful title defenses. You know what I mean? I, I don't know if he a Hall of Famer. I, I probably would say so. Due to that, he started in the heavyweight division, and you know you can't go up. You know, what I mean, typically people don't go down. But um, I I mean, I mean that's up for the for the you know the board directors, I guess, for uh, the Hall of Fame to decide. But I I think he had a good career for a late starter, man. You know, unfortunately, you know he's just not one of them fighters. He ain't he not fundamentally sound with though he could be boxing until he like thirty nine and forty. You know what I mean? Like like Bro City, he said that was a good point. Like he not. He don't, he don't, he don't, he don't work on his craft like a, like a LeBron James or Kobe or Floyd Mayweather, or Serena Williams. Yeah, you know I mean, them, 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 those are all time greats, man. They, they, they've been playing, they've been doing this shit since they came out the womb. You get what I mean? Like, Wilder not that type of fighter to be, to be fighting until he 40 and shit. It's time to hang it up. You know what I mean? I mean, you know, you couldn't be the guy who damn near who lost to an MMA fighter. You get, you get what I'm saying? Like, Fury not all that good. He he, he okay, but Fur, Fury not all that. Fury stole his thunder by beating him. You get what I mean? So, but uh, people gotta stop hating on AJ, man. I I I I came in a realization. Well, not even a realization. I just gave him his credit a couple months ago. He he carrying the heavyweight division. Let's 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 just call it. Let's let's just give him his props. He it, and when you look at his resume. He, it ain't nobody he ducked on his resume. Him and Wilder ain't fight. Yeah, I thought Wilder would have beat him too, just off for of strength and power, you know, because I like I liked Wilder. But, I, I mean, skill-wise, once he got exposed by Fury like that, I, I knew that shit. I'm like, yeah, AJ would beat him. You know, skill-wise, it's just, he just, he just don't got it. If, if a boxer not scared of him and, and they, they willing to go in there and fight with him and use their head, it's like, he be lost. That Hellenius fight, that shit looked like WWE to me. I didn't believe that knockout. I mean, I mean, <laughs> I thought dude looked like he took a dive in that fight for real, for real. I, I didn't believe that fight when he knocked dude out. It just, it just looked too, too, too fake to me. But it's it's time for him to call it quits. He had a good career. Um, and yeah, man, we gotta get AJ. His, we gotta get AJ his credit, man. Like I get he ain't from America and all that shit, but. Like, we got to give AJ his credit. Dude ain't ducking nobody. He fighting niggas. You get what I'm saying? You can run my free call with this. I ain't going to take too much longer. But hey, he, he he fighting the top fight. You know what I'm saying? He he he, he giving us what we want to see. Like, you made Ruiz. Like yeah, time. Ruiz beat him. Ruiz really beat him. But I feel like also Ruiz would have beat uh, Wilder. I've been saying that. I said Ruiz would have stopped Wilder. At, at, at right now, like you get what I'm saying, and I'm not just saying that because he lost to Park. I've been saying that, but for whatever reason, Ruiz, you know, ain't want to fight him. I think he was worried about that that right hand. I think he didn't want to get hit by that motherfucker because he is there to get hit. But I think Ruiz would have beat Wilder too. I just he just you know, skillfully, skillfully, he just not up there. He just not up there, man. Like, and you know, he had a good career, but it's time, it's time to close the curtains, man. Appreciate it. All right, all right. Appreciate the call. Um, 
Who is next? Let me get to these super chats. Do apologize. Uh, who we got? All right. We last stop. Lake County. We got Supermax. It's not the age. Wilder isn't driven anymore. And that's, yeah, no. I mean, that is clear. That is clear. Uh, he doesn't have the killer instinct anymore. I don't know about the drive. The drive is there. If you go through the training camp, you still got the drive. You know, I've, I've, I've talked to many fighters that don't have the drive, and they say, I can't do another training camp. I can't put myself through another. That means you don't have the drive. You got the drive to put yourself through the camp. You know, it's more about that killer instinct is what I think he lost. But I got a $10 super chat. <laughs> And this is coming from Mad Bent 100. He says, Daily Dose of Tank Will. Wilder realized going out on his shield is not what it's all cracked up to be. He should retire. Wilder don't need to learn. He need his killer instinct, which is extinct. Exactly. Lake County, $5. Salute to you. This is like his third super chat. <laughs> Who else hated Wilder tapping his heart to Parker after the stare down and glove touch before going to his corner. Shaking my head, blessings. Yeah, I said that too during the live. Shaking my head, hashtag blessings, talk from a killer. Yo, uh, I said that too. I'm like, bro, my man is touching gloves. Like, he on some spawn partnership, bro. He just, he lost the killer instant. We seen Manny Pacquiao go through this. You know what I'm saying? Wilder lost that killer instinct. After all the talk of body and killing people, that shit is, 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 is not what he wants anymore. Uh, Latron, $5. The way Wilder fought last night, I'd watch him and Big Baby. I don't know, man. If he moved like that, if he was running from Parker, bro, what do you, what do you think he going to do versus Big Baby? If he was back foot versus Parker, I don't know, bro. Modern King Boxing, $2. Y'all going to get this work? Dashing away, emoji, skull and crossbones, face with tears of joy. Lake County right back at us again. $5. Ninjas didn't care about album sales until 50 Cent made them. Now cats out here talking about pay-per-view buys and live gates, shaking my fucking head. You fans can't afford to buy pay-per-view. Salute. Ryan Frazier in Canada, $10. <laughs> What a time to be alive. Great card. Great price value. Thank you, Boxing Gods, for 2023. Merry Christmas and happy holidays to the entire TBV community. Wishing everyone good health and success. God bless, my brother. Uh, uh, amen to that. And, 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 and right back at you, for sure. Rider of the Storm, $2. The only hype train was the wilder one. Jaime Moreno. Hit that thumbs up while we wait for him to connect on Discord. Jaime, are you there? Jaime, Jaime, Jaime going once. Real Jose on the check-in. Waiting for him to connect on Discord while we wait. Don't forget to smash the thumbs up. All right, let's see who else is ready to connect. Jaime, trying you again. This should work. Second time's a charm. Hello. Uh-oh, that's a no. We're going to go to LV. <laughs> we hear you. Yeah, man. Great fight card. You know what I'm saying? Enjoyed the whole fight card. You know what I'm saying? Everybody did their thing, look good. But uh, you know, I just want to uh hit on exactly what's the hot topic right now. You know what I'm saying? Whenever Wilder pops out, you know he definitely is the the topic of discussion, no matter what's going on, man. But uh, you know, definitely a disappointing performance. You know, wasn't expecting to see Wilder move like that. You know, the whole 12 round. You know what I'm saying? That's not the Wilder. You know, the fans, you know, we know we know the wild, you know what I'm saying? That's not the fans we are accustomed to, you know what I'm saying? Him moving like that. 
really not engaging as much, you know what I mean? So uh, it is what it is, you know what I'm saying? Hopefully he can bounce back. You know, I, I feel like he can do whatever, you know what I'm saying? If he want to retire, hang it up. You know, the statue is there, you know what I'm saying? The statue is there. So it, it doesn't really matter. And definitely is a Hall of Famer, no matter what, you know, the haters say. You know, he's definitely in there for sure. Wow. Uh, ten times is uh, world champion, ten title defenses. That simple. Gave us some of the most explosive knockouts we have ever seen in the sport. You know what I mean? So, uh, of course, he will get in there. You know what I'm saying? No doubt in my mind. But, uh, yeah, this is just a narrative thing right now when we talk about these guys' uh, mental. You know what I'm saying? It looks good right now with AJ getting the win, you know, AJ and, and Wilder losing like he did. But uh, it's a narrative thing right now. You know what I'm saying? It just sounds good. But uh, need nobody knows what's going on in these guys' head to even say anything about that, you know what I mean? So, uh, I mean, it just looks good right now. It sounds cute right now, but at the end of the day, a lot of these callers, a lot of niggas is just talking out the side of their ass, really ain't saying too much of shit, you know what I mean? So, uh, yeah, man, it's just it just looks good right now, but uh, hopefully he can bounce back, you know, the real fans, we rocking with him to the wheels fall off, you know what I'm saying? Uh, I definitely think he can come back, but he's going to have to try to mix it up, what we seen last night, and back to the old water where he is aggressive. You know what I'm saying? Trying to throw the right hand. You know what I mean? So uh, it's just crazy to me how we, we talk about his skill set. He has no skill, no footwork, nothing at all. But this guy, Joseph Parker, who got the skill set, he couldn't get him up out of there. <laughs> Can't stop him. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Uh, That's just oh, so, crazy to me. So we going to knock Joseph for not no getting the stop, has no bitch. skill. He did nothing. Didn't throw no punches out there. But you couldn't even stop the man. He still survived the whole 12. Like... Parker looked straight. He did what he had to do to win, but he ain't just looked that great, man. I mean, he did all right. You know what I'm saying? Like, he did straight, man. But like I said, man, Wilder in this prime, the Wilder that we know sleeps Parker. You know, I don't care what nobody say, but uh, that ain't the Wilder we used to. That's not the Wilder we used to last night. And Maybe like that said, Wilder never existed. Know. Real fans know what it is. Maybe that Wilder never existed, man. We never seen Wilder Maybe that Wilder never existed, man. I hear they tearing the statue down, man. They they gonna get that and melt it down, man. They gonna make something else out there in Alabama. They're gonna make a football. Jaime Moreno, what up? Jaime El Diablo, Jaime, but you ain't gonna connect today. Uh Tip Bellis. My man said that wasn't wild. <laughs> Yo, y'all got to stop with this in denial shit, bro. This shit hilarious. Crazy. Tip. Tip. Real Jose. JP. Got me. We got you, yo. Don't come right, on here right. with no narratives. You heard, you heard LV, man. This narrative stuff has got to stop. And that's what, what you might not know is I've been on the back call for two years now telling these niggas this is who Wilder is. I jumped off the boat when we started with all them fucking excuses, that egg weight shit, uh, <laughs> Mark Breland. I didn't, I didn't like none of that. And that's why... You know, I could go several different ways because I told the bros on the back call two years ago, he doesn't want to fight no more. Once you don't want to be a champion, you don't care about being a champion and you chasing the bag at this level, your heart's out the game. So I could go a few different ways, but I'm going to just start with, I want to blame the fans the more, like LB. And me and I didn't wait in, I didn't win heavy on these niggas already yesterday. But Y'all never, y'all enabled him. Y'all never told him the truth. When your homeboy called you on the phone with real problems, you don't pamper his ass. You don't wash his balls. You tell him the fucking truth, whether it's in his favor or not. It's a reason why Wilder never wanted to come on the boxing voice. And he went over there to 78 Sports and shit so they can call him champ all day. Yeah, champ, 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 champ. But nobody never told him the fucking truth that you was on some bullshit and you need to go back to the drawing board. Motherfucker, the nigga out here 
They didn't know what they wanted to do with Wilder. They didn't know whether they wanted to make him 240 pounds, turn him into a boxer. They didn't. They had no clue. This when I told the niggas on the back hall, dog, why he want to work out in his backyard? Nigga said, why he can't be comfortable? I mean, you just mad because you ain't got a fucking gym in your backyard. You enabling ass niggas is the problem. Tell this nigga the truth. Another thing, Ness, let me ask you a question. I bet money that your girl don't like that you about to sit up here for 14 hours every day, right? She, she'd probably rather you do it, go watch a movie with her or some shit. When I, I smelled it, this nigga got that broad Telly Swift around him way too much. We don't see no other fighter woman nearly as much as we got to see her. That let me know in a man that you're not chasing your agenda. Your broad got your attention. Your broad got your mind. And that's why niggas leave, tr leave, leave and go to training camp and they leave their wife and children at home so you can be singularly focused. This nigga got that broad around him. I've been telling niggas for the longest, but they don't listen. They just, he could do whatever the fuck he wants. Dog, the shit, the writing been on the wall for the longest. He told y'all last night. I found love and happiness in my life. Let him go. He doesn't have it in his heart no more. Good for him. Aside from that, man, the man achieved more than he probably ever could have dreamed of. Shout out to him. Him and AJ resurrected the uh, heavyweight division. When Klitschko was leaving, when uh, before Fury came back, it was AJ and Wilder who bought it back. So shout out to the champ, man. Nothing but love for him. I was once a fan, but I'm a fan and a homie that's going to keep it 100 with you. I ain't going to tell you what you want to hear, but I'm going to tell you what you need to hear. That's my call. That was a good call, man. That was a good call. You know, uh, I'm one of them dudes that I don't mind. If you, if you got a facility like Wilder, you could train it. I know Wilder pays for sparring, you know. Uh, I've been in many camps. So in his house, in his gym, he's still bringing in top sparring, you know. Uh, so I don't know that that was an issue. Plus, he got a lot of land. You know, if he running that land, that's good. But we know he don't run like that. That that They just started that. We just started seeing clips of him running. He wasn't really into that. He would do like strength and conditioning for the stamina. We got Matt Bent, $105. Wilder never was skillful. He was killful. Became a world champ. Medalist, 38 and rich. Period. Yeah, man. I mean, look. At the end of the day, he gets to sit his grandkids on his lap. Show him his bronze medal, show him his world title, and he got the same history as Ali in terms of defenses. We can't take that. We can never take that away. You know, um, that's his legacy for sure. So, you know, salute to him because he wasn't AJ, right? Well, not AJ, but he wasn't the the the... The, the, the type of fighter that was doing this, you know, very early. He's a late starter to the sport, so he got a lot out of it. Um, Alex, West Palm, South Florida. Hello, how are you? Hello, good morning. Can you hear me? Yes, we can. How are you? Hey, man, I'm well, uh, you know. Uh, rent got collected last night, man. Uh, I Landlord. Give a big I want to give a big shout out to Anthony Joshua because uh, I didn't expect him to to look so sharp. I'm surprised more people aren't speaking about just it just felt like it was the the pre Andy Ruiz Joshua or if you want to go back to pre Klitschko, he just looked so committed. His uh, his timing looked well, his speed looked good, and obviously the the power was there as well. He looked like the guy that a lot of people were getting behind uh, as he was approaching that Klitschko fight. And uh, I was, I was thoroughly, uh, I thoroughly enjoyed his performance. And, you know, it just felt like, it just felt that Anthony Joshua just really proved a lot of people wrong about everything they had to say. And, uh, you know, Jay Will was bringing up, was bringing up a good point about the narratives, you know, they've been changing. Uh, but that is kind of just how it is. It, you're always as good as your last fight. 
And uh, it was extremely disappointing to see Deontay in there just look like a totally different dude than we've ever seen before. We saw a little bit of it against Hellenius, but we saw the right hand go and land. And this fight, he just refused to let it go. It is the most dangerous weapon we've seen in many, many decades, that right hand. And for him to not try to let it go until, what, the last two minutes of the fight? It was extremely, extremely uh, just disappointing. And uh, I'm a bit upset because this is a fight we wanted to see. We wanted to see Wilder versus Joshua. We expected to see it. Everything was set up for it. And it seemed that, you know, <laughs> he just, I don't know. Uh, you know, you hear people say about the age, uh, the trainer, the time off. Uh, I guess all of that can just mix in together and be the reason. Uh, but the actuality is he wasn't a better fighter against, uh, he wasn't a better fighter than um, Joseph Parker. Uh, Parker, he had a very good game plan to duck under and to slide, uh, you know, from that right hand and, uh, you know, coming over the top as well. And, uh, you know, I, I, it just sucks, man. I, I'm, I'm honestly, I, I'm disappointed. That's, that's really what it is. AJ did his part. Deontay Wilder did it, but, Honestly, overall, I think that was a great card for boxing. I enjoyed, I enjoyed that Dubois Miller fight. Uh, you know, it kind of seemed, you know, it was as expected the first couple of rounds with Dubois. Then you see Miller kind of pick it up the next couple. But Dubois, man, uh, I think I had uh, mentioned it to you that Shane McGuigan had said that Dubois best off his back foot, and I don't know if that's necessarily true. Uh, but yo, he he showed that he is a good heavyweight and that he was also better than big baby. But yeah, I think why, why not? We don't, we don't get wilder versus big baby like instead of the Arsenal fight. Uh, that's my call, man. Bruh, hold up. You just earned more time. <laughs> How the fuck do you think big baby versus Wilder is going to be any different? Like big baby is going to put more pressure than Joe Parker. He's 330 pounds. He's taller than Joe Parker. Wilder's going to run more. Okay. I guess there's no response to that, but that don't make sense to me. That's I don't know that that's the style. He need he probably need Makhmadov that that that's more standing right there, flat-footed, zero footwork, you know, his punches are super duper telegraph, you know, uh he don't even got traditional, you know, technique, Makhmadov. Like, my man is punching like a caveman, no disrespect whatsoever. Very intelligent cavemen out there. They had all types of tools and were able to do shit, right? I'm just saying, he fights weird. So, that's probably better suited for Wilder than Big Baby. Big Baby is probably the worst thing they could offer Deontay Wilder next. I mean, if you can't compare with that pressure of Parker, how you going to deal with this big motherfucker coming at you for 10 rounds, 12 rounds? It got to be 10 because ain't, ain't going to be shit on the line this time, right? Unless they make a, a NABF type, interim type shit. Uh, Tip Bellas, what up? Yo. Yeah. All right, you can hear me now. Bet. Uh, first, let me say, uh, all you Canelo fans, man, y'all got to stop y'all bivol hate, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, uh, all that bivol boring shit. Listen, you going to get a boring fight when a motherfucker ain't trying to fight and he trying to survive for 12 fucking rounds. I don't want to hear that I mean, technically his shit, performance bro. wasn't boring, Tip. It's just that. Nah, but he, he but can't if you get if you, if you out of there, that's the issue. Like, yo, he landed like seven punch combinations and couldn't get a dude that Anthony Yard, who has yet to win the world title, knocked out in what five? Was mm -hmm. it five? I think so. That's that's an indictment, my brother. Like, you could come in here but, I mean, and shit on Canelo and say it's Canelo's fault that his fans are mad that Bivol beat him, and that's why they're not giving Bivol credit. But the truth of the matter is, you was in there. With a uh, opponent you were supposed to get a knockout over. There's no other reason they got you, Lyndon Arthur. You were supposed yeah, to I mean, knock it, him it out. Was like, either, 
But that's why I said it was either it's either gonna be uh it was either gonna be a tech like Bivol is a technical knockout puncher. He's not a one punch puncher. You get what I'm saying? Like he ain't got the one punch. Yeah, no, listen, remember so I said gonna, it was gonna be accumulation. And and the rep yeah, was it's, almost it's accumulation there. of punches. It's accumulation of punches. That's how Bivol's gonna stop you. So I'm not surprised that Bivol did get the decision. Or you know what I'm saying? Going to I told you, like the guy had durability when I called in as a is a durable I guy. Mean, stop, people, stop. You can't call him durable when Yard never won a world title and embodied him. But no, Body, what I'm saying he is, bullied it, him. Did you watch the fight? Before you keep no, saying what I'm, this what whole I'm you is, durability shit, because y'all bullied he's, that. He's that, durable that in a sense. He's durable in a sense as he's going to survive. He's going to try to survive as long as he can. You but, know what I'm saying? But he's why y'all? But why y'all? But why y'all could cut the distance and get him out of there? He ain't let him survive. I, because Yard is more of a puncher than Bivol. You know what I'm saying? Right. He's got more of a one punch than Bivol. You who, can't tell me Yard who, is. Who I, has Yard knocked can, out to be a bigger puncher than Bivol? You could just tell. You could just tell in the style that Yard is a bigger. You're doing a lot of protecting out here, man. Y'all, y'all gotta I'm stop, man. Protecting. Like we gotta criticize them so they could get shit right, man. We can't just like didn't we notice we made that mistake for the last ten years with Wilder? We can't keep enabling. And I'm, I'm just saying, keeping look, the same energy tip. Like people said, I'm going hard on Shakur. No, you fighting a lesser opponent. Santos never won a world title. He never been in, in with a former world champ. Like it's Shakur for. You understand? Wilder is the puncher. Joseph Parker's not the knockout artist. It's Wilder's for. Bivol is the highly skilled fighter with the pound for pound win. It's Bibble fault, motherfucker. Stop motherfucking cheating and enabling and making excuses. You the better fighter. You the better fighter, motherfucker. Well, it's your fault. You shit the bed. We here to see you. What are people saying? Oh, I'm going to call and talk about what the, what the hot topic. Who the hot topic? Wilder. So whose fault it is? Wilder's. <laughs> I don't know, man. I, I, it's just like, I, I probably have a different perspective from what other people see. I, you know what I'm saying? Like, I know what I'm going to get from Bivol. You know what I'm saying? I know with, with like I said, just run the counter. With proper matchmaking, like you said, you're going to get entertaining fights and you're going to get not so entertaining fights. I mean, but, if but Bivol got a better... You literally still time. trying to tell us that that wasn't... That was the definition of baseball a lob, uh, uh, excuse me, basketball. That was a lob, uh, alley oop, alley oop. Like you trying to lie to us? Like don't do that. You trying to tell us the yard is durable? Like that is perfect matchmaking. He was supposed to get the knockout. What better matchmaking than that? You want? You want him to fight who? 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 Who would you rather him be in there with so we can make sure he get a knockout on the card where he was supposed to show us he could get the fucking knockout, bruh? It's not. It's not even necessarily about getting a knockout. You That's, lying. About, Why? I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. So, listen, so you think Turkey Alashik wanted to see Bivol skill versus your uh versus versus listen, what the fuck is his name? Lyndon Arthur. You want to see Bivol? You want to see Bivol in there with a prominent opponent? My That's brother. That's going to make my it question, exciting. My question to you is: Do you think Turkey Alashik wanted to see Bivol skill Saturday night? He probably wanted to see a knockout. And that's you. what I'm saying. He got Thank he got you. wrong. He got that wrong. But not the matchmakers. They get, did the matchmakers he, throw him an alley oop for a knockout? Yes or no? All right, they threw him an alley oop. Thank you. They that's got it. it wrong. Now, that's now you not, can have two calls, bro. You, I just don't listen, want you to lie. That's not how you match make a guy like Bill. And that's what I keep telling you about Devin Haney. That's not how you match a guy like Devin Haney. You don't match these type of guys with guys like that. You gonna get that type of result? They they did okay. that with boots and all. So, uh, so they did now that with I'm boots asking. And so now I'm asking you again. You avoided my question. I'm asking you again. Who should have been in there for Bivol to get the knockout? I think we know who should have been in there. You know what I'm saying? But we're waiting on that fight. So I mean, no, 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 no. Not who should have been in there for the biggest fight in the, in the division. Who should have been in there for Bivol to score a knockout? You not, I think. Look, I'm not looking for Bilbo to score a knock. I mean, I'm not, I'm not looking for Bilbo to but score. But champ, a why else is people shitting on Bilbo? They shitting on him because he didn't get the knockout because he boxed beautifully. He let his hands go. That's what, that's what I'm saying. Like he he bo he boxed well. He boxed great. And they're trying to overlook that by downplaying because the fact that he because did guess get a what? Knockout. Because guess what? Because you 
you hypocrite. You, you a fucking hypocrite. You downplayed a two-time world champion getting his ass kicked by a kid moving up five pounds. Now you want to upplay a fucking dude that never won a belt, only the one that holds up his fucking pants. You selling them as durable. You, you are the problem with the sport. You see, I got good enough memory to catch all you motherfuckers. You shitted on Regis. Now you want to be here and tell us that Yard or whatever. I keep calling him Yard because Yard the one stop offer. You understand? But look how Reg you got caught. One week to the Reg next. Reg Reg one be, on. one Reg week to the next. Anything else. Brother, Regis is Reg a two-time champ. Devin did that to a two-time champ. Le man, motherfucking, your man, you trying to sell Arthur or uh, whatever the hell this kid's name is, B Bivol as a good fighter when he couldn't even do it to a prospect. This kid's a prospect. I he oh, never, no, he, this is first world title shot. This Lyndon Arthur first world title shot. He a fucking prospect. But you shitted on Regis. And you, you ain't want to give credit to Devin, but you want to give credit to Dimitri Bivol for beating on a prospect that got knocked out by another prospect. Make it make sense, Tim. Who said I'm giving credit to him? I'm just I mean, saying, you said look. people shouldn't be calling in here shitting on Bivol because they ain't understanding what they seen. We seen skill. He's a skillful fighter. He ain't a knockout punch. You trying to give him credit for punching on a prospect, but you wouldn't give Devin credit for punching on a two-time world champ currently. Make it make sense, Tim. I'm trying to give you free time so that you don't look like you a fucking hater or casual. I, I guess, man. That dude... That dude was in more of a firefight than Regis was. That dude had more pressure put on him. Was Lyndon like, Arthur a better opponent? Was Lyndon Arthur better than Regis? Has Lyndon Arthur accomplished more than Regis? Nah. All right, so why you could... called in last week to tell us Devin ain't do shit, that was perfect matchmaking. Now you're telling me that Turkey Alashik didn't give Dimitri Bivol perfect matchmaking over a prospect? That's what I'm saying, bro. Like, it's perfect matchmaking for both of them just to look good. You know what I'm saying? And you're going to get that result. But Bivol but didn't. Then, but what I'm telling you is... But, but Bivol didn't, you though. Is, listen, People ain't complaining listen, about Devin's performance, is, but you. And this is and this is what you're not understanding. This is what I'm trying to say. Like, you, in order for for Bivol, you want Bivol in there with a guy who's going to give him a competitive fight. For Haney, you want a guy that's in there to give him a competitive fight. Neither one of those guys gave either one of those fighters a competitive fight. We didn't get that. That wasn't the result. And I keep telling y'all, look, y'all not going to get the type of, you know, fight y'all want for these fighters. They gonna, it's, it's the same applies for AJ. Y'all not going to get the type of fight y'all want for these fighters. And they keep matchmaking them with dudes that's not going to give them a competitive fight. That's why I'm calling for uh, 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 Gary Antoine Russell. But, I'm calling but, for uh, but AJ still versus giving, Zane Zane. You're still giving I'm Dimitri calling. credit, though. You called in the but, shit on Devin, but you're giving Dimitri credit. One boxer for the better boxer did, had a better performance. The other boxer for the lesser boxer and didn't get a stoppage, which was what people wanted from him and expected. Because Regis ain't never been stopped in five rounds by a prospect, right? So we wasn't expecting Regis to get stopped by Devin, who has quote unquote pillow fist. We thought Bibble, yeah, we thought the, Bibble, the pound for pound fighter, excuse me, Devin just got on the pound for pound list. We thought Bivol, the pound for pound fighter, the one that beat Canelo, was going to do something. But look, man, um, you ain't do a good enough job, man. I got to move on, bro. We gave you a million hours. And all you did was show that you are very biased, very unfair. Damn, I ain't even get into my, my wilder take. Bro, you, you had 30 bro. minutes. Go ahead. You I mean, want more shit. time? <laughs> I mean, you, you, me you, Look, you stuck on Bivol. You should have been got the wilder. But go ahead, man. Go Look, ahead. I mean, I'm we here for this shit. Bivol, I mean, shit. I'm here for this but shit. But look, but look, look. Wilder, man, because I'm getting the wilder and AJ real quick. Wilder, look, bro, he... You said earlier Wilder need a trainer, right? And I was thinking about it. It's only one guy out there for Wilder. You know, people going people gonna look at this type crazy. But I think Wilder should go to Teddy Atlas, man. I ain't gonna lie to you. Teddy Atlas got that voice that Wilder need where he he's just no tolerance, bro. He ain't gonna cut him no slack, bro. You know what I'm saying? Wilder got to step away from his family for a minute for a camp. And you know say Get a guy like Teddy Atlas who really going to be in your ear. That's the type of guy you need, bro. You know what I'm saying? Uh... Uh, it, it's it's one of these situations where Wilder, a guy like Fury, Fury took the fight to Wilder. And I don't think Wilder, Wilder's got to, Wilder's got to get back on that page where he's got to take the fight to his opponent. 
he let Parker take the fight to him, and he didn't take the fight to Parker. And now I'm going to jump to AJ. It's the same thing with AJ. Uh, AJ's taking the fights to his opponents, and his opponents aren't taking the fight to AJ. That's why AJ lost to Ruiz, because Ruiz took the fight to AJ. You know what I'm saying? Like, these dudes, like, that's the adversity these dudes are facing right now. And they got to overcome that on each side of the playing field. I say, I, that's why I, that's why I want, you You need to, Wilder's next fight, if Wilder decides to return, Wilder needs to fight the same, uh, the same type of exact opponent who's going to come forward, and they're going to bring the fight to him. AJ, you know what I'm saying? You got to take a fighter that's going to motherfucking, that, that's going to give, that's going to give something back, bro. You know what I'm saying? I don't, I don't want to keep seeing the the you fight a, a Jermaine Franklin, a motherfucking uh, uh, Otto Wally. I don't want to see that no more, bro. You know what I'm saying? Hop your ass in there with a puncher, bro. So he was. Really know what's he up, was. Bro. Your boy couldn't fucking hold up his end of the bargain. AJ signed the contract, man. Stop telling him to hop his ass nowhere. He done did everything. He fought everybody in the fucking heavyweight division. The one we still yeah, waiting to fight said, people is Wilder, But we man. know Knock the Wilder off, fight man. ain't happening now. Knock so it off. we know the Wilder fight ain't happening Because now. of Wilder. Wilder because now. of Wilder. So, because so of look, Wilder. There's two, there's two guys on the table that's really, you know what I'm saying, that we should really be calling for for AJ. That's a big fight. And that's Zang and that's uh, 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 bruh, Tyson no, Fury. No, no, no. Especially Tyson Fury, why not? See, because you're a hypocrite, bro. You're a hypocrite. How? My brother... You call fighters old. Now you asking for a forty year old. So so that when AJ beats him, you say he was forty one. Fuck out of here. I know you, Tip. You just called in hey. here calling motherfucking Regis old. But Regis ain't show me shit. Regis oh, ain't show me shit. So Regis ain't show you shit, but he old. But but Zang showed you shit, so he not old. Time Shut out. your ass time up, out, man. Come on, that's time on. I got time for look your at, fucking bullshit. Look at look at Regis. Time out. Look at Regis' last two performances. You look My at My brother, Zane's Regis, last Regis is thirty four. You tell me who Regis did better in their last two performances. Regis is thirty four. Regis is thirty four. Tell me who did better in their last. I don't two give two flying fucks. You are well, the see, same that's, that's person the that calls in here and talk about age. You gotta like go, bro. Time. It's mad callers. You tripping. But it's not your he time. the main one called a 34-year-old Regis old, but now a 40-year-old Zang ain't old, and he needs to fight AJ. See, y'all gotta be careful, man. What you say, I fucking remember. Counterpunch Alex, which I didn't even want you to pay for a counterpunch. I gave you free time. You jumped off and never answered my time, but I do appreciate the support. No, 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 no doubt. Um, well, in regards to what you were saying, listen, you know, I uh, I listen to a lot of people speak, uh, not just on the show, but you know, throughout the boxing universe. And so the reason why I'm saying Wilder versus Miller, because people like to hear words. Yes. You know, a lot of times I hear people they watch a press conference and they say, "Oh, did you see what he said? <laughs> oh, yeah, he gonna beat him." So. Yeah, you know, it, it's it really is ridiculous. Like, I know you was picking Jarrell Miller for your maybe your own personal reasons. You know, you've been in camp, you've been around him, or whatever just, the case. Just wanting be. to see a, a person I know personally succeed. That's it. I just no, yeah, I hear you, man. Because I got someone in my gym that's got a bare knuckle fight coming up, and I'm seeing him train. And you know, uh, it's going to be a tall task, but you know, I'm gonna support him. So exactly. yeah, I got him when it comes to the fight. You know what I mean? So. It, I understand it, but yeah, I think the press conference would be lit. You know what I'm saying? People will get a lot of clicks. It'll get people talking. We'll probably have a show on it. We'll probably have like three shows, maybe three straight shows on a on a, a, a reaction. Uh, what happened? No, on Wilder vs. Miller, you're absolutely right. That would be big for this community. Yep. Well, not just that. I mean, I think also uh, just for uh, to be featured on maybe – uh, you know, maybe on Anthony Joshua's next Saudi card. I think that money's too good. I think uh, they seem both of them seem to have a good relationship with Riyadh season uh, with his excellency, as they say. Right. Um, so, yeah, I could definitely see them coming back. And uh, Jarrell Miller. Yeah, I don't think he's all that great. But uh, I think uh, I, I think you made pretty good points that he actually came to fight. And I think he maybe he's not the best heavyweight, like I said, but. At least he's in there. He's trying to punch. He was taking punches. Um, you know, he, he didn't look to no corner when they stopped it. Not that I saw. Uh, he fought until the end as best as he could for whatever, you know, whatever reason. I, why do you think he comes in at 330 pounds? You think you think that's on purpose or you I, think I, maybe I mean, I mean, he's just the, not listen, that serious? 
Listen, there's no sugar coating. I mean, no one comes in that way unless they just don't care about diet. Like, mm. like, bro, we all been in the gym. Not all, but you and I on this conversation have trained in boxing. It is literally impossible to gain if you're training every day. You have to eat. So he's mm-hmm. eating, he's eating very dirty. He's eating the cheeseburgers and the pizzas. And, and 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 maybe chocolates at night. It's obvious. It's impossible to go train two hours a day and be that weight. Unless you have some sort of medical issues, right? Like, what is it called? The thyroid or some shit? I don't fucking right, know. Right. Yeah, yeah. It's always, you always hear girls say that. Oh, my thyroid. So that's why I gain weight. But, uh, <laughs> but yeah, man. Also, I just want to give a, also another spotlight to Jaya Pattaya, man. I've said it before. I, I think this guy here can be the best cruiserweight, um, you know, of the next few years. Uh, you saw what happens when you get put when you put him in with someone that don't belong. He's gonna take care of him, and that's where we want to see our top fighters. That's why we don't want to see mismatches because we don't. First of all, knockouts are cool for highlight reels, but we like competition. So the, uh, the thing about beef all against him, bro. I just think Jaya Pattaya, with his skill set and that size advantage he'll have, I don't think it'll be a great fight to watch. Uh, you know, it could be a bit of a puzzle, but I would expect him just to be too big, too strong. Um, so I, I'm not sure I want to see that. Plus, I just don't want to see guys move up in weight or move down in weight or do other fights without taking care of their business. Like, you know, you see what happens when fighters lose. You lose steam off the, the super fight, the fight everybody wants. So if Bivol wants to fight Jaya Pattaya, why don't we just get the Arthur Better B fight? Whatever's got to be done. The money's there, obviously. They, they're invested in Bivol. They put him in right before the co-main event in a fight that Horrible no one saw is going to be competitive. Horrible time uh, slot. He should have been the first fight of the night. But like I said, that shows that they're invested, that they do. They want people to see Bivol to help lead into the next fight. So he killed I, it, bro. Like he was right after Big Baby Miller and Dubois. That was the worst slot. They fucked up everything. That shit was, bro, that was not cool what they did, honestly. Like, I don't know. Am I exaggerating? Did, 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 did that fight flow for you as well as the rest? Oh, I was bitching. Uh, people okay. were saying that I wasn't being a true boxing fan. And it wasn't, listen, Bivol, he fought great. I don't got nothing to say about he didn't. The only thing I had to say is I wanted to see a little more side to side movement. He just keeps fighting the straight lines. And maybe when he pushed Arthur against the ropes, he could have, you know, you know, like I said, you know, maybe did some pivots. But uh, I mean, yeah, he definitely Arthur was there to get stopped. They brought him in. Even the referee was trying to, like, let Arthur know, hey, I'm about to stop it. Mm. But, uh, you know, he came to survive. He came to get his check. And uh, we move on to the next one. Hopefully versus better be it, man. That's my call. You the man, champ. Appreciate you. Let me get to these super chats. Real Jose, I see you. Let me get a mic check. Uh, make sure you good. But after these super chats, after these super Hello. chats. Okay, I hear you. Give me a sec. Joshua Torres, $2. This caller, dumb. Arthur was there to be knocked out. Tip Bellas, that's for you. Just in case you out there, I want you to know that's for you. LV Slugger, $2. This is for me. Both Yard and Arthur are contenders, not prospects. Well, technically speaking... To be a contender, you have to at least beat an undefeated prospect ranked as highly as you or beat a former world champion. I'm not a Lyndon Arthur guy, but I'm going to Google his name. You you got my attention today. We're going to check if this motherfucker is truly a contender. Now, I know the easy answer is yes. But is he? He lost... So Yard, well, he did beat Yard. Yard was Yard undefeated at the time? Hold on, let me look him up. Fuck it. He did beat Yard. That was an upset win. I guess I gotta give him that. Can't take that away. He beat Yard where he wasn't supposed to beat Yard. I guess that makes him a contender, but neither of them dudes won world titles. And uh Yard had been avoiding Buatsi and the domestic Buatsi fight because he wanted bigger opportunities. Um yeah, I mean, truth be told, Lyndon Arthur's resume was atrocious before Anthony Yard, where he got a split decision win over a 20 
and one yard. So yard did have a loss already. I mean, again, it's arguable, man. It's definitely debatable that this dude, borderline prospect, you know. Your biggest win is Anthony Yard, and Anthony Yard isn't lived up to his name. Like, Anthony Yard, we give respect to, clear respect for fighting tough in the better B fight, fighting tough in the Sergey Kovalev fight, or however you want to write it up. Oh, he, he almost got it done, but at the end of the day, he got knocked out by a jab. He looked good in the better B fight, but he knocked out. Like, he lost. Whatever, whatever the fuck he lost, he lost. Like, you understand? Um, so it's debatable. It's certainly motherfucking debatable. Because if people are going to debate whether or not Deontay Wilder is on whatever level he's on, you got to debate where the fuck Arthur, Lyndon Arthur is with only one credible win. By split decision. It's not even unanimous. You understand? Let's just, let's just keep shit real. But that was all for Super Chat. Tip Bellis sends $20 for the long call that he had. So he, he, he said that was four. We appreciate you. <laughs> Drop a bomb for the dub. Tip Bellis right back at us says, Thought heavyweights... Lasted longer, Ness. Longer than what? I mean, in their career, yeah. You know, Wilder's not supposed to be retiring at 38. You know, technically speaking, once upon a time, heavyweights was uh, in their prime in their 30-somethings. You know, now we're getting the Jared Andersons, the Anthony Joshua's that are a little younger. But there's not a lot. James Benitez, $2, CYP and C-Dub. Cricket emoji, cricket emoji, not calling in a day. Shaking my head. Real Jose is on you. Yo, hello. What up? Yo, what up, Ness? Fucking shit, bro. Uh, Well, yeah, I mean, I'll start off my call by saying that, yeah, I agree. I feel like Deontay should consider retirement. Um, adding on to that, I will say Anthony Ruiz is stupid. He slept. He could have. He could have beat Wilder with that performance. Um, but Joseph Parker also gave a really good fight. Are you breaking up, Jose? Getting phone calls, my friend. We got Daryl with a twenty dollars super chat. He says Bibble couldn't knock out Arthur wearing Bibble. foam posits. <laughs> he did. <laughs> Yo, drop a bomb for the dog. Damn, I should cut off. Chant, no, you did. Now you had cut out for a minute, so we went to a super chat. But we hear you what again. Was, what was that? Sorry, what was that? Bro, you cut out quickly. Oh, uh, damn. I was saying that I do believe that Wilder should consider retirement. And I wanted to add to that by saying that Andy Reese is stupid. He fucked up. He could have beat Wilder with that performance. Yeah, we heard that one. Yeah, I, I probably didn't hear it. My bad. But uh, also, I mean, Parker did give a really good fight. It, looked, it was in, like he had a really good game plan. I didn't know that he had been active three fights prior to this fight in a year. So... That made played a huge factor, bro. I don't. If I would have known that, I wouldn't have bet on Wilder. But that's my my fault for being a casual in the heavyweights. <clears throat> but I do agree with the fucking uh that Bivol fight. I don't know who that other dude was. Bivol looked good. It just sucks that he can't finish the job, bro. Like what the fuck? Like the dude did not need to be in there with them. Totally agree. He was getting tagged up all day, bro. But like, he wasn't, wasn't even fighting shit. back. My man never fought back. He was straight up spawn partner, practicing defense. Yeah, bro. Practicing defense. All he was doing was trying to block. He wasn't even trying to fight back. That shit was pathetic. Yeah, bro. Fucking. So I don't understand. I don't. I don't even understand. I don't understand how he couldn't get him out of there, man. Like, 
And then for him, like, he just did that to Canelo, too. It's just, it's interesting to me, you know, like, what the fuck? Like, does he have power or not? I think he has power, but it's not knockout power. I think it's just enough to keep you off of him. But I think with that performance, somebody like Benavides can probably eat him up. He can walk through that power. That's what I said. That's what I, bro, I said the same thing. I said, now we see why he talks so highly of Benavides. It's like it's your time. Yeah, and, 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 and don't get me wrong. Nothing don't, to keep you away, bro. Don't get me wrong. He showed us definitely that he is skillful than the motherfucker. And he still yeah, could yep. beat Benavidez. Nice. With, with that style, he could beat Benavidez the same way he fought last night. Like, he going to stay long. He going to throw multiple punches. He's going to stay away. He might not even take as many chances as he took last night. Um, but, 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 but Benavidez happens, is going to punch his ass back. Tagged? Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. What happens when you start getting tied with the power shots and Benavidez starts leaning on you round and, and beating round you to the body round. and beating you to the body. But listen, that was the bell. You are the champ. We got Arthur on the check in. Yeah. What up? What's good, Ness? Loud and clear, we hear you. Everything is good, brother. Happy to be here. Thank you for calling in. For sure. Uh, today is a sad day. You know what I'm saying? Hell yeah. Uh, well, because uh, truthfully, I found this show because um, really back in the day, y'all was doing them uh, behind the scenes uh, on Wilder. Uh, Wilder at yeah. his camp. Mm -hmm. so that's how I found the show. Um, yeah, and y'all being mad disrespectful. Like how we how we praising Big Baby today and, and down in Wilder. Like, come on, come man. on, man. You you only as good as your last performance. Big Baby show heart. He tried, bro. Wilder did, and Wilder bruh. showed fear. Bro, Big Baby popped hot three times. Not yesterday. When he went, not okay, yesterday. Okay, okay, okay. Let me let me finish my thought. Oh. He popped hot three times. When he was when he was on the juice, he was throwing sixty punches around. Yesterday he threw like thirty punches around. And, and he still made it competitive. He still made it fun. People still calling it the best fight on the card. That's what they saying when they call into this show. But ain't nobody saying Wilder, Wilder, Wilder. That's the the biggest disappointment on the card. I mean, Wilder just I mean Wilder like my favorite fighter, but he just like when he when he was in he just ain't have it no more. You know what I'm saying? It happens. It happens to every fighter. They gonna have that moment where it's just they ain't got it no more. You know what I'm saying? Uh, he had a great career, you know what I'm saying? And for anybody, he started with 17 uh, bronze medals, 10, 10 title defenses, you know what I'm saying? Shoot. And uh, I was just thinking about this. I'm taking um, anybody that uh, Vlad and Vitaly beat, Wilder beat. And we breaking it down like that. So, yeah, I think Wilder probably end up in the Hall of Fame at some point. He ain't no first ballot, but he'll get in at some point. And, um, yeah, I think Wilder need to hang it up. You know what I'm saying? Every fighter come to that point. So it is what it is. Um, and think about what Wilder was doing. I feel like the older you get, the more energy you should conserve. Kind of like how George Foreman, he wasn't really throwing as much, but he was he was blocking a lot of punches just waiting for his time. Floyd, you know, he wasn't moving as much. Bro, remember when Wilder Tony, the first laws, he had Foreman, Lennox, everybody trying to help him, and he took none of that yeah. help. I think I think he did. I think he did end up talking to Foreman though. I think they did end up talking. He to He ain't let him train him. Foreman had the best yeah. one two in the game. How the fuck you don't let Foreman train you, bro? Yeah, you know what I'm saying. It's just it is what I feel like. Wilder, he overachieved for what he had. You know what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying. Anybody got a son or a daughter, start training them right now and make them get a bronze medal in the Olympics, and then tie the ten tie the defenses, and then everybody you fight, they heavier than you. So. You got to factor that in too. Water, what, 215, two 220? So, but it is what it is. I ain't tripping. You sound you like you like sad. Like you, 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 no, whole, sad. Your whole last 30 seconds of your call was telling us that Wilder has been fighting uphill battle his whole life. Well, he started late. Well, well, well every time he step in the ring, he, he give up weight. You know what I'm saying? Like, let this shit go, man. Let it go. Let it go. Let it go. Yo, y'all some fucking crybabies. <laughs> Yo, stop crying. Where my fanboys crying sound bite, man? <laughs> stop, man. Stop. Let's stand up, man. Let's remember that time. 
Let's remember them days, man. Where that shit at? Where the bomb squad at? We got to remember them days, man. We can't just get sad all of a sudden. Bomb squad! Bomb squad! Let's fucking go, man. It ain't over. Root for your motherfucking mans in them. Calling in with all that sad shit. You know, right away, they want to discredit other people. My man called in here real quick. To discredit somebody else. That's crazy. Hey, yo, Art, man. That's wild. You wild for that, bro. Stop. Calls, what up? <laughs> yo, hilarious. Y'all got to stop. Y'all going to get me when Devin lose. If he lose, motherfucker. If he lose. <laughs> go ahead. Uh, can you hear me now? Yeah. <laughs> can you hear me? Yeah. I, mean, oh, I was just like laughing. I was just laughing right now because that shit was pretty funny when you when you say you want to, when you were telling them that you wanted to cry and shit, <laughs> you just like, you like to piss people off too, huh? Hell That's yeah, I'm a troll. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> well, I like the card. I think for Wilder, if he still wants to get one more money grab, like, man, fuck it, go fight Francis. That's a that's just a money grab right Bro, there if he wants to. did you see what Francis said? Did you see what Francis, now no, we don't even it. know who wins that fight, oh, but look at what see. Francis said. Francis said, licking my lips right now after watching that fight. And he put at Rod a season. No, I didn't I didn't see that. Yeah? No, I didn't see that shit. I'm gonna retweet this shit. Damn. Damn, that's crazy. Francis saying that shit about Wilder. That shit's pretty crazy. He called well, Wilder fool. He yeah, put the Wilder plate ones. emoji calls. <laughs> Damn, that's fuck. No, nah, that's that's actually crazy. A UFC one and no, a zero and one fighter, fighter thinks Wilder is fool. That's crazy. That's, yeah, that's yeah, that's fucking crazy, man. That no, nah, I'm not. No, nah, I didn't even see that shit. But I'm like, I'm kind of spe speechless, speechless right now for, because Francis actually said that shit, man. That's wild. Francis is such a funny dude. Also, I was gonna go back to the Bill fight, like. When when Arthur was landing those body shots, I don't know if man, if I was better be even Benavides, I should have tuned into the fight because it's like if they were watching the fight, man, those two guys probably they they were licking their chops because it's like Vivo was was getting tagged up to that body, man. And I always thought Vivo would always will beat Benavides, I think slightly, but like I'm kind of changing my mind, man, because it's like I don't like I don't know how Vivo will react when. When Benavides starts putting that pressure on him, getting those body shots, and Bene and like like how you said too, like every time they ask Bibbo about Benavides, it seems like he's always praising him all the time. Like mm -hmm. he don't want that fight. With, <laughs> and he's like calling out like he was like like he was calling out like other fighters too. Like I still remember when Bibbo he was saying that Jermel would have beat Canelo if he wanted to fight Jermel, which I, that shit was pretty funny. Nah, but Bibbo he's still a bad dude, bro. He's, he's still a beast, but I always also had better be always beating Bevel since day one. But I I I'm still picking better be to beat Calvin Smith. I hope he still I hope he beats Calvin Smith because I really want to see Bevel and better be going at it. And for AJ, like AJ looked good too, man. I always I, I I'm not gonna lie, I was a fan of AJ, but then like I stopped being a fan of him after those after the fucking Uzi fights, but. He's still good. I give him his. I give him his props. He looked like vintage AJ to me, though. But you yeah, that's like my it's partner. Your time. You the man, champ. But it's not your time. I got James Payne little cutting the freaking line with the counter punch. James Payne is my name, partner, how about you? How about Standing you? on my property and I'm gonna see about you. If I come out on my porch, I see you chilling in your wheel. Boy, I hope you know somebody better be waiting on the bitch. James Payne, baby, see me pissing on the post. If we're playing basketball, you might my see dude. me in the post. Give a nigga. What up, what up, what up, what up, James? Ooh. Happy holidays, champ. Oh shit. Oh, I hear you. I think. Why you sound like a chickmunk? Go ahead and jump out. <laughs> jump back in. Yeah, no, you sound like a chickmunk. That ain't gonna work. That ain't gonna work. That ain't gonna work. 
Damn, see why I don't do intros no more? Big If, what up, man? Some bullshit. Fucked up my whole flow. I was over here bopping to his intro and fucked up the flow. Yo, salute, salute, man. Salute, Ness, man. Salute, man. Great shows back to back. I don't know if you can hear me. You hear me? Perfect. All right. Yo, salute to James. Yo, I had never heard that intro in a long time, son. Salute to James Payne. Um, I thought you stopped doing intros, man, but that, that was lit, man. Salute I mean, that's to you, why man. I stopped, because that shit never works. Motherfuckers never oh. connect. <laughs> yo, that's crazy. But, uh, yo, I agree with the other caller, man. Uh, that's the only reason I'm calling in. Yo, um, Big Baby Wilder, I still want to see that. I want that to be Wilder's, like, closeout fight. I don't know if y'all remember um, Big Baby from Brooklyn. He was talking about how uh, Telly Swift was getting passed around by everybody in Brooklyn. I don't know if y'all remember. That was a point of contention back then. And they almost I mean, I don't like remember him then. saying passed around. I remember him trying to insinuate that he and Telly dated. Yeah. I don't remember ever him saying she was passed around. Oh, he had an interview with, um, what's my man from IFL TV? I forgot the, the British dude's name, man. Uh, um, Coogan? He had an interview. Yeah, Coogan. So he said um, he, he, he had that. That's like old joint. You know, he's from Bama. Like, you know, he don't really know about fly chicks and the first one he caught he got her pregnant <laughs> so he was going crazy so i would love to see that the build up would be crazy and um that's a good close yeah, out that, you know you know right you know you fall in, you know you talk about this box and baddie shit but you fell right into who called in <laughs> who called in and said that shit somebody called in today and said that this fight is a big fight for the people that like words and that's yeah, what you're that was, saying. Cool. Like you, yeah. you want this fight for the build up. You ain't mentioned a lick about the fight, just the build up, the talk. The fight might be disappointing, but I'm just saying, like, where he goes from here. Like, you know, who knows? But you know, just give him one more chance. You know, right into the sunset. You know, retire, because um, I don't, I don't think we're gonna see anything good from um Wilder anymore, man. Mm. Malik Scott want him doing whatever he's doing with the lateral movements and all that. If you're moving too much, you can't throw a punch. Word. You know what I mean? So. So that's what it is. But anyway, salute to you, man. Long show. You keep grinding. And I'm out, man. Peace. Nah, I love this shit. I, 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 I want to hear more people call in and tell me why. Chad Cannon. Oh, ho, oh, oh, ho. I got counter punches, right? James, trying you again. And then baby Joker, my bad. You next with the counter. Are you there? James, 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 James. Pain, pain, pain. Baby Joker. Yo, hello, can you hear me? Yes, sir. Yeah, bro. Uh, what's up con tu amigo La Puntita? That man is crazy. Who's La Puntita? That's what that means in English. What means what? La Puntita. The point? The small point? Who's the small point? Tip. Oh, tip, tip, tip. <laughs> Whoa, he's... He's damage controlling this bivol shit. <laughs> it was a good performance, but uh, like but I said, but you are, you are, you are, you are a Canelo fan. So yeah, you, but so so you wanted more because you're a Canelo fan. I no, I, I mean, I I thought he was levels ahead of that dude. Like, yo, the dude in that ring was not supposed to be in there since round one. Since before that, because I had found an interview where they asked him about the fight, and he said they were unsure that they, that he wanted the fight, that it took him a while to make them make up their minds. But then he decided to because he was never going to get a bigger fight. So that man was defeated prior to going in there. And his skills ain't up there, bro. Watching Bivol is like having your favorite song on repeat. It's cool. Then you get tired of the shit because it's the same thing the whole motherfucking fight. You know, I heard fucking Tip talking shit about Haney. But at least Haney gives you different styles, you know? You'll get your remixes. He'll give you the slow jams with the jab and grab. And then he'll beat the shit out of you and give you some fucking uh, some dope R&B shit. Bivol is one song on repeat. Like that man don't do nothing else, bro. I hope he fight uh, Opataya. I'm tired of him picking on picking on these little guys. You know he's brave enough to go beat Morel, brave enough to go down there and beat Canelo. But there's a man up there that's been tied to his name that he don't want to fight. Well, they don't even mention him. 
I don't hear his fans calling for that either. Like, dare him to be great, you know? Move up. Go fuck up this dude, which I doubt it. I think that dude's going to fucking knock his ass out. Pip, you're tripping, bro. You're mad tripping with your shit. You're on some hater shit. Stop damage controlling Bivol. Good win. Horrible performance. Have a good one, Ness. You the man, champ. Appreciate you. Uh, we got James Payne Lethal Counterpunch trying you again, champ. James Payne, James Payne. Why is it not working for you? We're going to try you again. Jump out, jump back in. Jump out, jump back in. Chad in Canada. Chad, got to unmute. Hey, hey, Ness, how are you, man? All good. I, I don't know. Yeah, I don't have too much more to add at this point, but first thing I want to say is, like, I, I don't know why so many fans have to, like, complicate being a fan of sport. Like, imagine calling in today to say that Parker should have KO'd uh, Wilder? What the fuck? What in the fuck? And talking shit about Waleen now? Saying Waleen wasn't a good enough opponent? Like, what the fuck do you guys want from this sport? What do you want from these fighters? AJ went in there, and, I mean, I'll be honest, he ch I, like, all of us had doubt with AJ. There was doubt. And, man, he went in there and was sharp as a motherfucker. He went in there and took care of business the way he should have. If Waleen is that bad, AJ did exactly what he was supposed to. I mean, what in the, like just call in and say, just be honest. Just say, I hate AJ. I hate seeing him win. I want him out of the sport. Like that, I could at least relate to. But when you call in talking about you're trying to like use technical points from the fight to make make a point that Waleen is not good, and I mean, you're not doing the sport any. You're doing sport a disservice. And and guys like Ness are listening and keeping track of you. And, and this is what happens. Now now it's going to be three fights later, and you come in back with your bullshit. I mean, it's like the age thing, too. The age thing in the last few weeks, because we had the Lo we had the Loma fight with Haney, the Progray fight with Haney. Um, it Canelo, seems like age Canelo, has been... Canelo, Charlo, age was brought up there. Yeah, yeah. And it's like people just uh, mold that narrative to whatever they need in the moment. You know, it's never about really about age. It's just about trying to uh, shit on whoever it is you don't like or you don't want to see win. I mean, look, it's out of control. I mean, as far as Wilder goes, to me, um, I, I liked the, the movement at first. I, I liked it. And, I mean, if he was able to build on that movement, coming in and out, um, letting his hands go, and uh, with some good timing, it would have been great and keep Parker in the middle. But that's not how it went. And he didn't change up. He just kept, like, dude, the, the ring was worn out in a circle when he was done. <laughs> you know? It was bad. Like, like he wasn't able. Like, to me, I saw the timing is the biggest issue. <laughs> Yo. You know? Am I wrong? And then, and then I want to say, I, yeah, my time's coming. So... I like that Wilder at least admitted to all that when it was over. You know, he at least he saw the problem. Like that that right of his was telegraphed from fucking China. <laughs> That's the bell, bro. Listen to me. When he, before he said that, right, I'm thinking like when he like, yo, Wilder just kept, you know, turning. I'm thinking like, bro, it reminded me of a record just spinning. But when he said the mat was worn in a circle. <laughs> I'm dead. James Payne, talk to me. That shit was comedy. <laughs> yo, 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 I'm sorry, God. <laughs> Can you hear me, bro? We hear you finally. We hear you. Whoa. I, 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 yo, yo, yo. My apologies for the technical difficulties this morning, man. It's me, it's me, the ambassador of the great state of Tennessee. It's your boy, James P-A-Y-N-E, Mr. Lethal himself. 
Salute to TVB, man. Thank you for being here on this Christmas Eve, giving us another show. Um, first off, let me start out by getting my crow gone, sir. Me up hot and ready, man, because I was wrong on my big baby pick. So I need my crow this morning. Oh, yes, in extra, extra flavorful this morning. Man, big baby, big baby. Oh, my God, man. I'm not even going to really spend too much time on him, man. I was highly disappointed. I mean, you know, I, I can't even give E for efforts this morning because uh, I just was disappointed. I expected more. You know, you, when you get the opportunity, the biggest stage, the uh, biggest fight of your career, you know, you get a chance to show and prove, and then you show, and you definitely prove. You prove why you're not on that level. So uh, I don't know where he goes from here, but I was wrong in my prediction. Salute to Daniel Dubois. Congratulations on the win. Uh, moving on to some of the other cards. They called it the Day of Reckoning, and it definitely was that in more ways than one. Um, it was a Day of Reckoning for – one of my favorites, personal favorites over the past seven years, uh, Deontay Wilder, um, Joseph Parker, put it on him in, in so many ways. And I was completely caught off guard by their, their performance. It makes me think back in the day when Wilder was the reigning WBC champ. And I believe Parker was holding the WBO, if I'm not mistaken. And I was calling for Wilder to get uh, Parker before trying to get AJ because at that time AJ was holding. Damn champ, did you get a phone call? Yo, you and back. he didn't. You know he said what? You st you dipped out for oh. a bit. You dipped out for a bit. You must have yeah, got a phone call. call me, man. They trying to call me, man. But I, I I rejected that call. So yeah, man. So I wanted Wilder to unify with Parker. It makes me think, like, damn, well, we have seen this so many years ago and Probably we still not. wouldn't have been getting the H.A. fight. I'm going to be real. I'm going to be real. Probably not. Before Fury, Wilder wasn't broken, so he had that confidence of never being beaten, and he really believed you got to be perfect. He just needs one second. Right. Once that lie was proven a lie, I think he ain't been able to mentally deal with that. Man. I mean, I, I don't know where Wilder goes from here. I got more questions than answers on this Christmas Eve. Um, and then, in the words of Earl Spence, my oh my, how the tables have turned. I had threw the white flag in on AJ over two years ago. Word. Now AJ looking like he back. So it's just, man, it, it's a, it was definitely a day of reckoning. Like it's your time. And, um, but it's now AJ's back in the picture. Wilder looks more out of it than ever. Uh, Joseph Parker looked like he in position for a big fight and, and potentially angling for a world title in the next 12 to 16, 18 months. Uh, big baby back of the bus. And now the other big baby, he has claimed that title. So, I mean, uh, damn. There it is, man, in a nutshell. Thank you, His Excellency. I, I can't believe I'm calling another man excellent, but thank you, His Excellency, for uh, creating more confusion and fucking disorientation in the heavyweight division than we had before whoa, that call. Whoa, whoa, we whoa, appreciate whoa, you. whoa, whoa, whoa. What do you mean creating more confusion? You mean less? Well, there you go. There you go. That's a better term, man. Yeah, I apologize. no, I feel like I feel you know like we've had a. Re you don't feel like we got a revelation on the heavyweight division yesterday? No, you you absolutely right, man. I I I, I choose the wrong uh, words in that in that place, man. You know what I'm saying? Not more confusion. I was more confused because I went into it. That was the last remnants of my personal bias for two fighters that I was personally rooting for to see them do well, and mm -hmm. they disappointed me to the highest level. And so my personal disappointment confused my word choices in that moment. We definitely got more clarity in the heavyweight division, and the heavyweight division progressed in one day. So salute to His Excellency for moving the heavyweight division forward, giving us a clearer picture of what we're working with. That was just my personal bias uh, coming through right there. And now 
I have no more personal biases, man. I'm just an observ just an observer of the sport of boxing going forward, man. So uh, I appreciate that. Man, thanks for taking my call this morning, Ness. I'm going to let you keep the lines moving. Salute to you, brother. Merry Christmas. Uh, all of the hard work that you do, man, day in, day out, showing up and showing out for the community like you do, man. You're, you're, you're a cornerstone and a, 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 a true example, man. You're a gentleman and, and a scholar at the same time, bro. So I raise a early morning glass of brown liquor on this holiday to you, man. Salute to you, Ness. Salute to the boxing voice and all of the boxing community out there, man. Y'all know what this is. It's the illest, trillest, dopest boxing podcast in the entire galaxy, man. And if you still don't know what yet, man, it's the third rock from the sun on some astrological shit. I am James Payne Lethal. I'm finna sit back, listen to the rest of the show happily with my son on this holiday, man. We chilling. You know what I'm saying? Maybe let them open up one prison or something a little early before the strike of midnight. And uh, we're going to be listening to y'all calls. So keep them coming and keep them good, man. And make sure y'all hit that thumbs up button, man. Let's get this over 250K this year on the way up to a million, man. Let's go, champ, man. Salute to you. But it's not your time. Appreciate you, man. Um, Obviously, you know, he already cleared up that he he meant he got more clarity, but I do want to point that out by showing these two fight cards that uh, his, excellent put, his Excellency put on. I ain't got no problem calling him by his title either. We sit up here and we thank mythical boxing gods every day when we get a good fight. Uh, I'm all right thanking a real person that's spending real money to put on real amazing fights, even if it's only in the heavyweight division. But I do want to once again point that out. Um, he is moving the needle, right? This is the Tyson Fury card here that I'm going to screen share. Got to scale down, obviously. This is the Tyson Fury card, right? So when I say we got some clarity, I feel like we got that because, you know, uh, is you, uh, if you look, Fabio Wardley took on David Adelaide. He moves on. He's 16 and 0. You could get Wardley, Jared Anderson, right? You could get Wardley. Who fought yesterday? Go to the other car, right? Wilder fought, Parker fought. Parker fought back to back. Look, he fought here on a Simon King, so he came right back. He had that activity. He came right back, you know, from the Fury card versus Nganu, because this Fury Nganu main event, and he came right back and fought Wilder. That activity helped him. So if His Excellency continues to show, obviously, interest in this division, he can mix and match this up very nicely for us. You know, there's already talks of Opata moving up, or excuse me, Bivol moving up for Opatai, but Ajit Cabibel, maybe him versus Fabio Wardley, maybe Cabibel deserves something bigger now because of his win. Let's go to that Fury event. Maybe Cabibel and, and, and Martin Bacoli. That, I love Bacoli. I really wanted Big Baby to win because Bacoli, Big Baby, the battle with a blubber weight, stick a punch would have been amazing in my opinion. And just saying, you know, instead of talking like you're a real boxing fan and, and wishing that we were more like UFC, maybe you should talk less and act more and, and maybe do be happy that I'm mixing and matching Big Baby. But people calling in like, oh, good riddance. Good riddance. Get him out of here. You know, because he took a loss. You know, Wild, on the other hand, obviously this is three losses in the last four. So, you know, there is going to be talk. Of retirement, but like Big Baby, this is first loss. Him and Bacoli is a great style matchup. Him and Wilder, it's still a great fight if Wilder doesn't fight off the back foot. I'm just showing you that these two cards took place relatively quick, plus, there's gonna be two more heavyweight cards or at least heavyweight main events February with Usyk and Fury, plus March with the return of AJ. 
and we could see a lot of these guys. Like, maybe they bring Wilder back versus Simon King, the dude that Joseph Parker knocked out, to give him a tune-up, you know? Or maybe Wilder Ad Ad Adjit Cabibel or, you know, Fabio Wortley. I, I mean, there's a lot of fighters. He, he put a lot of people in motion. Carlos Takam coming off a loss. Maybe he could fight. Somebody that came off a loss on this card, you know? I just don't think we should throw away the losers, man. There's a lot to be uh, done with the losers that lost, mixing and matching them with other losers or winners. It's about style matchups. I just still feel that a lot of those guys would make good fights. And again, if we praise the UFC for not throwing away guys, we shouldn't throw away our guys is all I'm saying because I don't know. Uh, let me look at this card again and see who lost. On, on yesterday's card, you had Wilder lose and you had Makhmadov lose. I already want Oslin Beck Makhmadov versus Big Baby. But if we match in losers, it could be Makhmadov versus David Adelaide, Wilder versus Carlos Tackham, you know. If we match in winners, it could be Bacole versus Dubois, Joseph Parker versus AJ rematch? I mean, yo, don't throw them away is all I'm saying. They out here banging. Now, again, you could question someone's retirement when they losing three out of the last four. That's, you know, it is what it is. Uh, Elohim James, what it do? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I'm glad James Payne gave you all your kudos and your your warm wishes before I got on, because I'm about to put cases on, on all you bitches. You understand me? And now listen, Ness, you got eight hours. I got three minutes. Let me cook. For all you Bamas out here with this Deontay Wilder slander, you ought to be ashamed of yourselves, man. This man was the American champion and retained, defended 10 times, bruh. By knockout, by knockout, and you talking about questioning, questioning his history if he's gonna make it into the Hall of Fame, man. Please, bro, let us forget that uh, Zach and failed a drug test. He was supposed to fight him. Let us forget Parker ducked him for AJ. Let us not forget there was people that he wanted to fight that ducked this man, AJ included, bro. And y'all out here trying to sleep on my man because he had to knock out the people he had to knock out? Let's not forget he gave us the best trilogy we've had in the last decade. And he <laughs> ninjas is out here hating, trying to tell me that this man ain't Hall of Fame? This man changed Tyson Fury's life and, 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 and vice versa, okay? So what we have seen is our man, who we knew was Mr. Noodle Legs himself, come in because Ness you can't tell me you didn't have Wilder for the knockout so it must have been something about his history that had you believing that Wilder would do it again okay so Wilder comes listen bruh listen my man got old overnight it's all good bruh but for y'all to try to act like this man ain't bring us entertainment overnight, for the last three, four years. Bro, overnight or for the last four fights, man. Get the fuck out of here. They're Listen, okay, maybe, but he defended. <laughs> and he won. He won his fight before this but, one, bro. Elohim. He won his fight before this one. Elohim. What are we talking about? By KO, bro. Elohim. Who else is doing it like him? But Elohim, you know that Tell for me. years, for years, we was sitting here fighting with the UK people that were saying, yo, your mans ain't fought nobody. And we like, bruh, they ducking them. Oh, they was, and you know that's the truth. Bruh, but now you get the fight, and what happens? Every time you get the fight. He's 38 years old. Now he defended uh, 10 times. Bruh, did Had you not, did you you not pick him by knockout? Division. Did you not pick nobody. him by knockout? Nobody has beaten the man that he has had the trilogy Bruh, with was Bud, to this day. Was Bud not day. 36 when he beat Earl? Don't listen. We're not talking about Bud and Earl. We are talking about Deontay Wilder and the slander was, of this man was not George being Hall Foreman, of Fame. Was George Foreman not 40 when he became a two-time heavyweight champ? 
Did George Foreman not have a long ass layoff to was, get his life together before George, he came back? Was George Foreman not facing a tougher opponent at the current time in Michael Moore and an active champion where Deontay Wilder was not facing a tougher opponent, nor was Parker an active Bro, champion? Bro, the layoff time that George had in between that fight so is then, not so then direct to your call, Wilder's time Direct off. your call, your call to Al Heyman. Direct your call to Al Heyman. Oh Tell man! Tell people to stop All I'm thinking, saying is, Al you know Heyman. You know you're wrong, bro. You know you're Tell wrong people for, stop for being thinking, the Al Heyman. Mess today. Tell you're people stop this. thinking, Al Heyman, and start getting mad that Al Heyman is not is letting their favorite fighter if think get fights. Y'all Wilder is not Hall of Fame. You dig? All right, it, it, it's straight like that, bro. Like the man showed you, he can make well, adjustments the in every vote, fight that he had, bro. If the fans get he the revenge, vote, he getting in. He revenged his fight, his his nemesis drug cheat. He fought him twice because ninja, ninjas didn't think he would beat him again. Who the he nemesis beat him again. drug cheat? What? Who the nemesis drug cheat? Luis Ortiz. I call names. You know who he is. What the? You know hell? who he was? Nemesis. Oh, he, I mean, he had to battle. He had to battle him twice, didn't he? That ain't no he nemesis, to... man. That was his boy. He gave him the fight because they shared a common a common situation with their daughters and the illnesses. Yo, like, don't whatever. Lie. He defended. He defended and knocked him out again. He, he go did what he was supposed to do. He did what he did. He did what he's supposed to do. He did what he always did. And because he failed us last night. Y'all want to try to play this man's career. It ain't happening. I ain't going to let y'all do it. I'm standing 10 toes with Deontay to this day. Y'all know what it is. Talk about the fight, man. Y'all want to y'all want to keep calling in talking about old Deontay shit. Talk about Saturday night. That was Saturday night. Is that not the topic, Ness? What? Is you this ain't, not the topic? You ain't said a motherfucking thing about topic? him roller skating in the ring. Okay, so listen. I'm gonna tell you what it All is. All I on heard the fight, is, right? oh, you you talking about Deontay? He had ten title yeah, defenses. That, you talking about right. Deontay? I, he won the world title. Yo, you I talking old Deontay news? Going ham. You talking old? Going ham. You ain't said a motherfucking him. thing about him looking like Bambi legs. Him looking <laughs> like you talking about adjustments? He ain't adjust a motherfucking thing. What did he adjust hey, in the yesterday look, fight? Listen, he became a track star in that fight. That what, was his new ability. But what did he All adjust? Right, he just, you said he adjust, he showed us he could adjust. What did he adjust it? He no, adjusted he adjusted his, with he adjusted his a new pants. Style. He adjusted by learning a new style. He adjusted and it the didn't crown. Help him. It the didn't crown help on his head. It didn't help him. Did he adjust the listen. crown on his head? That's what he adjusted. <laughs> Hey, listen, my homeboy was over watching the fight with us. He ain't never seen this. He ain't never seen Wilder fight. He heard all the hype. My mans was like, yo, how is this man Jaws mans when he depending on one punch? And he's like, have y'all seen his legs? He's like, look at his legs, bro. <laughs> and we was like, nah. Bro, the internet killing his legs. Did you see the memes? <laughs> yeah, no, they I terrible, bro. Why they do that to them, bro? <laughs> hey, them legs was crazy, though, bro. Them legs was crazy. And I couldn't defend it. All we kept saying was, look, just wait, man. Just wait, man. He's always like this. He going to land it. And, and my man couldn't put a trigger, man. He couldn't put a trigger, bro. The AIDS got him, man. The AIDS in the silk sheets, bro. It's over. It's over. It's over with, man. All right? But I just had to defend his legacy, man. And that's it. You got it, champ. You got it, man. Thank you for calling in. Um, who next? General Camino. What up? Yo, yeah, oh, nice. You can hear me? Yes, sir. Word, word. What's good, man? How you doing? Oh, oh shit. My bad. My bad. Yo, bruh, first pay-per-view I bought this year, I ain't even going to hold you. All the other ones I've been at my boy's house in the bar. One thing I say, those first four fights, I enjoyed them. I mean, they were mismatches to an extent, but I enjoyed the performances that was put on. Um, Jay Apataya, I hadn't really seen a whole bunch of home, but that knockout he had last night, I thought that shit was impressive. I thought that was a real good knockout. I mean, clearly the opposition wasn't all that, but the the knockout was good. Um, who else? We who else? I was fucking with. Uh, damn. 
Who else fought? Who else fought in those first four fights? I just forgot, man. Uh, you I know had Frank did. Sanchez Jr. Five. Yeah, 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 that Frank Sanchez fight was good too. He shook that boy five body with that first hit. I thought that was a good fight right there. Um, yeah, once we got to the last four though, it was it was a tough watch, man. Like the Jarrell Miller fight, it was. It was good, but Dubois should have got that knockout earlier. I feel like he has what it takes to get those knockouts earlier in fights. He just got he got to put it together a little bit better. Probably work on that defense too, because I felt like he was getting hit a little too much. Uh, the B ball fight, I think we all on the same page with that shit. I mean, that was a stinker. He should have got that dude the fuck up out of there. That was sad to see. As far as Wilder, I mean, there ain't really too much else to be said. I think we at the end of the road with that. And then, you know, Joshua did what he had to do. I don't know. It's tough with Wilder, though. I, don't, I, I saw a tweet yesterday that said Malik Scott turned Wilder into Malik Scott. So that shit had me crying, bro. <laughs> that shit had me crying. But, yeah, uh I would honestly say I'm not looking forward to no Wilder Fury. Not Wilder Fury, uh, Wilder AJ. I don't really want to see that. I mean, I think we're wild at right now. I'm ready for him to hang it up. He could call it quits. I ain't really tripping like that. That 10-year career with the knockouts, that was great. But, I mean, if you can't run through Joseph Parker, I mean, I don't really know what what else is next. I, I'm have, I'm hard. It's hard for me to kind of figure out what's going to be next for him. One thing, one idea that popped into my head, though, I want to see Jay Apataya versus Jared Anderson in the next five years. I think that's a fight I really want to see. I like that power with Jay, and I think that'll match up well against yeah, that's Jared gonna Anderson. Be, I, he, that's going to be hard for, for Apataya. He's going to have to have a real appetite for, 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 for challenges because he's only 201. Jared's an easy 225. Naturally athletic, naturally bigger. I mean, I'm sure Jared is like 6'5". Six six. A pataya is six two. You may feel like it's six two. I don't know. But that bro. Um, he gonna be giving up so much weight. It's gonna be like he gonna have to be as good as powerful. Excuse me, as Wilder to give up that many pounds. If yes, but I think he could do it. That dude he fought. I think before he fought uh last night. That lengthy dude that he uh pieced up. Yeah, but he, come he on, had a yeah. lot of length over him. Yeah, now, but who I feel the you, I fuck hear... is motherfucking Jordan Thompson? But that was the bell champion. Got to get to some other people. Let me see what we got here. Shout out to everybody tuned in. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up. We need the algorithm to let y'all know that we on the backup channel. We did suffer a violation. I got Arthur A, two dollars. Wilder beats everybody. Vlad and Vitali beat. Hands up emoji. Um, yeah, right. Well, Vitaly didn't beat Lennox, right? Let me see. I don't think he beat Vitaly Gleach. Uh, I don't know. I don't think he beat Lennox. Who is Vitaly's biggest win? And, uh, I mean, we seen Wilder getting pieced up by David Hay and Spawn when he was young, girl. Uh, so I don't know that he could beat David Hay either, um, and that's who Vlad beat. But Vitaly's biggest win, whoa, Mahmoudchar, <laughs> Samuel Peters, Donny Williams, Corey Sanders, Corey Sanders. That might have gave Wilder some trouble. He was athletic. I believe he was a southpaw. Yep, he was. That could have gave him uh, some problems. But it's hard to... Oh! Yeah, nah, he lost to Lennox. So definitely. Hard to say that Wilder can't beat everybody. I mean, would Chris Bird... Chris Bird would have gave him some problems. These fights, honestly, it's a bad subject. Let's just strike it from the record because these fights would have had to have happened because if you think about the Spielka fight, which was a small cruiserweight moving up, Bird... You know, he was a cruiserweight moving up, but he was big, and he was good. So, yeah, it's just better off those fights would have had to happen to really know. And then if we think of Vitaly, I think the same question arises, right? It's like he's fought some good guys in day prom, 
that then became journeyman fighters for everyone else as a heavyweight. But what was Vlad now? Damn, now I don't want to stop without Googling Vlad. Like, what was Vlad's biggest win? Demir Kilich. What was his biggest win? Vladdy Vlad Vlad. Fuck, bro. That's how dope you are when you got all those searches. Vlad's biggest win. Jennings is cool. Pulev is cool. Blue Pie. Pavekin. Maurice Vak. Tony Thompson. David Hay. Ruslan Chagayev. Eddie Chambers. Samuel Peters. I seen Rockman. How old was Rockman here? Because I don't want somebody back. Yo, well, he was. I'm not, I'm not doing all the math. BoxRec should get better to tell us that how old he was that day. That's a legendary win, though, right? But Rockman couldn't have been too young because Rockman belongs in the Lennox era, which both these guys did fight in the Lennox era. So that right there is a good win. Uh, I just don't know how old he was. Chris Bird, Dan, they both fought Chris Bird. Crazy. Both knocked him out. That's dope. And they both fought Samuel Peters. He fought, he beat Lehman Brewster. I mean, again, these fights would have had to have been fought, but it looks like the best name for me, depending on Rockman's age, David Hay. I think that version of David Hay that Vlad fought, even though David Hay looked like dog shit. That was the best version of David Hay, and uh, he knocked out Chisora, which no one has been able to do. Everyone else got a TKO. Like, I pretty much believe David Hay knocked out Chisora on HBO with, like, a right hand or an uppercut, put him to sleep, right? Let me see. We're going down the web here, but I love this shit. Yeah, TKO, so it might, they might not say it was a knockout. It might have been a ref, but that uppercut was crazy, or whatever the fuck it was he hit him with. Moving along, I got Trees in Toledo, Ohio. What up? Yo. Yo, yo. Oh, you shit, me? we hear you. Yo. What up, though? I don't know who the fuck just called in and my man's was talking about Jai Apatai moving up against Jared Anderson. He tripping. That was General, First of- General Camino. Yeah, he wild boy. First off, you know my man Jared, bigger, more athletic, and my man's a switch hitter. Your man's ain't got shit coming with my guy. We need to see more from him before he I mean, leave. he's a southpaw. Uh, Jared is working yeah. on his southpaw stance. Opatai is a natural like, southpaw, and he is athletic. I'm with it, but like I say, we switch and we can come from both stances. That knockdown that we got on Charles Martin came off the switch. You feel me? That's all I'm saying. That's neither here nor there, though. But uh, with this Wilder shit, you feel me? It was sad to see, man. I fuck with Wilder the long way. We still fuck with him here in Toledo, Ohio, statue shit and all that good shit. But it's it's time to hang it up, brother. I heard you when I heard you the other day when you was talking, man. You called you was talking uh, about oh Wilder. It, don't don't nobody trip. Everybody sound nervous about Wilder because he sound like he's found peace and he's found all this good shit. You was trying to make it sound you and the English motherfucker who called in was trying to make it sound like he was a samurai or something. Like oh, there's nothing more. Better, there's nothing better than a peaceful fighter. A, pe- a fighter at peace is more dangerous. Fuck out of here. When I heard this shit, I'm like, oh, no. This nigga sound, when I heard that bullshit, I said, oh, no, this nigga sound docile. This nigga, he, he found, he done found peace in a warrior, in a warrior sport. That's no way to be, my nigga. That's, that's is, is no. I need a, I need a killer. My nigga, I need you to be a killer that you came here as, you feel me? My nigga, fuck, fuck sleeping in uh, silk sheets. My nigga training in silk sheets. Did you see this shit? The nigga, the nigga was training in Gucci. I'm like, oh, no. I, not I mean, we should have known something was wrong when the man went to the weigh-in with hand wraps on. I thought he was brother, just training. Brother, I thought he was but... You know, maybe it was something going on up there. It was something going on up there, bro. I seen the shit, too. I, I, I'm i telling you, I said, no, I ain't never seen the hand wraps at the way in. My nigga warming up in Versace or Gucci uh, sweatsuits and shit. I said, oh, no, this this can't end well. It's not going to end well, bro. And Because like my like my man, three years ago, you talking about catching a body in the ring. Now, this today, you talking, oh, I'm at peace. You feel me? He, 
I, I'm the I'm the champion of the champion. When I come in, it's just about giving it, leaving it all on the line. And, oh no, 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 no. That's not what I wanted to hear. You was just firing motherfuckers. You feel me? When you, when you felt like they wasn't they wasn't willing to let you die in the ring. Like this is out of control, bro. Wilder, no, bro. Just let it go. We fucking with you. We still fucking with you. You put on a a great legacy. It's just time to let it go. And then I seen my nigga in the in the ring doing hammer fist and shit, like he been training that MMA shit. Mess. I peeked it. I know you seen them them hammer fist he kept doing to my nigga body and shit. Bro, he on did the back so much head. illegal shit. <laughs> so he much did... illegal shit, bro. Bro, like, he didn't even get a warning or a point. And Ganu going to the cage, bro. I'm telling you, him and Ganu look be on the lookout for that shit. I'm that's the type of shit that I seen. He was, he was doing a, he was doing a lot of wrestling. He was doing a lot of opera punching. Him and Ganu in the cage and them four ounce gloves. Watch it, bro. Here it come. If you're trying to see Wilder die, you wishing that fight hey. on him. Do not put him in the cage. But did you <laughs> did you not see them girl? Fucking hammer that all that shit. He was doing like, some bullshit. He all that bull- shit. Hey, the, just- all them punches. And it's no disrespect to women's boxing because they got more technical, they threw more technically skilled. Like, but all that shit he was doing in there look had mad female tendencies. Those punches, he was slapping, hammer fist, slapping. all type of weird shit, headlocks and punches. Man, that shit was a <laughs> disgrace, bro. They should have <laughs> took a point. But that's the call. CYP counterpunch. Merry Christmas, Merry Christmas, Merry Christmas. <laughs> hey, uh, for, for all of y'all who don't know, Chris Bird was not big. He weighed two, between 210 and 215. He was, him and Wilder are the two smallest heavyweights to have a belt from uh, outside of the Lennox Lewis era. So some of y'all just, y'all just be talking, don't know shit. But um, whatever, I'm used to that. Secondly, I, I, I'm, I, I, think, I, think we, I think we confused this shit about time. Y'all realize that you need AJ Four more years of AJ before he's 38. Four more years of him. You need three more years of Tyson Fury before he's 38, and they still would have less fights than Wilder had. But y'all seem to think that that age shit don't matter. Could anybody in this chat who's AJ fan say, you can guarantee in four years he'll still be a top a top contender in four years from now? Could you say that three years from now Tyson Fury will still be boxing? How many of y'all can say that shit with, with, with surety? I'm talking about take all the bias of who you like out of it and ask yourself that. Four years from now, oh man, please. Three years from now, man, man, please. What Wilder gave us was entertainment. Y'all loved it. Y'all talked about it, whatever it might be. Retiring is not giving up. Retirement is not quitting, man. I think a lot of y'all want to see him continue to get his ass beat and knocked out really, really badly where he's stuttering and, and can't say his words and shit. I don't need that. I don't need that at all. Um, um, lastly, lastly, I'm kind of mad at TBV. I'm mad at you, Ness, because your, your dishonesty is crazy. And I, and I mean this, man. Everybody who's listened to me for five years have known that CYP has brought age to boxing. I've told you about dude's age. I've given you an age. I've said this shit. When Wilder was 33, I was saying this shit. But then when Wilder was 34, Bud? I was saying this shit. No, but listen to me. I, no, no, I, no, I picked Bud okay. because of Earl So Spence's, age didn't matter Earl. then? No, you're, you're not listening. You're not listening. For one, the age differences that I've always brought up is a different age between smaller guys versus heavyweights. I've had a different age category for them. You probably didn't listen to that. But Bud is also a guy who fought Earl, who's coming out. He must have had two car accidents, and he had the broke retina. That's, that's not a sane. That's, that's not a young fighter. Everybody know Earl Spence with the injuries is not really a young guy going through all that with his body. Anybody know that? You, if you tear your ACL and get back on the field, you're not the same because you're young. You, you literally took some, took some years off of your athleticism by that injury. And I believe that Earl Spence, even though he's 33, I believe, that motherfucker older than that based off the injuries that he went through. And we're not, we, we don't do outliers, right? An outlier is Floyd Mayweather, who is 38 years old and undefeated. An outlier is uh, Bernard Hopkins, who is 50 and still champion. No, 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 no. If you telling me that Wilder is on the, on the level of Bud, Floyd, or B-Hop, then why the fuck you're arguing about Hall of Fame? See, okay, so we're we, we going to leave that there. Wilder ain't that good. He ain't never been that good. He ain't on the level of them dudes. I, 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 I ain't, my, my fandom ain't going to take me there. Wilder is a great boxer for this era of heavyweights. He is going to Hall of Fame, whether you like it or not. But my man is 38. I don't want to see him fight no more because he's going to get like tattered up. Tattered up. But it's not your Tattered time. up. Last, last thing, if you allow me. Last thing, if you allow me for Christmas. Absolutely. Did y'all ever see... Did y'all see Francis Ngannou versus Derek Lewis? Any, some of y'all MMA fans saw that fight. 
Both of them niggas was heavyweights, knockout artists. Them niggas was both scared to throw punches. Both of them were scared to throw punches. So if all of y'all think that Francis Ngannou is going to get in there with another puncher and all of a sudden become the dude he was versus Fury, go back and watch him versus Derrick Lewis. When another nigga is sitting in front of you who throws just as hard as you, you don't fight the same. You don't. He already proved that. CYP out. Merry I Christmas. I mean, though, well, Wilder ain't punching the same. Uh, Joseph Parker took his shots. And I challenge anyone that's a true troll, I challenge you to go get that Fury right hand when Wilder, like, falls like that on the rope and side by side it with Joseph's right hand where Wilder falls like that, but he doesn't fall. But, like, it's the same... Bro, that shit is so identical, it's crazy. Um, Wilder just ain't punching the way he was punching no more because he's back foot mentality. He's worried about being punched now. He's fearful of being punched now. That aura of being indestructible, it, that, it, that doesn't exist to him anymore because Fury destroyed him. He thought... No man can do that until it got done. Now he's fearful that anyone can do it. And he, he, he needs like a Shaolin monk or some shit to get his confidence back. Timboski, what up? Yo. Yo. Bruv, what up? Yo. We hear you. Timboski, we hear you. Timboski. Cliff, what up? Cliff made money on Parker. Cliff called it. Cliff called it. We didn't believe Cliff. Cliff, we're not worthy of your of your call and, and to be in your presence, man. The casual fan called it. He said... There's always, bro, I'm going to say anything you said, paraphrasing though, obviously. He says some shit like, bro, on big cards, there's always a weird upset, and I think it's going to be Wilder. Something weird always has to happen, and I think it'll be Wilder. And he bet on it. He called it. He called in here and is on record. Cliff, we're not worthy. I'm sorry. I never seen your excellent. Your excellent boxing. Uh, I'm, I, I talk so much shit about you, bro. That's crazy. Cliff did that shit. Wow. Wow. That's crazy. What, wait a minute. What you was talking to me? What you were saying? I was just giving you the praise because you called Joseph Parker. You said some weird shit about something weird always happens on big cards and you thought that Joseph was going to get the upset and you even made a bet. It's crazy. You called it. Yeah, and then, but you said that you know, that you, 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 wait a minute, you said that you ain't have no respect for my boxing IQ or something, like, no, basically, I that's said, what you were saying, right? I said, I apologize for not respecting your boxing IQ and, 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 and the fact that you could see, I couldn't see what you saw. I was blinded oh. still with Wilder's power. I, you know, like, it's a wrap now, like, it, there's no way I pick Wilder again, like, I'm picking in Ghana, but uh, I right. well, but see the funny the dude who just called he always be like Toledo, what's up? Whatever, like that that dude. He said everything Trees. I was wanted to say. Trees, because y'all was y'all are I called days before I made the prediction. Y'all was talking like he was saying y'all was talking. Y'all was kind of like cool with Wilder being at peace and being a changed man. And y'all kind of was just like, it's all right. You know what I mean? To be that way, that's fine. Because we but believe that... the alter ego. It ain't just It ain't just like we ran with that. Remember, Wilder always made it about, nah, you know, I'm Deontay Wilder. But then I, I switched to it. I'm Bronze Bomber. And then I'm going to catch a body. Like, yo, we believed all the hype, bro. It's not our fault. That's what we were fed. We were fed that I am speak it, believe it, receive it. But when I get in the ring, I am that killer. That's what we was, we was fed. We, you can't help us for believing the last 40 some fights. I'm not, but it's something changed in his energy and his demeanor, even from when I want to die in the ring, I'm going to catch a body. It's on my fucking goal list to catch this body. That's some cold shit. This is the, like, you, you really feel that way? Like, why you want to kill somebody? It's a, I start to Hellenius 
and I'm worried about his family. Like, oh, his family. I, I, I don't, I don't want him to, you know, be, you know, hurt and be, won't be able to play with his kid. He took a whole change, and that shit, that crazy shit, is what made him him. And so now when he take that away from him, I don't feel like it was like his wife and his kid. I feel like Fury beat that shit out of him, honestly. But it is what it is. But when he changed, that's when I, now I was iffy. I didn't know that he was going to be the fighter we saw last night. But I didn't see enough since Fury to know if he was still the man that he used to be. So I was kind of like being a little bit like, well, I, I was just being skeptical. Like, before I believe it, I need to see it again because we've seen this before. We've seen Mike Tyson. We've seen other boxers lose that with that grit. And I was thinking he may have lost it. And it looks like he did. But Wilder, he don't need to change. Like you say, you saying like he needs a new trainer. He just needs that hunger back. And if he can't get it back, then he's finished. But that's all. If he didn't swing, if he ha goes out to fight anyone, Joshua, any of the best fighters, if he's going to bomb his way to victory, he can get victory because it's still, that power didn't go nowhere. It's just not in his heart. Well, Joseph so took he them right it, hands, homie Holmes. The ones he that he did, him. though. He, 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 he didn't catch him and he didn't throw enough now. He didn't, he didn't, he didn't I mean, throw enough. I mean, we changing How many did a, he throw? We pushing the goalposts. It used to be, you got to be perfect for 12 rounds. I only need one right hand. I only need one second. Like, now you talking about, oh, he got to throw more. He got to land more. Hold on, let me get, let me see your cash really shot. Like uh, let me see, let me see you the cash shot. I mean, but you do, you gotta land the punch. You know, you can't throw the career. You said it was less than Shakur and less than um, mm -hmm. um, the, the 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 whatever the opponent for Shakur for. You can't throw the least amount of punches and expect to land one. But I. Right, but it's the Wilder. heavyweight division, though. I mean, historically, the heavyweights throw less punches. Like Big Baby throwing sixty was abnormal, and that's why you know. Okay, so if that's the case, Ness, then you can't clown them for having the least amount of punches. If you're saying that that division doesn't require a, a, that much I punches certainly because can. how how damaging they are. I certainly can because you're the A side. We here to see you. Who cares? You Who cares what side you are? What you mean? The onus is on you. We here to see you. It's a Deontay Wilder fight. It ain't a fucking Joseph right. Parker fight. I I give I I, I we I, I give you that. Let's move past Wilder because so, it was a great it was a great card. Um, let's go. Let's let's move over to Bivol. Y'all was saying like y'all are disappointed that Bivol like kind of threw everything off and it, but. Why put him on the card if y'all <laughs> wanted a knockout? But that's what they did, Cliff. They threw him a lob ball, alley-oop. Whatever easy term you want, he got it. Lyndon Arthur got stopped by Anthony Yard in five, bro. Like, bro, it's just uh, yeah, sad. Yeah, but, 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 but he's not that kind of fighter. That's like asking Shakur to knock somebody out. Or, but Shakur or, which has he did. We gotten did. knockouts, we, though. We, I know. We've we, we seen it recently, too. So it's a bad example, but it's still a good example. That's like you don't bring Shakur and Devin to a fight card and be like, "All right, we want to we want to have a knockout fest, but we're inviting Shakur and Devin." Like you don't invite these kind of fighters to that type of party if you if you're not gonna accept what they give you. They don't do that. That's like asking a a, a, a three point shooter to dunk. Like you can't be like, "All right, we're gonna give you a wide open lane. We want you to do a, a 360." Like, but, but why do it. why can't you dunk? Why can't why can't the average basketball player dunk on a on a on a spud web? Come on, champ! Knock I mean, the you, fuck that, it off. <laughs> like, that's just not what you do. Like this, I feel safer this, with the finger this, roll. But his his <laughs> his saying? his opponent. And he tried to give it to us too. Dog, the opponent the opponent was less than spud web. Like spud web is a dude everybody gonna know. He probably in the basketball hall of fame. Like Lyndon Arthur, not in the boxing hall of fame, man. Uh, he ain't nobody special. He, he should have been able to get him out of there. He tried to get him out of there. The referee, there was a moment in the fight where the referee was like Hell waiting yeah. to jump in and stop waiting, it. Waiting, waiting. But waiting. he couldn't. But because <laughs> cause <laughs> Bibble, cause Bibble fake, fake pound for pound, fake great boxer wasn't even accurate enough to give the ref a reason. The ref seen the flurry and did all the mechanics of, I'm about to stop it. I'm double dutching. Oh, shit. When, I, when I'm yep, going to stop yep. it? When I'm going to stop it? Come on, Bivol. Give us the fucking shot. Motherfucker, you ain't going to land a shot? Oh, you really ain't going to land a shot. Oh, all right. Well, fuck it. Nah, then. Fuck it. 
he ain't he ain't landing a shot. I thought he was gonna get him out of there through a few times in that fight, but he didn't. But Bivol, um, y'all gotta slow down a little bit because if Bivol was able to beat Canelo, y'all gotta slow down with Benavidez and all this and that. Bivol is like a Devin Haney type of fighter. Yes, he might just stay away from a dude like Benavidez and Absolutely. beat him to the on the point. Yeah. So people gotta just slow down as it's. No, I mean, respect what you're seeing there. That's yeah. a skillful or, fighter. Or he, just, he know can beat anybody. just know what you're looking yeah. at. Just know what you're looking at. Exactly. But Merry Christmas, TVB. I'll see y'all tomorrow. Yo. So you just going to gonna dip off? You ain't going to tell us how much you made off Parker? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I sent you the ticket. Um, Damn. I mean, I bet 100 and I made 34. Y'all heard me? 3400 yeah, off a hundred dollars. Holy shit, you whispering so your wife don't hear you, little punk. You better share that money. It's Christmas, man. Stop being greedy. Nah, that's good. Congratulations. <laughs> Holy shit. One hundred dollars. You see, that's how big of an underdog Joseph Parker was. One hundred dollars won that man. Thirty four hundred. I feel like a dummy. I feel so stupid. Believing in old Wilder was still there, bro. That shit is crazy, bro. My man, literally the casual scene right through all the facade, all the bomb squads, all that shit. He seen right through that shit and paid the mortgage, paid his car note, taking his girl out on a vacation. I mean, not, I mean, it's probably too much. He could pay the mortgage. He could pay the car note and take his girl out for sure and still put some money away. Fuck. Shout out to boxing, bro. Damn. Shout out Joe Parker, man. Imagine how many more people broke the bank last night because of that shit. And imagine how many of us lost money, bro. The millions that were lost betting on Wilder last night by KO. We just swore up and down. Like, ain't no way he don't get this KO. Omar, two-pounder. Wilder gonna say he lost because he fought under Dr. Sleep. Yeah, I mean, he even changed his hammer. Wasn't that, wasn't that, he, yeah, he changed his name to Dr. Sleep, bro. We should have known, bro. So much weird shit, man. Big Supermax says, $2. Let's talk about the audio issues. Not really, champ. I don't think today's the day. I think we could talk about that tomorrow. Today, we, we, we basking in the glory of beautiful upsets by Agit Cabot Bell. Putting on for the heavyweight division, you know, making a name for himself. Amazing upsets by, by, by Joe Parker, showing that, that he's the goods, being the only the only the second man to beat Wilder, you know. Uh fuck, bro. Credit Tyson Fury, who 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 helped Joe Parker get ready, and Joe gave him hella credit. I mean, fuck, man. Last night was dope. We had a, we had some really good fights. But um, Chad in Canada, $2. The show needs more sad crying music. <laughs> Face with big eyes smile. Uh, Modern King Boxing, $2. Speaking head emoji. Ho, ho, ho. TBV Christmas tree. Shout out to you, brother. Happy holidays to everybody tuning in on Christmas Eve. Salute. I appreciate that you're wasting your time with me. Amazing. Uh, who we got? London runs boxing two pounder. Wilder tried to draw for Thor's hammer. Loudly crying face three times. Uh, G ball. Francis Ngannou has more skill and shown more skill than Wilder. He, he certainly showed to be a better counter puncher than Wilder. He certainly showed that. Oh, shit. Cliff just text. He just uh, super chatted $2. He said, damn, Ness, she heard you. I just gave $2,000 for Christmas. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. He tried to cuff the other $1,400. She know, bro. Yo, who run the world? Girls? You know how it go, bro. Happy wife, happy life, man. Uh, Latron, $10. Salute to you. <laughs> Foreman won a belt at 45. Bernard Hopkins won a belt at 46. Wilder just showed he's one trick pony. Believe it or not, not power, only gone. Get you so far. 
Just my opinion. I mean, there's still time, though. Your, your, your super chat does prove that there's still time for him to come back and win a world title. Laser Light Show, $10. Merry Christmas, Ness. You taking, you taking them to church. Straight, no chaser. Salute to you, champ. And we got to that cliff. We going to Timboski trying you again. Yeah, yeah, we think you hear me. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What are you saying? What are you saying, man? Salute to you, Nestor. Salute to the TVV. What are you what are you hate to say now? Huh? What are you hate to say now? I've been waiting. I've been waiting in the winds like a hawk, like a vulture for you little wilder fans, you little UK haters. What are you lot saying now? Your boy fucked it up. Your boy fucked it all up. We've been waiting for that fight for almost a decade. He fucked it up. You hear? I've been hearing these idiots call in talking about, oh, hey, wow, dude. he needs to go back to Mark Breland, get on his knees and beg and beg Mark Breland to become his trainer again. How dare Wilder give us that type of performance yesterday? This man raised his hand in the air like he won. Like there was some type of confusement. How dare you? <clears throat> and you guys in the back call makes me sick. Hey, Ness. When are you doing this border wall, border walls thing again, man? When? Cause I got money. I'll book a flight over there and fight with you niggas that talk rubbish. You lot are internet warriors and you don't know nothing about no boxing. And can you eat your crow, please, Ness, for that Dubois and Gerald Miller, please? Because I did call in beforehand and told uh, and I broke down how Daniel Dubois is gonna defeat your boy Miller. Am I correct on that one? <laughs> I'm here though, baby. I'm here. I, I, I there's, they, there's some crow for just specially served up for me so that you can hear me eat it. No, listen. I, I gotta. Be, but listen, you guys inspired me. That's what I'm saying. I feel like all boxing fans should be allowed to change their opinion. So I never knew UK boxing fans till I started this show, and I see how loyal y'all are. So I had to be like you. I'm riding with Gerald Miller. I'm not throwing listen, him away. I still want to see him fight Bacoli. Listen, I still want to see him fight Wilder. Listen to this. Listen to this. Listen to this. Look at them calling in now. They're throwing away all the losers. That's what I'm saying. You're not real boxing fans, man. You can say what you want. You can say what you want. You can say what you want. You're not real boxing fans, man. How are you throwing away Gerald Miller? You're throwing... This heavyweight division. Oh, man. And I've got another bone. I've got a counter punch at rightness that I still have to keep, correct? You got it. Thank you. We're gonna run that motherfucker because you you pinpointed on um his king excellence wanting to look on wanting to um keep an eye on the 140 division. You get me? I'm gonna switch gears quickly to that. I don't I don't see these guys are not known like Anthony Joshua, Wilder, AJ. They're not known. They he's never gonna invest any money into the 140 division. Never. I would like him to. I'm with you on that. Well, supporting well, the 140 division. Well, I'm with you. Think I'm about with you it. This the second time he invited Devin Haney now. That's Second Devin time, Haney, but, but why, but is he, the, why is he never spoke? If, if if Tank is the face of but what's the vision? Sports, what division? Why, 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 why don't he invite Tank over there? But why what, he never? They don't care about no Tank and Bolt. More don't care about those guys over there. But why care. did he invite Devin twice? And why did Devin say on the telecast that that, that he plans to fight in Saudi? No, yes, yes. That's why I said they fuck with Devin Haney. They fuck with Devin Haney because he's doing the right things. And then you guys want to rip Regis. You want to, you guys want to rip. You, oh, well, why, why does you American, you don't have no heavyweights, man. No, you're no talking about Tim Bell Bellis is the Anderson, one ripping Regis. Even your boy Jared Anderson said the guys that went with Wilder, you're stupid. You're stupid. And that guy, T Tolis, what's his name? T Toledo, Ohio, Trees. Yeah, yeah. Come bring your boy. Tell your boy to come up, pack his bags. Stop crying in the ring with Roy Jones. Stop getting arrested for DUIs and that shit. And come pack his bags and tell him to come over here and fight Woodley. Tell him to come get some smoke over here, man. I told you. Why was he not on that big heavyweight card? Why was he not on that big heavyweight card? Why was Andy Ruiz in street clothes in Saudi Arabia? He could have fought Wilder. You know why? Because Wilder didn't want to fight Andy Ruiz. Because he's not. He, Andy Ruiz would have knocked out that Wilder that we saw last night. He would have knocked him out. Who's going to argue with me I mean, about technically, that? we know that Andy's the one that priced himself out. Well, that was, well fair enough. But I'm, I, I would love to put some cheese down to let you know that he would have knocked out that Wilder that we saw yesterday. I guarantee you that. That Wilder that we saw yesterday was an abomination. That was, that was an embarrassment. An embarrassment. This, this idiot, another idiot caller called in talking about, he defended the belt for 10 years. This and that against who, man? Do I pass? Do I pass? Spilka? Spilka? Who are those guys, man? 
Those guys are not on the level of an AJ. Those guys are not on the level of a Joseph Parker. Those guys, you want to bum Joseph Parker. Euro bums. Oh, UK fan, eh? You, Euro bums. Uh, UK, oh, UK muffins. Well, Jared Miller, Jared Miller looked like a muffin yesterday. He looked like a muffin. Wilder looked like shit. Flicking out his jab. Flick. What are they doing in training? So, Ness, what are they doing in the training? We're seeing Wilder doing video clips of combinations, hitting the pads with um uh that, that bomb ass Malik Scott. He's a tuna can of a coach. Tuna can of a coach. Why are you not telling Wilder in the corner? You need to use your jab. You need to start doing start implementing a game plan. You need to get this guy out of it. You're just talking to him nice and smoothly. Wilder was in the back there in his Gucci shirt, nice and all wearing his crown and that. No, 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 no. This is what I'm saying to you. You saw AJ yesterday come out in his white robe, coming to do business. We destroyed Otto Wallin, like I said out, like I said he would. We destroyed Otto Wallin. Destroyed him. Why is Nwada not doing the same thing? What the hell is going on, man? What is going on? So, Ness, what is he working on in the gym? What is he working on? Can you explain to me, please? Why is he taking videos of him doing six-punch combinations? I don't understand. He was flicking the jab out for two rounds. Then after that, he stopped and reverted back to what? Reverted back to what? You're the puncher. You're the, you're the hammer from Alabama. Why was you not doing that to Joseph Parker? Joseph Parker's not a puncher, man. He's not a puncher. So why is he doing that? Regis did it. Charlo did it. What's wrong with you Americans, man? And I'm talking about your UK haters, not all Americans. I'm talking about the UK haters. What's wrong with you? What's wrong with your fighters, man? They look like shit, garbage. We come out on top. We have come out on top to the end of the year. We have. Dubois win. Joshua win. We kept our part of the agreement. We won our fight. Wilder lost it and fucked up the bag. So what now? What are you going to say? Retribution. Get your ass in here as well because you were talking shit. What do you have to say? Come and eat your crow, man. We ride with our fighters. 12 losses, we ride with Derek Chisora. It doesn't matter how much losses we got. We ride with the fighters. You guys, Gerald Miller, lost underneath the mat. Wilder, he's, he's over, he's done underneath the mat. Come on, man. You know, I'm not real fans. If you don't agree with me, that's fine. If you don't agree with me, that's fine. If you don't have any haters, you ain't doing nothing, you ain't doing nothing right. And loads of you can hate me because I'm going to be here, like I said, every single day until you lot give in and be real fans. Salute Ness, man. I'll be car punching again soon. Peace. Respect. You may feel like it's your time. No. But it's not your time. This is what this show was created for, man. You are entitled to talk your shit when your fighter wins. And you know, you entitled to uh, express your frustrations if he loses too, man. You know, um, we've been waiting for this, man. Come out, come out, wherever you are, man. They've been waiting for you, champ. Yo, yo, how the audio? Oh, we've been waiting for you. Yo, 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 how the audio, straight? Oh, we hear you, champ. Oh, we hear you. That's what's up, man. Do, do you want Shout me to break to out the music or you going to... What you talking about, man? That's that's the thing, man. This is entertainment. This is a sport. Everybody keep your head up, man. Shout out TBV. Keep Smash the like button. Up. Smash the like button. It's free. Do something with yourself, man. It's entertainment, man. You know, you don't got to get beside yourself and say silly stuff like, you know, Linda off the... You know, people get too emotional, man. And then, it's like, like Ness, I can't believe you. What? Did you call yourself Did you call yourself a fake a fake fan on your own show? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I did forget Linda off the was You said that you pick Wilder. You, you see, man, stop that, man. Stop I that. I forgot. I forgot. Who about, about to kick you off your own? Who about to kick you off your own show? Lying to the people like that, saying what? that Linda off was no contender, man. Yeah, I forgot he was the IBO stop this, champ. man. At least I forgot in the stop same. Stop this. You, you, you don't want to remember in the IBO, same show. Man. Stop the, the, the Wilder lose and get you to talking silly like this. I, 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 at like, least I remember on, on the same show, though. I remember on the same show. Did the big baby lose and get you talking like this, man? Because you picked him too. So are you calling people fake for picking him? Like, nah, come I on, wrote, man. I rode with my guy. You be a fan, like you I said. Be a fan. Be a fan Wilder. and ride with your guy. I pick Wilder because I rode with my guy. I pick Big Baby because I rode with my guy. I live in Same. America. I support my Americans. Same. That's what's up. That's what's up, man. I'm Same. just telling Same you here. the truth, though. Like, he look disgusting. Same here, same here, man. I mean, yo, after was an IBO champion, I couldn't believe you with disregard. Like you champion, I mean, you 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 scream to the hills of IBO, yo, yeah, man. He was. Oh, a, you stuck was on a, that? I said I remembered on this show. But, I don't know why yo, you stuck got it, on we got that. It. We, 
Why? No, why? Let's talk it, about that performance. We, we just don't want you to lie to the people. We just don't want you to lie to people. Let's like, talk like about I that. always say, let's talk about don't that lie to the Statue people, shit. man, on this show and get kicked off this show. Statue All right, boom, shit. Let's get, to the, let's, let's get to the fights, man. Statue Durrell shit. Miller. Sta- I told no, 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 you. No, no. I told you. No, no, I told no, no, you, the no, no, boy. No, no. Nah, we want oh, to get to the We're going to get though. We're going to get though. We're going to get though. We're going to get to the fight. We're going to get to the fight. Jarrell Miller. You got three minutes, right? Goddamn. Goddamn. I'm going to have to restart. I'm going to restart this shit. I'm going to restart it. Off the juice, Jarrell Miller could not, you know, he is not good. I mean, I mean, I don't think he was. He, he used the juice, so we don't know what he is off the juice. And I like Dubois. I've been saying the one-two is going to get him. I picked that right. Boom. I had Frank um, money line, but I didn't. I was telling everybody he was going to stop him. But I, I just went safe with the money line. Boom. What, what, you, I told had us, what you told us in the, in the Wilder fight? I had, I had, I'm about to get the hell with you, <laughs> K.O. I had to stop it. I, I heard somebody had... Somebody called into the show he and said, Cabby He trying to make so, the wild fight a cliffhanger. <laughs> somebody called into the show and said, uh, AJ was going to get the upset. And I kind of like, that dude don't got no defense that he was fighting. So I just went with all, all my cards. I picked that the fight wasn't going to go to this. You know what I'm saying? We, we was good on that, man. We got the Bilbo. I don't know, man. They just not real boxing fans, man. I was surprised to hear Alex say Bilbo was boring on the back. I was like, damn, like, as long as you being offensively and you in attack mode, I don't think, and I knew Lyndon was a wasn't a per- prospect like Ness trying to say. Like I knew he wasn't. Did, was he like, durable? Supposed to do. Was he I was durable? like, man, he was he durable. I was like, man, he should. Was he I like, man, he should get him out of there. Was he durable? Yeah. Is he, I mean, the is he considered take you durable? The world. Is he considered durable? Uh, yard, yard stopped him. Yard stopped him, but I, I'm just I knew asking he had you a simple yard question. Too. Just a simple question: Is he considered durable? He, he seems like he's considered durable now. No, 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 no. Uh, uh-uh, you said now. I said before yesterday was Lyndon Arthur, whose biggest name on of opposition is Anthony Yard. Yeah. Was he considered durable not, to you? Just one. Yeah, I'm not sure. I, I'm oh, not sure. I, I just knew yeah, he was an IB. I just knew he was a. And me I just knew he was a contender. And me neither. That's all. I, I just knew he was a contender. That's and all. like you said, we telling the truth. Right? So, and, and, and I didn't think he was durable. That's why I didn't pick him. Got you. Got you. Okay. I mean, I, I had Bibble on money line. I just went with the money line. Uh, the, the, the delusion of Wilder, man. People got to stop this, man. You you lose. He saying he can't fight. Come on, man. Don't be. Don't say this stuff, man. Don't sound too casual just because the person lost. He lost. Did Ngannou you know look better than he, Wilder? He had, he had yes or no? Did Ngannou look better straight. than Wilder? Yes or no? Yeah, Ngannou look better than Wilder. Okay. Yeah. That's, okay. And that and that's what I want to see. Like let's let's not let's not be fickle. Let's not. We don't want to throw our fans our fighters away, man. He only he, he lost three out of four. But he ain't lost to somebody coming up yet. So what Parker was a good match. If you go to my call when I called in on the show to get my prediction, I said, man, in a tough match. You were surprised that I had it to say. I'm a real boxing fan. So boom, I want Wilder to fight Ngannou next. I want him to fight Andrew Ruiz next. I want I want him to fight Dillian White next. But champ, but champ, I want all of those. You know what I'm saying? Can you pick it in in the order you really want it? Cause like from my side, I hear you asking for an 0 one fighter for Wilder's next fight. I just want you to, you know, like how you really no, want it. I mean, what order you and really Gunnel, want? And Gunnel has said this shit. And Gunnel likes to say he's making No, 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 no. You not in Gunnel. You not in Gunnel. I'm, I'm, I'm saying. I like, said, I said, Dillian saying, White, Andrew Ruiz, Dillian White. No, I and said and though. And that's yeah, why I'm saying, C Dub, please give us the order in which you want it because. I almost got scared that a dude that run around here saying statue shit wants an 0 and 1 fighter next for nah. Wilder. So I'm trying let, to give let, you a chance let's get to clean Ru- that up. Let's get Ruiz, man. Let's get Ruiz, man. You win some, you lose some, mm. but some go on to live as a statue. He go, you hit me. he fight statue Ruiz. Shit. He fight Hardcore Ruiz. Shit. You hit me. He fight Ruiz, he the underdog in that fight. This he gonna fight be Ruiz. an underdog. He gonna be an underdog. Fight Dilly and White. We always wanted to see that, right? We what, they why why you don't want to see that no more? Dilly and White and other Wilder? That's what I'm saying about boxing fans, man. And that's why somebody said about the UFC shit. Because it's just, it's crazy. I still want to see Miller against somebody. Let's see him. Maybe this was an aberration for, for Wilder. I haven't seen him take his hands in the whole entire fight before. So let me let me see a pattern of it before I say, okay, man, you need to retire. Damn. You know what I'm saying? A so pattern? Cool. Yeah, I want to see a pattern bro, of you not bro, the throwing your hands the whole you, not, you don't, you don't want to see it. We didn't want to see it either, but... But the pattern showed up now twice. Remember, he he fought like this in the Hellenius fight, and then he did it again yesterday. Bro, the Hellenius went one round. What are you talking about? But he Stop started. This, this. That's no, what I'm no. saying. You sound like a casual. Yo, C Dub. We, we did, didn't know did, he was going to do the movement the C-Dub. entire fight because he did, he did it for one round but, against the Hellenius. But but in the one <laughs> Stop round, this, that, this. but in the one okay, round, ahead, in the one round that that fight lasted, was he not 
doing the same thing in the Parker fight? Yes. And that's why we thought it's boxing so, fans. People so that when know he boxing, did, we so, thought he was going to move so it for a couple of weeks. How, how, how do we define patterns? So him doing it in that fight and him doing it in this fight, that's not a pattern? He did it the entire oh, fight. We thought it was going to... That's people that was watching it... That's a pattern, like we thought champ, we, But that was the bell. I gave you a lot of extra time because we always love you around here. Kerry G, what it do? Kerry G... Hello? What up? Hey. I think that this weekend really showed, how, like, we, like, I, I feel like a lot of, like, boxing stuff and all the different weight classes, a lot of things out of the issue is, like, we're, like, they're doing, like, new school, a lot of new school tactics, some successful, some not. But AJ just proved, same thing that you said for a lot of boxers that have gone through, like, their ups and downs, he did the real comeback. I don't even know how we could even talk about, like, talk shit about any of his comeback. It's like you took a couple softer fights and worked some kinks out, then took an actual challenge, and then won. Like, he showed how to do the comeback, not, like, sit on the shelf and, like you said, the leverage thing with business and everything. Like, because it's kind of disappointing because Wilder could have been, like, you know, in the alternate reality, like, Wilder taking some regular fights or whatever and – and getting his timing worked out, everybody, all, all, all these fighters are the same thing. My timing, my timing. Maybe you should fight so you can keep your timing. You know, <laughs> like, so Anthony really showed how to make that comeback. The card was great. Fucking, it was, it was really good. I, that Casio, um fight with Lockwoodolf, like, that was actually, I was really one of the more exciting fights I was, um, that I wanted to watch on the card because even though I didn't really know much about the Casio dude, and the Makhmadov thing. There's always one random caller that really stands out to me during these, like, fight lead-ups that just says something that, like, piques my interest about a fight that we're expecting to go our way. <laughs> and, like, that was one that, like, me and my homies were actually excited to watch for, all because I was talking about it from, like, one caller who was like, I wouldn't be surprised if the Casale thing. I was like, I don't know, but the show gives us some random good little, like, tidbits to be excited for in fights that don't have any interest really drummed up on it. But yeah, I think it was. I think I think just more boxers need to take Anthony Joshua's um, example of how to come back. You know, like this. Stop trying to always make that crazy money price unless you are like Anthony Joshua, who's so accredited that he can at least for his first fight with like you know Jermaine Franklin and Stavern. I mean, not Stavern. Um, Hellenius. Like obviously, Anthony Joshua's is gonna make money, but it's like he put in that work, man. He's like gold medalist. One titles unified. He's knighted for Christ's sake. So it's like we can't compare other fighters' comebacks on how they should be pay scale wise. But take the work ethic out of it. Take that example because now it shows. Now people ain't questioning his mental and all that stuff. Fought with poise. Loved it when the sound went off because I was like, "Damn, AJ, this is looking good." So well done to that. And I hope some other fighters really look at how to revamp and bounce back off your career. Even Tio kind of did that in the same way, except that it didn't look as good. <laughs> <laughs> at all but he he did the same thing and then we get josh taylor performance so it's activity and humble being humble is really what makes people shine when they have a rough patch so fighters pay attention thank you all right all right we got terrence what up Yo, yo. What up, what up? Definitely. Rex. All right, Delaware, man. What's happening? How you feeling? Chilling, chilling. Um, man, that was, that was a great card, man. Like, we got like five knockouts back to back to back. And they was rolling through them fights in the beginning, too. I know they had to slow it down after a while. But, you know, great day. Watching boxing all day. Beautiful thing, man. Like, you know, my some of my homies, my friends was calling. They was like, yo, you know, you watching the game. You know what I'm saying? Like, my team was playing. They blowing shit out. I'm like, nah, dog. I love, I love football, but boxing's my favorite sport. That shit gotta take a back seat, man. Like, I was in heaven yesterday. It was a beautiful night of boxing. So, you know, loved it, man. Like, listen, you finna be playing that crying song for me too, bro. I ain't gonna hold you. Like, I'm, <laughs> I'm a big diehard Wilder fan, man. That's my guy. But hey, end of the day, man, I think you should hang it up. I don't, I don't want to see him out there no more. It is what it is. He disappointed all of us yesterday. 
I'm, I'm, I think he should hang it up, man. He's my favorite heavyweight of this era. He's done a lot for us, but I think it's a wrap for him, man. But, um, you know, uh, thing about the Bibble fight, like, I believe, like, you know, my thing was with him is, like, he was head hunting too much. You know what I'm saying? Like, he, if he'd have went to the body, which is when he dropped him, went to the body some more, I think he'd have could have stopped him. I don't know why he didn't. Like, he wasn't going to the body. That kind of shocked me, man. At, at no point, he didn't make the adjustment. You feel me? But um, I think the main thing that the boxing world needs to see with this wilder loss is that, you know, make the fights when it's time for the fights to be made. You know what I'm saying? It was saying five years ago the the Wilder Joshua fight was rumored to be worth a hundred million dollars. You know, egos and the business of boxing stopped that fight from happening and it never came back and it never will. It'll never be what it once was. So I hope the boxing world sees this and learns from this and don't keep thinking that you'll have another opportunity or there's another chance for you to make these big fights because sometimes it doesn't happen. You know? So like even like all the champs, you know, at one forty different weight classes. Stop letting the egos and the business of boxing stop these fights, thinking you'll have a bigger and better opportunity, and you just might not. You know, I think that's a lesson that we could all learn from Wilder losing. You know, that was a big fight that should have happened, and it'll never happen because the egos and the business of boxing. So I think that's a big lesson that everybody could and should learn. So we get the fights, you know, when we're supposed to get them, and you make the money when you're supposed to. You feel me? Yep. That's what I think is the is a big lesson. That's what I think. Thanks for taking my call, brother. Appreciate you. You the man, champ. You the man. Appreciate everybody that's rocking out. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up. This is going to help with the visibility of the show. We are on the backup channel, so we do need your support so that they can find us. We got a $10 super chat from Dodge J. Salute to Dodge. He says, salute, Ness. Respect the grind and not sugarcoat in today's live. Appreciate you, champ. Appreciate you, man. Some people call it hate, though. Rocky, 954. What up? Don't forget to smash the thumbs up while we wait for Discord to connect with our next caller. Rocky, are you there? Check, 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 check. Going back to Twitter, we got Hawk in Maryland. What up? Hawking him down. Got to unmute, Hawk. Hit that unmute. While we wait for Hawk to connect, don't forget to head on over to our community page right here on YouTube.com forward slash Nesta Gibbs channel and vote. I just posted the Wilder and Ganu fight. I hear you, Hawk. Give me one second. I just posted the Wilder and Ganu matchup. I want to get your thoughts. I asked who wins this matchup, and also, would you be okay with Wilder fighting in Ganu next, even though he's only 0-1? Hawk, what up, though? Yo, what's up, Ness? How you doing today, bro? Chilling. Hey, man, this, uh, this is the first time I... Um... Got on this uh this this uh this way uh, what is it Twitter? Yep. So, yeah, Twitter. Yeah, 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 the other thing don't work for me. The other one. But anyway, Discord. on to the uh boxing Discord, right? I mean that was a beautiful night of boxing, bro. But um, I thought uh Big Baby fought his little heart out. He he, he got to lose some weight. He got to get 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 back and, and lose some weight. He he got he got beat up out there, but he was fighting hard though. He was fighting hard. But um, the wildest situation, bro. That shit is old as time. Wow. Can you hear me? Perfect. Oh, okay. That shit is wild as old as time, though. If you don't pick the right woman, if you don't have the right woman, you will fail, though. If you got a woman that makes you focus on her and not on what you're supposed to be doing, you will fail. He bring her with her everywhere he goes. He's so wilder uh, with his lady. And um, that, that video I saw of yours, that's when I stopped following him and everything. When he was... Uh, doing a video with her, a podcast, and she asked him about balls and, and eating and licking his, that, that craziness that she asked him, and he didn't just slap the crap out of her. I was like, nah, I got to unfollow this dude, dog. So, yeah, oh, if you if you don't got the woman like TBV, your, your company would not be TBV if Miss TBV wasn't down with you, dog. Your woman got to be down with you with your grind, dog. That's how it got to go. She can't be focusing you on her. And it just looked like that dude is focused on his woman, dog. He don't even talk like he, he's supposed to, dog. But all that comes from picking the wrong woman, dog. Or she she could be the right woman, but for not for him in this sport. 
in this sport, she softened him up too. Man, come on, bro. That ain't nothing but a woman right there, man, making a dude be like that. So, nah, I don't see him going no further unless uh, uh, he, he ain't even focused on that. How do you lose and still be happy? That that old song he used to have, Don't Worry, Be Happy, that was the dumbest fucking song ever made in history, bro. He all about he happy, he happy. Nah, no, dog, you don't be happy like that unless you got the woman that got your mind focused on her. So, like I said, you get the wrong woman, you ain't going nowhere. If you rich, or you're trying to get rich, you won't get rich if you pick the wrong woman. And if you are rich, you will be poor soon if you're fucking with the wrong woman. So that's all I got to say about Wilder. But uh, TBV, great show. And uh, um, uh, oh, and um, uh, Joshua, he looked good. He looked good. He looked great. That's a man that was focused. You ain't see him shopping or doing nothing. He was on his game. So, uh, 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 and I got to take my crow for the Wilder, and I got to take my crow for the uh, big baby. I'm out. Hi, Chen. All right, all right, all right. Next up, let me see what we got here on Discord. Matador, what is up? Hello, can you hear me? Yep. Okay. All right, okay. so um, over the fight, let's see. Uh, on that fight with Wilder and uh, Parker, I, I bet over five and a half because I wasn't sure about uh, Wilder. But um, I, I just figured it'd definitely go over five and a half. Parker's too tough. Um, another thing. Everyone is like talking about Wilder, like he's not himself, and this is this isn't him, and he's different now than he was before. But but what about Parker? Like, how come he's not getting any credit from anyone? Nobody's saying like Parker did a great job. He he schooled him. He destroyed him. Nobody's calling in to give Parker credit. He made Wilder look the worst he's ever looked in his whole career. Tyson Fury didn't make him look that bad he deserves his flowers you know he he did he did a he did a good job like he 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 beat him every single round um i think uh wilder was uh i don't know maybe he was just thinking about the 14 million he was making already for this fight uh him going back home after that relaxing like it was just he wasn't his mindset probably just wasn't on the fight. He was just thinking like I'm getting fourteen million from this fight. But uh regardless, uh Joe Joyce's wins now against Dubois and Parker are looking even nicer now, right? For sure. It just shows that, you know, fighter A beating fighter C don't mean he gonna beat fighter B. Exactly. Exactly. So every everyone trashed Joyce. Oh, he lost to Zhang twice, and like he he's 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 trash and all that. But like, really, he's not. Like he he's still he's still a good opponent. Like he lost to a, to better men. Um, you know, AJ. Oh, on AJ, AJ. Even after he lost to Usyk twice. I was probably one of the few people that still believed like he could bounce back. Like his resume is too good to just throw him out and call him trash. Like he's fought everyone. And you're gonna say like, oh, he's trash. But now everybody's like, oh, he he's actually good. He had a good mindset for the fight and he's back. And, but like, you know, it. I, I just think that he could bounce back. Um, but Wilder, I don't know about Wilder. It, it, it seems like it's tougher since he's not as he's not as good of a boxer. He relies on that one hand too much compared to AJ. AJ had more skills and he, he's uh, even picked up on things. So it's tough for Wilder to flip it around. I'd have to see it. But, you know, things are looking good for AJ right now. And 
I think it'll be a, I think it'll be a good year for AJ too. Wilder, he got to go back to the drawing board and see if he even comes back. But definitely, everybody give uh, Parker some credit. He deserves it. All right. Champ, appreciate you, man. Appreciate you. Info Joe, what up, man? I'm starting to think you wasn't fucking with us, bruh. Man, you know it ain't no show without Info Joe, man. I'm TBB for life, man. Like my guy Stainless say, what up, Ness? You hear me clear? Loud and clear. Yeah, man, let me get this off real fast. I ain't going nowhere, man. First thing first, man, shout out to the boxing gods. Shout out to TBV. Shout out to the Saudis and that A-Rap money, man. They put on a great card to close out the year, man. And I really like having the fights on in the daytime, man. This shit was cool. I still had my Saturday night to do what I wanted to do, man. But uh, excellent card. Shout out to the Saudis, man. Uh, shout out to uh, Dubois, man. He put on a great performance. We all seen, man, without the pairs, man, big baby output. It was very, very low, man. I agree with the callers, man. He needs to lose about 50 pounds, man, to get that output back out. But I, I want to see him back, man. I want to see Big Baby back, man. Uh, shout out to Joseph Parker, man. Great performance, man. Uh, the whole time I was watching this fight, man, I was thinking, Wilder, how much better he would have been if he would have kept Mark Breland, man. I can see on TV when Wilder was loading up, about to throw the right. From TV, man, he was telegraphing it every time, man. And uh, uh, Parker would be just was ducking, man. And uh, he put on a great performance, man. Uh, should he, Wilder retire? I don't know. Half of me thinks he should, but I would like to see the Andy Ruiz fight. And if uh, shout out to AJ, man, still offering him the fight, man. Uh, Right about now, it ain't looking too good. I still wanted to see the AJ Wilder, man, but uh, I don't think he can beat AJ at this point, man. But be, to get Wilder another bag, man, give him Ruiz. Shout out to AJ. Uh, he looked real good, man. You know what? Most of all, man, AJ was mentally dialed in, man. Uh, I think that was most of uh, his problems with the fights that he didn't look too good in. It was his mental, and it like he got his mental back. He had that dog in him. He looked as sharp. The straight right was going right down the pipe. Uh, give me that uh, uh, crow for uh, Wilder, man. Uh, I didn't call in and predict, man, but I was riding with Wilder. I was predicting a, a seven-round stoppage of Joseph Parker, man. Give me that crow, Ness. That's right. Hey, man, I want to say happy holidays, man, to all the callers, man, everybody in the chat, and most of all, you, Ness, man. You had a great year, man, and uh, I hope you uh, get that uh, million one-day uh, subscribers, my brother. You're on the right track, man. Salute to you and uh, TBV. Peace, my brother. Appreciate you, man. Appreciate you from your lips to God's ears. Hopefully we get to that goal. You know, a million subscribers. If you haven't already subscribed to the main channel, but it's not your time. You can still do that even though we are violated until maybe tomorrow. Maybe tomorrow we're back. Um, let me see what I got here. Zorro de la Vega, two dollars, blaming the wife for Wilder's loss. Embarrassing. Yeah, the fact that y'all now are saying it's Telly Swift's fault. Uh, and I get what they saying by that. they like, you know, he's he's got to get away from her to go to camp and all that. But, like, it, it, it still has to do with him. It ain't got nothing to do with her. I don't, you know, I don't think. That's not, you know, whatever. Uh, we still got hella callers. We still rocking out. Shout out to everybody. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. It looks like we got Rob in Vegas. Rob in Vegas. What up? Rob in Vegas. Mic check. One, two, one, two. Oh, let's go. Am I in that thing? You in here. I was about to go to CYP. Yeah, yeah. Oh shit! Are you, hey man, I appreciate CYP call. As long as he don't be on no delivery and shit, man. He, uh, I can't. He be hollering, but I, I always appreciate the man calls. You feel me? I say give you something to clap back at. 
when you get the chill motherfuckers up sometimes. But anyway, let's get right to it, man. We ain't calling with none of that delusional bullshit these dudes is calling with. I do agree that the fights need to be on in the morning, man. That's cracking right there. You feel me? That's that's how they supposed to do it, man. Them Saudis know what they doing over there. Shout out to Turkey Allah Sheep. Uh, his excellency. I'm gonna start making my my family them call me his. You have to choose your own pronouns these days, right? His excellency. I'm gonna feel that. That's hard. Uh, but then let me get my crow from Mahmoud Dog. See, too many people call in here telling you you ain't this, you ain't that. I'll be seeing you as an oracle. Maybe my shit is just wrong, but I don't know. You was like, I don't know that Kabiel dude. He he. I seen him before. He you know what I'm saying. And he came out here and waxed the flow with that boy. So let me get the crow for the Maku doll, man. Enough of you niggas don't call in asking for your crow. I done heard a few of you. Y'all terrible for that, man. We got the crow for a reason. Ask for your crow. Don't ask Ness to eat his crow till you ask for your crow. Let me get my crow, man. Yeah, C-Dub like to get me on what I was wrong about. <laughs> yeah, they crazy. He ain't the only one. Bro. <laughs> Yeah, man, it's a few of them, man. They they be calling it here. Wilder with the hope. Them layoffs, man. Them layoffs, man. Fighters off of the layoffs, bro. They look different. Like he said, his timing was down. Whoever blamed his wife, you oh, bro. You know you you a bad boy. That nigga said he too focused on his wife. How oh, nigga? Stop it, bro. This is that's that's sad, bro. Don't make us go out like that, my nigga. Don't ever blame a man wife. Like he was with her for so long, knocking niggas out. Now you go say he too focused on her. Yes, he's focused on his family after he made his ends, bro. Calm down with that. It wasn't his wife. The man had a layoff. It wasn't no goddamn age, y'all. I blame it age. Wasn't nobody seeing no age. He had that long ass layoff and got his ass whooped. And another thing, yeah, shout out to Parker, man. He handled his business, bro. He handled his business. That's what it is. AJ look good versus Wileen. I still want to see AJ Wilder. I mean, obviously, we all think AJ going to start him a little bit now, but it remains to be seen. You know what I mean? Uh, Bivol, why did he slow everything down? Like, the car was moving so good, then Bivol just came and, and slowed everything the fuck down. But, you know, he still got to get win versus whoever that common looking was. Uh, and yeah, man, I mean, it was it was just a great night on the card, man. Everybody had a little bit of this, a little bit of that going on. Uh, that Wilder performance, man, them layoffs, bro. I just can't say it enough about them motherfucking layoffs, dude. I'm not picking. Oh, another one, Big Baby Miller. I, I did pick Dubois, but I'm not done with Big Baby, bro. You don't need to lose no 50 pounds. He fight at 290, he said that make him tired. Man, let's get Big Baby back in there versus Mark Madoff or Wilder. That's my call, man. Thank you. Definitely, Mark Madov is a good fight. Uh, if he would have won, I, I, I would have loved that fucking Bacoli fight. Like, if, if the Wilders and the AJs was busy. But off yeah. the loss, I would like the, the Mark Madov fight. I don't know that I want the Wilder fight. Because, like, is Wilder... If he ran from Parker, what he going to do versus Big Baby? I don't know. We got to see. Let's see. Oh, boy said his wife. Who was talking more about his wife than Big Baby? You know what I'm saying? Either one. Either one, though. I always appreciate your time, man. Thanks for having us, and happy holidays to you. Oh, uh, boys. Appreciate yeah. you. I don't know, oh, man. He, oh, made, he did oh. so many circles on that 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 Parker yeah. fight. You know, we don't know. CYP. There we go. There we go. We're going to bring up a man's wife and some boxing shit. You know what I mean? It's crazy. Hey, but... Call me what you want to call me, but I'm I'm mad as hell that we got a crow button, but we ain't got a right button. I could have swore to God CYP called in and told y'all why Miller was going to lose, how he was going to lose, and the reasons why you shouldn't pick him off them roids. I could have told all of y'all every single step of why you should not put your faith in Miller off them steroids. A man that big with no power taking steroids through a lot of punches off those steroids will not be the same boxer. I literally told y'all that. But nah, we 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 gonna we gonna ignore that shit. We're gonna ignore the Oracle because I tell y'all shit that actually happens because Wilder lost. Shit, damn it. Wild I'm confused. Wilder's so trash that y'all care when he lose. Wilder don't fight nobody, but you always talk about his opponent. And his, and his opponents fight other niggas too. But you know, he don't fight nobody. It's just weird. Why don't y'all just admit it? Y'all really do love Wilder. Y'all wanted him to be great in his second in the second stage of his career. Y'all wanted y'all wanted that fam. Just just say the shit. 
You ain't got to call in talking about his wife. You ain't got to call in talking about his opponents. You ain't got to call in bigging up AJ. Just be honest. Wilder has carried this fucking show. Let's be real. If you had to guess, if we had to put a number, like, like add up the, uh, uh, the boxers, who has been more beneficial to fucking TBV over, six, over the past five years? Wilder would be, would be number one. He brought a whole crowd to this motherfucker. He brought a whole crowd to this, to, to this channel. Y'all know y'all like him, and y'all really sad that he lost, but y'all don't know how to express it like a like 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 one of them ch- some childish ass girls who like the dude in junior high, but don't know how to tell him. So she'd be like, "You ugly, you ugly, you ain't that fine." Like, come on, man, grow the fuck up, admit it. Y'all mad? Because if he was as sorry and as bad and as non skilled as y'all say he was, y'all wouldn't give a fuck about him losing. Y'all wouldn't have cared about Fury beating him. Y'all wouldn't have cared about the layoff. Y'all wouldn't have cared about none of that shit, man. Just admit it, man. Y'all are grateful for fucking Wilder for the entertainment he brought y'all and the friends and the enemies he brought y'all on TV. And now the era's coming to an end and y'all don't want to face the shit. I loved it. I I enjoyed myself. And as a real fan, I don't want to see him stuttering when he talks. I don't want to see him knocked out the ring. I'm good on that shit. I'm good. And and I have to be because I'm a coach. I'm a coach. I got to be that way. Some of y'all don't have to be that way. I have to. I cannot. I cannot stand for that shit. But I do feel y'all, if y'all want to be fandoms and go through that and see these fighters continue to lose their money and get their asses beat and slow their talk and, 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 and end up like Holyfield, cool. I don't, I don't, I don't. But on the real, though, I got to go on busy as hell today. But Merry Christmas to all y'all. An era, in my opinion, is over. But it's time for the tank era, the new face of boxing. So be ready. Be ready. And Miller, Jay Miller you are done. CYP. you you there? Okay. <laughs> Merry Christmas, man. Eat your crow, bro. Out here telling us to admit shit. Admit this. Admit that. I told you this. I told you that. Man, admit your favorite fighter got his ass whoop. Eat your crow. Ask for your motherfucking crow. Rocky 954. Yo, yo, what up, what up, Ness? You hear me this time? Yes, sir. Feliz, Feliz Navidad and all that good stuff, brother. Likewise, champ. Merry Christmas. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Man, that car yesterday was fire, bro. I enjoyed that car. That was, like, to me, the best part of the year. Like, just as far as delivering, like, every fight was, I mean, a biblical fight was a little slow. We know that, but. Every fight was good, but uh, I know you guys talking about Deontay, man. Deontay, he fucked up my parlays, champ. I had him on every parlay. I knew that, man, I knew that uh, um, Parker was going to win rounds, you know, because he's technically good, but I thought Deontay was going to be able to land that right hand at some point and change the fight, and he just wasn't able to, and... um. But the thing is, too, champ, I didn't know that um, Andy Lee was in Parker's uh, corner. I think that would have swayed me a little bit if I knew that. Um, I, I must have missed that buildup. But, you know, Andy Lee's from Crunk, and then he had uh, uh, Tyson Fury helping him, too. And I just think that they knew when Wilder was going to let go of that, that right hand. Wilder had, had uh, tells, you know. Whenever he comes in and kind of leaps in with a jab, that right hand is coming after, and, and and Joseph Parker was able to get tight and low, and that white that that right hand whizzed over his head every time, and Deontay never made an adjustment, um, and Deontay was biting on every feint that Parker did, but Parker never bit on Deontay's feint. It was just a it was a good game plan by Parker. It was it was masterful. I say that to say he got you know Deontay got his ass whooped. I still want to see the AJ fight, though. I still want to see it. If 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 I had my way, I would I would be, I would tell Deontay, hey, make an excuse that you were rusty because the inactivity. I put him in there against somebody I know he could get a KO against fast, like maybe that uh that Tyson Fury and um and Usyk undercard put him on there against a can. 
get a knockout, make excuses, and let's get that AJ fight still going. I still want to see it. I don't care. Pacquiao got knocked knocked out before the Floyd fight, and that fight still happened. So uh, I still want to see it, but uh, yeah, Deontay's career is winding down. Uh, is he as good as we thought he was? I don't think so. Uh, I think Chris Burr would have whooped his ass. Uh, Clis, both <gasps> of the Clisco's, any of those guys. But um, but yeah, champ, that's 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 all I got, man. Thank you for taking my call. Y'all already know, man. Shout out TVV. You are the man, champ. We got JT. What up? Yo, what up, Ness? What up, Witcher? Yo, can y'all hear me? Loud and clear. What's up, champ? Uh, I didn't. Uh, I missed the fights. I caught the high highlight clip. I was busy with the uh with the family yesterday. But uh, man, damn. I guess I will take my crow uh for Deontay Wilder fight. Oh. As far as the Dubai, uh, do um, um, Jer- 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 Miller fight, uh, I I didn't pick a pick on that one. If I recall, I, I had a fifty fifty. Just wanted to see a good fight, but I guess I got to go back and watch him. But um, we all underestimated Joseph Parker. So shout out to Joseph Parker. I knew he wasn't no bad fighter because he gave Joshua Anthony Joshua a hard fight, even though Joshua beat him, but uh. Back, it's just been so um so long time ago. I paid attention to Joshua. Now nah, you good, he's good. Um, jo- um, Joseph Parker, but uh, uh, yeah, man, why the? I don't know, man. Look like a lot of that stuff that uh your boy Scott Malik had over there teaching is not implying in the ring. He's going back to a lot of bad habits from the highlights I saw him in uh just backing up, the, losing his balance all over, just swinging punches like I don't know. I don't know why his mental is gone since the Tyson Fury. He don't look the same since the first fight to me. He just uh, a lot of them bad habits are starting being um uh, being more clear, clear today. And a lot of people starting to got the blueprint how to beat Wilder. If you notice, a lot of people respected his power, kept listening, you know, you know. But I just not, I just think nobody's not respecting the power as much as since Tyson Fury gave the blueprint out. But um, uh, as far as that, I got, I'm gonna go back and watch the fights. But from the highlights, from what I saw, man, well, I don't, I don't even think uh, why to beat Anthony Joshua, and I see, I see how Andy Ruiz would beat him now. Uh, but most definitely, man. Uh, shout out to y'all, man. That's all I had. I just wanted to Chant, call give my crew on that. Uh, Yo, two part question: Would you who wins? Obviously, Wilder and Ganu. And are you okay if he fights him next, even though Ngannou is 0 and 1? I'm okay with it now. I, I, I got Ngannou in that fight. I just think Ngannou is the bigger, stronger man from what I see now. And uh, Ngannou balance is way better than Wilder's. I, I got Ngannou actually knocking on Wilder out now, the most definitely now from what I've seen. He's the stronger, bigger guy. I think his balance could be ten times better than Wilder. Wilder just looked very beatable. Now uh, they both got knockout power. I just Ghana might just have a little more boxing skills than Wilder. To tell you the truth, to be honest, he gonna bring some of that MMA with the smothering a Wilder in there. So I got Ghana beating him. Mm. I'm okay with the fight because uh, the the performance Ghana put um, against Tyson Fury. So I'm not looking at the rest. But his resume is gonna read like. Like the way it's gonna read is like Fury. This how it's gonna read. This how it's gonna read. Ness. He gonna beat Wilder. He gonna get. He's gonna bring more hype to his name because he he what he did with Tyson Fury, even though he lost, and then he gonna knock out Wilder. I got I got Agando beating him at this point. As far as that, I'm not worrying about the resume and all that. It's just gonna even look more uh disappointed Wilder lose to this guy. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like it'll be like. You know, Luis Ortiz, you knocked him out. Tyson Fury knocked you out. Tyson Fury knocked you out. Robert Hellenas, you knocked him out. 
Joseph Parker beat you, then you fight an 0-1 fighter, and he beat you, that's criminal. But, champ, you know we love you. All right. Shout out. All right. Um, let me get to some of these super chats. Jonathan Sims, I see you. You up next. Looking like we got high as fuck while raising my kids. Ten dollars. Salute. <laughs> Deontay never going to be where he once was as disappointing as it is. His card has been pulled. I got AJ out boxing and maybe stopping him. Definitely don't see shit going for him. Right back at us with another super chat, fat $20, high as fuck while raising my kids. <laughs> Drop a bomb for that dubby. Where's my bombs? He said, AJ looks good, but let's see him versus someone not there to lay down. I hope this might be the start of something new, though make the fight happen and don't fumble the millions like Wilder and AJ could have been. Yeah, the truth is AJ's not that mad. He still might be slightly upset because... You know, there's got to be a part of him that's thinking, man, I could have beat that Wilder, and damn, I didn't make $50 million to do it. But AJ's gotten over $50 million paydays. So if anything, Wilder, he is more mad because he never made $50 million, and that's a $50 million payday that he certainly lost. Fuck, you know. I'm mad we don't got that fight, but it's crazy. I put on a community page on the backup channel, who should AJ fight next? I didn't even put a picture of Wilder, just a picture of AJ with the words, who should AJ fight next? And more people have put Wilder, believe it or not, which is crazy. Um, I can't believe they still want it over laws. I don't know. Jonathan Sims, what up? Yo, go next. We hear you, we hear you. What does it do? What it do? All right. So, oh, run over yeah, the, you might the need to. So, let me start. What's up? Uh, it sounds like it cleared up. Go ahead. You were sounding very. What you say next? You sound My like. Fault. Oh. All right. Come back to me. I'll leave it. Come back to me. All right. Yeah, you are not connecting very good. We got Zorro de la Vega, a.k.a. Alex, in Florida, who says, My favorite fighter. I love him. He's my man. Wait, open quote. My favorite fighter. I love him. He's my man. End quote. Nail polish and fingernail emoji. I don't know. I guess he's taking shots at you, CYP. Um, no, we know he is. Uh, we got Big Nick with the five-pounder. He says, pull down that statue and make a cast of Wilder's right hand. That's the real MVP. I'm the real Oracle, Ness. It was my bet I sent you on IG. It was 627 to 1. Which, which bet is that, my friend? Where is that? Where is that? Can you resend it? Because that shit got buried, bruv. No bullshit. Buried. But salute. We got Latron celebrating his 10th super chat with TBV. Salute, champ. $2. Tank not the face of shit emoji. Poop emoji. Uh, Joshua Torres, $2. Wilder reminds me of Butterbean. I said what I said. Rolling on the floor laughing. And it looks like Jonathan Sims is back. How I sound, Ness? Perfect. Okay. Uh, like I said, if I go over, you know what to do. So first, let me uh, start this call off right. Um, we coming out of Luke. 
chapter 2, verse 13 through 14. Suddenly a great company of the heavenly host appeared with an angel, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest heavens, and on earth peace to those whom his favor rests. And I just hope that whatever it is that you believe in, whatever it is that you celebrate, and you have great favor in what you do. We have a great community of people, whether they call in or in the chat, sour puss, mean things, nice things. You guys are all great people in your own way. And I wish everybody nothing but the best, not just for the rest of this year, but for many years to come. And I hope next year will work out in your favor, whatever it is that you're pursuing. So Ness, let me talk to you. I went back and listened to my call from Sunday and I wanna apologize to you because as you know, I've been rocking with you since I graduated from college in 2011. Moved to Charlotte in 2012, found the Boxing Voice shortly after. And the one thing that I really admire about you is not only the consistency, but the heart that you have. And I never want to change that. But like you said, we all have to develop and grow. I still stand on not supporting a cheater, but I do agree that, you know, in the past, as I've matured as a man, I, I didn't really have the same energy for Miller that I have had for other people who have completed the same transgressions that he has. Um, I did call Canelo a cheater in the past, but I didn't say that he shouldn't be able to feed his family through the sport of boxing. That, that was a little overboard, and I apologize for that. I just want to be compassionate and certain and understanding of those fighters who get in the ring and risk their life, that we take that just as serious, especially when a man has done things to give himself an edge. And I don't know what should happen to Miller, but I do think that we need to make sure there are things in place so the future fighter, that fighter that's listening to the show now, understands that if I cheat, the, the consequences are so egregious that I should think twice about it. And I just don't feel like there are any guardrails in the sport right now that really deters these fighters from cheating because the risk is so much worth it because of the reward. So I, I, I do agree with you. And there's some things obviously I need to work on as a man, as a Christian. And I appreciate you holding me accountable for that. And, um, you know, keep being you. I will say this. Um, and my guy called me out about this a couple weeks ago about my calls. Um, very business oriented, but it's not truly boxing oriented. And to that, I'll say this uh, to my buddies on the back call. They heard me break down this Dubois. Like it's your time versus Miller's fight. And um, I predicted that fight to a T. Only thing I didn't predict was the knockout. Exactly how Dubois fought is exactly the way I said he needed the fight to beat Miller. I do wish Miller the best. I just hope that he uh, never goes back to resorting to cheating on steroids. Um, I do need my crow nest for the Wilder pick. So if you can give me that, please. And and that crow is for Wilder. And as y'all know, I picked Earl Spence to beat Crawford for five years straight. So that's what that crow is for. Um, to the Wilder situation, it was sad to see, man. It was definitely sad to see. Um, I expected more. I definitely did. Um, I didn't know Malik Scott was fighting Joseph Parker. I thought Deontay Wilder was fighting, but, you know, long and behold, my eyes deceived me. And uh, a lot of people, you know, Wilder fans and the Wilder haters, you know, they have good points. Like, clearly the killer instinct is gone. The thing that bothers me, though, about the community, me included, is when Jamel Charlo is out there acting like Chucky, we say, act like you got some sense. Act like a man. Act like you've been here before. Wilder say he want to catch a body. That's not appropriate. But then when they conform to what we want, we want them to go back to who they were. So it's just like, you know, damned if you do, damned if you don't. And and, and that's an excuse for Wilder. It is. And, and I'm a fanboy. So so excuse that. But that's an excuse. But, you know, we got to pick and choose what we want. We can't be one way one day and then another way the next. Um, I thought Borough City East call was right on par. You know, Wilder is, unfortunately, I'm not going to call him a one-chick pony, but he has one thing he does exceptionally well, and then the rest is subjective. And um, I do agree that Malik Scott probably wasn't the right trainer, but hindsight is 20, 20. Um, When Floyd Mayweather reached out, you know, he shunned that. 
everybody laughed at it. But honestly, that was probably the right thing because it was never an offensive flaw that he had. It was all defensively. That's why he lost the Fury is because of the defense. And and I'm not an advocate of just because you took my best punch, I should shun away or feel intimidated. You take my best punch, you're going to have to take it all night. You got to take it for 36 minutes. So that whole mindset of, oh, took the best punch and that's it. No, you got to keep taking it until you prove to me for 36 full minutes you can handle that. And Wilder just doesn't have those people type of people, it seems like, right, after this fight in his corner saying those things. I don't know. I'm not there, but I do wish him the best. And just like Miller, Wilder shouldn't get thrown away. I'm glad he's not retiring. I hope he bounced back. Miller, I wish you the best. And um, thank you so much for the platform. And that's my call. All right. Uh, let's see. That looks like we got to everybody. We got two super chats coming in. We got Contrell in Phoenix. I don't mind losing money on a fighter who put their best foot forward. Shout out to Jarrell Miller. I'm still eating Crodo. Loudly crying faces twice. I no quit my job. <laughs> Remember, if he would have won that bet on Jarrell, he would have uh, made 55000 in the last 10 days. So... He was about to quit that job, but he's back at us. Hey, look, he still won 35000 on fucking Rafael Espinosa. You can't be mad at that. I did see the new Tank tweet. I mean, I know Tank turned Muslim, uh, and, and, and you know, he said, even though him and Haney are still brothers, he still wants to hurt him. Bro, Tank tweets all the time, bro. I'm already tired of that shit. Contrail, $5. Get off Miller, but those who are perfect should cast the first stone. I'll wait. Tell Buddy stop reaching scripture too. This boxing, not church. <gasps> How dare you? How dare you? That was for Jonathan Sims. Jonathan, it's all good. We love the scriptures around here. Nest GTO, Instagram and Twitter. I'm right back at you tomorrow morning, 6 a.m. It ain't over. Hopefully we back on the main channel. You'll find out tomorrow. Peace.